Hello and welcome to another Marble Tournament here on Fubeka's Marble Runs. Hey everybody, I'm Jeremiah and we are back for another Marble Tournament. We have a track that's kind of similar to the last video, but this time we've added more funnels and we've gotten rid of the spinner section and replaced it with a Plinko section with those little black and yellow dividers, which will just change it up a little bit for some of these marbles. Uh, last time we saw a, quite a few overtakes right in this little section at the end where the marbles would take the funnelist route and then the marbles that were actually ahead would be in the funnel and they would lose out because they were stuck in the funnel. This time we've added funnels to those sections of the track to kind of equalize the field. Now it's time for group A. We have eight competitors competing in this race, a lot of which we uh, don't compete very often. We have Belgium, Senegal, uh, Libya, Pakistan, Ecuador, Vietnam, Madagascar, and France. And it is Pakistan and France being followed by Libya in the lead. And Madagascar is also in there as well in the second funnel. And it looks like Pakistan has taken over the lead, being followed by Libya yet still. But here comes Senegal and uh, France, who takes over the lead there through the half pipe. And then Libya is in the other half pipe. Let's see where France goes. They go down the right side of the half pipe. And you see there, there is a funnel on this lane this time. In the last video, there was no funnel there. So France would have made it to the first place way quicker. But they still were able to hold it, even though they had to go through the funnel in this first round. Belgium comes in at second. Libya in third. Senegal in fourth. Ecuador in fifth. And Madagascar comes in at sixth. So that will eliminate Pakistan and Vietnam, the last two marbles to finish in this race. Pakistan was in the lead first part of the race, but they ultimately lost out through those funnels, resulting in their elimination. So these are the six marbles advancing to the first quarterfinal. Now it's time for quarterfinal B. We have Philippines, Angola, Brazil, Japan, Lebanon, Nigeria, the USA, and Tanzania all competing in this second group. And it is Angola off to lead, being followed by the USA and Lebanon. Lebanon comes up and takes the lead, but here comes Brazil. And now they're in first place, coming all the way out to the second tan funnel, which is the fourth funnel overall. Which marble will come up in second? It is Japan, and they give a hit to the, uh, Brazil. And now a whole bunch of marbles going through that funnel. And it is Nigeria and the Philippines to break away from the rest of the group into the half pipe. But here comes Brazil, and they come and retake the lead. And now they're in that orange funnel up at the top. And who comes out first? It's Nigeria. Out of nowhere, I think they came out of that can funnel. Philippines comes in at second. Brazil in third. Tanzania comes in at fourth. Japan in fifth. Lebanon in sixth place. We only have two more marbles to go, but these two marbles are eliminated because they are the last two marbles of the group. So Angola and the United States will be eliminated from this tournament. So six more marbles, advancing to the quarterfinals. Now it's time for the first quarterfinals. France, Madagascar, Belgium, Senegal, Ecuador, and uh, Libya. Get started here. The interesting thing about this specific uh, tournament bracket is that all the marbles that compete in each round have already competed in each other in a previous round because they are not going against other uh, heats that advance to each other. It's simply a last two elimination style so these marbles already kind of have a feel of how the other marbles are racing and it is France and Ecuador in the lead but Libya is also up there as well the last two marbles at this point Belgium and Madagascar need to do some work they want to get out of the elimination zone but France is falling down and they are in fifth place right now Ecuador and Libya and Belgium all in the lead and Libya comes in at first Belgium comes in at second Ecuador in third place there's only one more spot open for the advancement spot. And Madagascar is looking like they're already in lead. But here comes uh, France and Senegal. It's a race in the funnels. Who will exit the funnel first? And here comes Madagascar. And they barely overtake France. And Madagascar will be the final marble to advance out of this first quarterfinal. France and Senegal will be eliminated from this quarterfinal. The four marbles advance to the semifinals. Now it's time for quarterfinal B. Which marbles will advance this time? 
We have Nigeria, Lebanon, Tanzania, Japan, Brazil, and the Philippines. That is Tanzania, who comes out to the lead, being followed by Japan and Nigeria. We'll round off your top three to enter the first funnel. Whole group of marbles there, and it's Nigeria and Tanzania who get out first to the second funnel in Japan, giving some momentum to some other marbles. Tanzania is able to get out of the trouble. Japan, though, being a pretty aggressive racer, and here comes Tanzania. And they are able to go through the third funnel. And it is Tanzania who enters the half pipe first, being followed by Brazil now out of nowhere. Japan already falling down. Nigeria is already in the funnel. And Tanzania will take first place. We're still coming in at second. No, that's Nigeria. Brazil will come in at third. There's only one more spot open. And right now, Lebanon and the Philippines are fighting in this final funnel for one advancement spot. And it is the Philippines. So the Philippines will be the fourth and final marble to advance to the semifinals. And Japan and Lebanon will be eliminated from this tournament. Japan having some pretty aggressive racing through those funnels ultimately did not turn out for them. Now it's time for the first semi-final. Libya, Belgium, Ecuador, and uh, Madagascar. To get started here, only four marbles this time, and only two will advance to the final round. So there's less marbles to fight against, but it also makes it harder because all the marbles are so close together, and there's less spots open, only the top two will advance. Right now, it is Madagascar and Libya who have already entered the first funnel, but here comes the other two marbles. They're all really close. And who comes out first? It's Madagascar. Libya and Belgium, though, not wanting to be left behind. And Libya actually takes the lead. They're all pretty neck and neck through these funnels. The half pipes is what really is going to stratify these marbles. It's Libya and Madagascar in the half pipes first. Which uh, lane will they take? Madagascar takes right, uh, Ecuador takes left, and Libya takes the straight path. And it looks like Libya will be in first place, but Madagascar comes and takes it at the last second in that merged section. Libya comes in at second. Ecuador and Belgium will be the last two marbles to be eliminated from this semifinal. So Madagascar and Libya will be your first two marbles to advance to the final round of this tournament. Two African nations, Libya and Madagascar. Who will they go against? We're about to find out. Get started with semifinal B. Brazil, Tanzania, uh, Philippines, and Nigeria. Will be your four competitors who have made it this far into this second semifinal. Tanzania out first. Brazil coming in at second. Philippines and Nigeria in the elimination spot. And it's the Philippines who comes out first through the first funnel, being followed by Nigeria. And then Tanzania and Brazil still fighting. Brazil having a hard time catching up to the other marbles. They're still in the first funnel, and two marbles are already in the third funnel. Brazil having a terrible time in this semifinal. Nigeria overtakes the lead, being followed very closely by Brazil, uh, Philippines and Tanzania. And it is Tanzania who comes out first. They're in the first tan funnel, the central uh, exit from these two half pipes. But here comes Brazil and the Philippines. Tanzania will get first. The Philippines is in the funnel. But here comes Nigeria and Brazil. Brazil has a lesser chance because they're in that farther funnel. And here comes the Philippines. And they will be the other team to advance to the final. Brazil and Nigeria will be eliminated from this semifinal. Tanzania and the Philippines will advance to the final round. So Tanzania and the Philippines will advance against Madagascar and Libya. We have three African countries in the final and then one Asian country. Which continent will be the champion of this tournament? We could have a full African sweep. We have a one, two, three on the podium. And it is Tanzania who comes out first. Libya in second. Philippines is in third. Madagascar is in fourth. But it all changes as we get to the final. Libya in first. Philippines in second. And then Tanzania and Madagascar still fighting in the first funnel. They're neck and neck. And now they're pressuring the Philippines for second. Philippines barely gets out of that funnel in time. Libya, though, 
really pretty far ahead from the Philippines, unless the, somehow the Philippines can overtake. But Phil, uh, Tanzania overtakes Libya through that funnel. Now they're both in the half pipes. This is for the championship gold spot. And here comes Madagascar as well. They're all neck and neck. Madagascar takes the central lane and they're circling and they're gonna take it and they will be the champion of this tournament. Who will come in at second? It's Tanzania and Libya will come in at third place. The Philippines will get fourth. We have a full African sweep. All one, two, three spots are countries from Africa. Madagascar coming in first with the gold. Tanzania with silver. And Libya with the bronze. Philippines will get fourth place. A pretty good accomplishment for these three marbles. These marbles are not featured in the Quebecus Marble Runs tournaments very often. So it's good to see them be able to perform so well in this tournament. So it is Madagascar who will win the Fubeka Cup of this tournament. They get the gold medal and they will be the champions of this tournament. Congratulations to Madagascar for being your champion of this tournament. Tanzania coming in close at second and Libya in third place. Full African sweep, as I said. All these marbles had some pretty amazing performances. Hello and welcome to Fubeka's Marble Runs. I'm Jeremiah and I'm glad to be here for this marble race tournament. In today's video, we're gonna have a track with very many features, starting off with the Plinko and some spinners up through the elevator to a sky rail, and then through a funnel section down to the final Hubalino maze section with two half pipes and then a final funnel. But also you can bypass the funnel depending on which way you exit the half pipe. This is gonna be an intense race and at an intense tournament, as we have a lot of different countries, some of which do not appear on this channel very often. So we'll have to see which countries are competing in today's tournament. Will we see any marbles going into that final tan funnel and then be bypassed by some other marbles who actually go through the uh, section of the track that actually skips the funnel altogether? We'll have to see as we get started with the first race here. Here is the bracket system for today's tournament. You see we have eight competitors all competing at once in our first group. Let's take a look at all the countries competing in this group. We have Brazil, Qatar, Pakistan, USA, Ecuador, Vietnam, Cameroon, and the United Kingdom. That is a mouthful of marbles as we get started through the Plinko for the first time. And it is Brazil off to lead being followed by Ecuador and then the USA. And they're all packing into this first can funnel and uh, entering the first orange and now the second orange funnel and it's Ecuador and Cameroon who are battling it out in this funnel section. Cameroon is looking like the first marble gonna be exiting. No, it's not. It is Ecuador who is taking back the lead. And now uh, uh, Cameroon having some trouble and here come some marbles at the end and who will be the finish first? It will be Ecuador and the United Kingdom will get second. Cameroon in third and USA will finish off your top four. We still have four more to go. The bottom two marbles in each round will be eliminated until we only have four left in the final. And the two marbles that will be eliminated, Pakistan and Vietnam, they will not be moving on to the next round, unfortunately for them. So these are the marbles advancing to the quarterfinals. Next up for our next group. We have Japan, we have Libya, we have Argentina, Poland, Mexico, Indonesia, India, Ukraine, and Japan. We just started here, who comes out to the uh, first place? It is Argentina being followed by Poland and then Mexico. But Argentina did have a little bit of a lead through the sky rail, but really that funnel really uh, diminishes your lead quick because uh, all the marbles get stalled right after moving so quickly through the sky rail. And who's off to lead at this point? It's uh, Indonesia being followed by Mexico and Argentina now. Both of them opt for the funnelist route, and it will be Indonesia who will win the first 
uh, second heat in this tournament. Mexico coming in at second, and Argentina takes the funnel. Some other marbles can possibly pass them. Now they are able to exit the funnel and get third place. And here comes Ukraine. They get fourth. They will advance the next round as well as for India. And only one more marble will advance, and that will be Japan. The Poland and Libya will be eliminated in this first round. Libya way far behind and the rest of the marbles. Must be a humiliating defeat for them. So now we are done with the group stage in this tournament. It's time for the quarterfinals. First up for quarterfinal A, we have Cameroon, the UK, Qatar, as well as the United Kingdom, Ecuador, and the USA. All these marbles fought against each other in the first round. And let's see how they do in the second round. Ecuador getting a little, or Brazil getting a little bit stuck after that spinner section. And it is Cameroon and Qatar, as well as the United Kingdom, who now takes first place fighting in that funnel. But they are also facing some pressure from Cameroon, who did the same sort of strategy in the last time they competed. But they did lose out, and they fell down the order in the second half of this race after this little uh, funnel section. We'll have to keep an eye on them. But at this point, they still, still are in the lead. And here comes Ecuador, though. They are rivals so far in this tournament. Ecuador takes the funnelist route. And they will take first place. And here comes uh, United Kingdom. And they barely get third place. Because the car comes out and takes second and away from them. And Cameroon will get fourth place. And unfortunately, that will eliminate USA and Brazil. Two big names in this tournament. And in Quebec's Marvel runs as a whole, these two teams will not make it to the final round of this tournament. The four marbles have advanced to the semifinals. Now it's time for quarterfinal B. And only four more marbles will advance to the semifinals. And then two from each semifinal will advance to the final round in this tournament. Here we go with the second quarterfinal. Mexico, Indonesia, Japan, India, Argentina, and Ukraine. We have a very uh, wide selection of countries to choose from in this group. And it is Ukraine coming out to lead. But they're facing some pressure from Mexico and Indonesia. Also Japan. But they uh, are losing out a little bit through this funnel section. Argentina trying to push out ahead of the uh, rest of the pack. They're about a funnel and a half away. And they opt for the funnel section after the half pipe. And Japan and Indonesia as well as India all trying to fight out in that funnel. Argentina will finish first. Advancing to the semifinal. And uh, let's see which other marbles will advance with them. Japan comes in at second. Ukraine is in third, but they are in the funnel and also facing some pressure from Indonesia and India. And Ukraine goes out first. So Ukraine will advance as well. And India will be in fourth place. Indonesia and Mexico will be eliminated and they will not make it to the final round of this tournament. Also, I think I forgot to mention, but Japan also got second place. So they will advance to the semifinals with the other marbles to semi-final B. We are now entering the semi-final stage of this tournament. First off, semi-final A, Cameroon, the UK, uh, Qatar, and Ecuador will be your four contestants for the first semi-final. And they are off of this Cameroon coming out to the lead. Or no, that's Ecuador. And the United Kingdom coming in at second. Ecuador but in the lead at the uh, uh, sky rail section. So they've all caught up to uh, each other in the first hand funnel. And it is Cameroon coming out to the lead first. The United Kingdom coming in a second. And Ecuador following close behind. Ecuador and the United Kingdom as well as for Cameroon. All kind of seem to be rivals. And they've all been battling it out in this tournament so far. But only two of them will advance. The car is also in there as well. They can work some magic if they wanted to like they do right here. Look at that. They almost made it out of the funnel first. They come in at second. They're battling Cameroon. Which side of the half pipe will they take? Cameroon takes the funnel. And Qatar takes the funnelist side. So Qatar will be your first marble to advance to the finals. And it's going to be a race to the line for Cameroon and the United Kingdom. Cameroon comes out. And Cameroon will advance over the United Kingdom by a hair. The United Kingdom and Ecuador will be eliminated in this semifinal. And Cameroon and Qatar will advance to the final round. And now it's time for semifinal B, Japan, Argentina, Ukraine, as well as uh, India. We, started, so we got three marbles that are white. 
And one marble that is yellow and blue, which is the Ukraine marble. And right now they are in first place, being followed by India and then Argentina. Japan is lagging behind, but here comes the funnel section. Who comes out first? It's India, but Ukraine speeding close behind them in that orange funnel. And it's looking like they're giving some momentum to India, but they're all kind of uh, pushing each other around through this funnel. And Argentina now is all the way to the uh, fourth funnel in this tournament. India is able to pass Argentina there, and Ukraine is falling down to last place. India goes to the final funnel. All these other marbles still can pass India if they opt for the funnel section after the half pipe. And India is able to finish in first place and with Japan coming in close at second. Unfortunately for Ukraine and Argentina, they will not advance to the next round, which is the final round of this tournament. They got so close that they weren't able to do it. Now it's time for the final round in this tournament. Qatar, Cameroon, India, and Japan will be your four competitors in this final round who will be crowned the champion and win the feedback of cup. We have started here and it is Japan coming out to lead Cameroon in second and India and Qatar having a little bit of trouble after that spinner section. Cameroon coming close behind Japan and they've entered the first funnel. India a hard hit to Japan there. And who comes out of the first funnel? It's Japan. And here comes Cameroon doing the same strategy that Japan did to uh, India. But India uh, Japan is still able to hold the lead. And now there are almost two funnels ahead of the second place marble, which is Qatar. And they are circling with India and Cameroon. Having a little bit of trouble there, but now they're in third place. Trying to pressure Qatar. But Japan is about to exit the last funnel and they will be the champion of this tournament. They will get first place. Qatar and India battling for second and Cameroon is still in the half pipe. If they take the funnel as section, they might be able to take second place. But here comes India. They will take second and Cameroon will be able to take third over Qatar in the last second. But Cameroon will get the bronze. India with the silver. Japan with the gold. Qatar getting a respectable fourth finish. But of course, it is not on the podium and uh, not as great as the bronze, silver, or gold medal. So it will be Japan who will be the champion of this tournament and get the Fubeka Cup. They definitely worked very hard through multiple rounds and quite a few marbles to get here to the podium to sit on top with the gold medal and the very large trophy. They are the champion of this tournament. Congratulations to Japan. India coming in close at second. Cameroon in third place. All these marbles. Hello Marble Sports fans and welcome back to Fubeka's Marble Wings. I'm Jeremiah and we are here at the Fubeka Stadium for this friendly Marble Circus style race. We have 16 countries from all over the world competing in today's race. And as we take a look at today's track, we have brought back the booster, which we did not have in the last video. So we're going to have a multi-lap race for today's race. 16 countries, like I said, will be competing. And uh, we'll have to see which team is the best. As we get started with the race, 11 laps. You can see all the countries up there on the left. And we are off. Who comes out to the lead first? It's the yellow marble. I believe that's Mexico or Ghana. Yes, it is Ghana. But it, here comes Japan coming into first place, being followed by Korea. We get going here. We have uh, an interesting mix of marbles from all sorts of countries as well as um, all 16 marbles going at the same time. That's a rare occurrence here on Becca's Marble Runs. So this is going to be a heated match, and it is the USA who has come out to lead in this first heat, or first lap. The Korea trailing close behind, but they are facing some pressure from Germany as well as from Japan. And India is rounding off your top five as we start lap two. And it's the USA who's trying to extend their lead from Germany coming in at second place. Now facing some pressure from Brazil, and Korea is falling down as well, going through the helix yet again. And here comes Ghana, and they take over first place over the USA. Do that helix section that's going to be the section that you want to keep your eye on in this race because that is the point where a lot of the stratification of marbles happen but the usa is falling down to third place now and it is germany who is in lead being followed by ghana and then uh usa 
facing some pressure from Indonesia in France. But there is a large chase pack outside of the top three marbles and is getting to the helix for the third time. Germany is still able to hold the lead and they are gaining some ground over some of these other marbles trying to extend their lead and it is Ghana coming in at second. USA needs to take second place. They want to be able to challenge Germany but they are also facing some pressure from a lot of other marbles behind them. We already have a blue flag. Mexico stuck on the track and they're going to get lapped. For sure, they're going to get last place. We might have an overlapping here. Germany trying to come up and overlap Mexico. An unfortunate event for Mexico. That's not what they wanted to happen in this race. It's Germany coming in first, facing some pressure from Indonesia and Ghana. And uh, then the next chase pack coming in, uh, the fourth, fifth, and sixth being led by Japan and then Qatar and the USA. And Germany still in the lead. They've been leading for quite a number of laps now. But here comes Ghana and Jip, uh, Germany has fallen down all the way back to third. But they gained back to second. And it is Indonesia who came out first in that chaos through the helix. And Ghana is able to keep second place. And now Germany's losing even third place. Here comes Qatar. They're in third place now as we get started with the sixth lap. We are halfway through this race already. It is Indonesia in the lead being followed by Ghana and Qatar. USA has fallen down to fifth. They're not out of the running yet, but it's going to be hard for them to catch up. And uh, as well as for Germany, they're falling down to fifth now. USA able to pass Germany to fourth place. Indonesia facing some pressure from Qatar and Ghana yet still. We enter the seventh lap. Indonesia really needs to stretch out their lead if they want to be able to uh, have a good chance of winning this overall championship. Ghana, though, needs to try to stay close. One of the strategies that some of these marbles can take is not lead, but follow the leader. And then once the leader tires out, that's when you try to come up and pass in the last couple of laps. We are starting the eighth lap now. As Indonesia crosses the finish line for the eighth time. Qatar now coming up behind Indonesia, trying to draft them, but they aren't able to. Indonesia is able to escape through these turns. USA now still in fourth place, being called by Japan who has overcome Germany for fifth place. We get through the helix yet again. Still Indonesia in the lead, being called by Katan, Erika, Qatar, and Ghana. Japan coming in at fourth. USA though, coming up, drafting Japan a little bit. And here comes Ghana trying to come up and overtake Qatar. Not much action though, we only have three more laps to go. Including this lap we are on right now. Indonesia through the helix yet again. And some hard hits there from Ghana and Qatar. And it is Qatar who's still in second place. Japan has a, uh, taken third place from Ghana. That's the first change in the podium we've seen in a couple laps. USA though, coming up close to Ghana and they take fourth place. Ghana takes third. Japan has fallen down to fifth. USA could still have a podium. Let's take a look at what happened here. Looks like we have a marble that came off the track through the booster. That's Korea. And Korea will be having a DNF in this race. And I thought nobody could do worse than Mexico. It seems they can. As we start the final lap, it is Indonesia in the lead being followed by Ghana and Qatar. Then the USA and Japan will round off your top five. So we can start with the final lap here. Indonesia has quite the lead, but he's going to have some trouble because Mexico might slow him down, especially through this helix. See there, Mexico having uh requiring indonesia to give them a bump and ghana and qatar trying to make up some ground here comes ghana they're neck and neck up the booster we only have one more turn to go and who will take it it's indonesia and indonesia will be your champion of this race 11 laps to victory ghana coming in at second very close behind they almost had the win qatar coming in at third place only 0.8 seconds behind indonesia japan in fourth and usa rounding off your top five an amazing race today indonesia coming out with the win they held the lead for quite a number of laps once they got once they got in the lead they were in the lead for almost half the race i think it was like lap six or seven that they gained the lead and they never lost it since we take a look at some of these replays here japan was in the lead at the first lap also germany led, uh, led the race for maybe two or three laps right in the beginning of the race once they got their footing right in this first lap, and then they fell down out of the top five even. 
uh, and they didn't have good, uh, as good of a race. USA, though, was able to get in the top five, getting fifth place. They were a good contender in this race. They were up there in the top six, seven. I don't think they were even ever in seventh in the entire race. They were able to hold out, and they finally got in the top five. Not a podium, but still, top five is a good accomplishment for the USA. Indonesia, though, is the one that everybody aspires to be today. They won the race. As well as for Ghana and Qatar, also two very fierce competitors. They uh, were in the top five as well for most of the race. Even in the top three, Ghana, Qatar, and Indonesia really battling it out for the podium spots. And they never really lost out uh, outside of the podium. But it was Indonesia, Qatar, and then, or no, it was Indonesia, Ghana, and then Qatar. And that will be your gold, silver, and bronze. Congratulations to Indonesia for being your Marble Circuit's friendly champion. Ghana coming in close at second, Qatar getting the bronze. Indonesia though, getting the gold, being the champion. And they get the rewarding feeling of being the fastest marble, fastest country in this tournament. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe, comment down below, and share this video with your friends if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to stay tuned. Hello and welcome to Fubeka's Marble Lines. I'm Jeremiah and I'm glad to welcome you to this Marble Circuit style tournament. This will be a little bit different than Marble Circuits in that it's one race down to the end of the track and there's no booster, no elevator, it's just a sprint to the finish and then the top two marbles will advance to the next round and then there will be the semifinals and then whoever advances from the semifinals will go to the final round where the, the champion will be crowned. As we take a look at today's track, you can see we have a very, very long straight at the beginning of the course. And then it turns into some uh, turns, kind of like a square shape turn down to a U-turn. And there's also the helix section over at the end of the course. And that will just stratify the marbles even more after they've already worked so hard to get to the end of the course. We'll have to see how these marbles deal with that element. get started here with the bracket system which marbles will be competing in today's tournament we have four groups a b c and d and for group a we have indonesia the uk india and france and these are the four marbles that will be starting us off in the first group let's see how they do and they're off who comes out first it's india being followed by france and then uh the indonesia actually india and indonesia look pretty similar is India and Indonesia in the lead being followed by the United Kingdom and then India and France is trailing in the back and it is India still taking this race by storm really it's a, a race for second place at this point and right now it is the United Kingdom who's in second place but here comes India and they pass over through the helix and they will advance with Indonesia both of the white marbles will advance the two blue marbles unfortunately will be eliminated so India and uh, Indonesia will advance and then France and the UK will be eliminated. Now it's time for Group B, Peru, England, Cameroon, and the USA. USA in the blue, Cameroon in the green, England in the clear, and Peru in the red. And it is Peru off to the lead. England coming close behind trying to drop, but here comes Cameroon and they take over second place through that little chicane section there. And it is Peru still holding the lead. Here comes Cameroon though, facing some pressure from the USA and uh, England. And a contact from Cameroon there to Peru. Nothing uh, uh, crazy though. Peru is able to hold the lead. And here comes Cameroon. Will the other two marbles be able to pass? No. So Peru and Cameroon will advance to the next round and England and the USA will be eliminated in this first group. Cameroon and Peru will be going up against Indonesia and India in the first semifinal. Now it's time for Group C, which marbles will be competing this time? Sweden, Mexico, Germany, and uh, Ecuador. And it is Germany coming out to lead. Sweden coming in close at second. Ecuador and Mexico in third at fourth. But really, 
the top two marbles have already sealed their spot unless somehow they lose out in the uh, helix section. And Sweden has taken over Germany for first place. Germany's trying to come up and take uh, the lead from behind, but he doesn't really have to because they both are going to advance. And really, no contest for the first two uh, marbles compared to the second group. So it will be Sweden and Germany advancing to the semifinals. Ecuador and Mexico will be eliminated. So Sweden, Germany, semifinal B. Now it's time for Group D. Vietnam, Argentina, Japan, and Brazil. Argentina in the white with blue. Japan in the pure white. Vietnam in the yellow. And Brazil this time in the blue. A different change of uniform for uh, Brazil. Unusual. Usually they're in a the yellow color. This time they are blue. And it is Japan coming out to the lead, being followed very closely by Argentina, but a little bit of trouble there. And that allows Vietnam to pass into the advancement spot. Brazil is now taking third place. They're trying to come and catch up to Japan and Vietnam. But unless they somehow get through the helix quicker than these top two marbles, it won't happen. And the top two marbles, Japan and Vietnam, will advance to the semifinals. Brazil and Argentina will be eliminated. So Vietnam and Japan will advance to the second semifinal. Now it's time for semifinal A, Indonesia, India, Cameroon, and Peru. Indonesia in the white on the left. And India is the more bluish tint white, but Peru is taking lead. Cameroon in the green, lagging back in the back. And it is Peru facing some pressure from Indonesia, who's kind of trying to come up and take first place. But really, it's the top two uh, that uh, matter at this point. The finals, however, that's a very different story. Peru still in the lead by a long shot. Indonesia coming in at second. And these are the two models that will advance to the final round. Cameroon and India will be eliminated in the second round. Now for Peru and Indonesia. It's all about taking first place in the final. Not, none of this stay in the top two business. But now it's time for semifinal B. Sweden, Germany, Vietnam, and Japan. Sweden in the yellow with blue, Vietnam in the yellow with black, Germany's in the lead in the black color, and Japan with the white. Here comes Sweden, and they take first place over Germany through these next couple of turns. This group is pretty close together, but Sweden is trying to extend their lead and try to get away from the rest of the pack. Germany, though, is fighting uh, Vietnam for the advancement spot, and right now they're still holding it, but Vietnam can still take it. It's not out of possibility, but it will be Germany and Sweden who will advance the first and second. Vietnam and Japan will be eliminated. Vietnam had a good run. They tried to get there, but they just weren't able to do it. We'll take a look at the replay. Interesting seeing the two yellow marbles right next to each other. Not sure if they were trying to cooperate, but eventually it was Vietnam who fell down and Sweden was able to advance. So I'm not sure if that collaboration worked out for Vietnam. Maybe they'll consider uh, not co collaborating with some fierce competitors because they might be two-faced. Now it's time for the final round in this Marble Circuit style tournament. Indonesia, Peru, and Sweden will be your four competitors. Which marble will advance to the winning spot, the gold medal uh, champion in this tournament? Three marbles will sit on the podium. One will go home without a podium, without a medal. And one will be crowned champion. As we start the final round, Peru, Germany, Sweden, and Indi uh, Indonesia. And it is Germany, again, taking lead at the early point of this race, being followed by Sweden and Peru. And, and now here comes Indonesia. They take second place. And they're now setting their sights on Germany. Germany trying to hold them off. And luckily for them, and here uh, they were uh, going the right direction. And here comes Germany through the helix for the final time. And it will be Germany who is in the lead. Peru closely gets second. Indonesia in third place. Sweden will be the marble, not sitting on the podium. Germany with the gold. Peru with the silver. Indonesia with the bronze. What an intense match. Peru barely coming up against getting second place. Indonesia would have had it. But Peru was able to use that helix to their advantage. And they took over uh, Indonesia in the final second of the race. Germany pretty much took the lead at the beginning of the race and held it for the entirety 
of the race. We saw that, uh, and a lot of their races in this tournament seems to be their strategy, and it seems to be a good one since there's only one lap in this race. There's less time for the other marbles to catch back up and no elevator or booster to kind of change your momentum and allow some of the other marbles to catch back up. See there, Indonesia almost passed them. Had the turn been to the left, Indonesia would have passed Germany, but Germany knew at the start that it was turning to the right. Peru almost had it there as well, but Germany was still able to hold it. Some great moves by Germany, defensive moves that allowed them to keep the lead for the whole race. To get to the helix here. Peru was in first place. Indonesia and Sweden, though, did catch up. They had a little bit of a lockup here. See, Indonesia and uh, Sweden were smoother through the second half of the uh, uh, helix there. And Peru barely going out over Indonesia in that final straight. So, will be Germany, who is the champion of this tournament. Congratulations to Germany for winning this Marble Circuit style tournament. Congratulations to Germany for being your champion of this tournament. Peru coming in close at second with the silver, Indonesia in the bronze. But today, everybody aspires to be Germany with the gold medal and the Fubeka Cup. Congratulations to them once again. Hello Marble Sports fans and welcome back to Rebecca's Marble Horns. I'm Jeremiah and glad to welcome you to this friendly Marble Quadrilla Tournament. As we get closer to the Quadrilla 2022 Tournament, uh, it's time for these marbles to get warmed up to that style of tournament. And that's what we're going to do here on this Quadrilla track in today's video. So we take a look at today's track, there will be a lot of features that we will see in the Quadrilla Marble Run Tournament 2022 here in a couple weeks. You can see the finish line here and then you can see the track with a lot of square type track pieces where the marbles can either go one way or the other and then we get to the funnel section the one lane funnel with the red plastic ones and then the larger wood ones and uh, we'll have to see how these marbles do and how rusty they are because they haven't done very much quadrilla in the last couple of months so here is the bracket system. It'll be one team versus one other team, one marble per team, and one will advance to the semifinals, and then it'll be the same in the semifinals, and then we'll have the final with four marbles. First off, we have China versus the Philippines. And it is China who comes out to lead through the first red funnel into the second funnel. You get here, this is the first time that the marble can overtake We'll see if the Philippines can do it. And the Philippines are able to get to that funnel fit, uh, quicker. And that will allow Philippines to gain quite the lead over China. China can still take it through the Plinko if the Philippines does some bad moves there. And they do. So China will advance. The Philippines actually gets a DNF. What a terrible finish for the Philippines. And so that will advance China to the semifinals. Next up, we have Qatar versus Indonesia. Indonesia in the clear, Qatar in the darker, shiny blue type color. We get into the first red funnel. It's kind of an inverse funnel, and it is Indonesia in the lead. But here comes Qatar. A little bit of speed there, but they lose it again. And let's see if Qatar can t overtake in this second funnel. Still Indonesia, who's in the lead. Next up, we have this parallel uh, rail section. And here comes Qatar. They're getting pretty close. It's neck and neck, and Qatar takes it through the plinko at the last second. Qatar will advance only eight hundredths of a second ahead of Indonesia. So that will advance Qatar versus China in the semifinals. Next up, we have Ecuador versus the USA. USA in the blue, Ecuador in the yellow. And they're off. Who comes out first? It's Ecuador. And USA has some trouble kind of bouncing before they get into the hole to the inverse funnel. And Ecuador is about a half a funnel lead. 
have a fun radius. The USA is able to catch up a little bit here. Let's see if they're able to exit the big wood funnel first. No, they won't. They're still up a little in the lead. USA only has a little bit more time to catch up. Oh, look at that. A bump from Ecuador. Keeping the USA from catching up. Here comes the Planko, and the USA overtakes at the last second again. Like we saw in the last round, the USA will advance over Ecuador. That last Planko section can make or break your race, even if you have a significant lead. A lot of times, these other marbles will be able to pass you. Next up, we have Argentina versus Mexico. Argentina comes out first, but will Mexico be able to overpass in the Plinko section? We'll have to see as we get to the end of this race. But is Argentina still in the lead? Mexico can uh, overtake in this first funnel as he enters the first overtake point. But it's still Argentina is able to take it. Now for the parallel line, line section. Argentina is still in the lead, but watch out for this Plinko here in a second. But it's still Argentina who's able to take it over Mexico. Mexico is not able to uh, do that section very well. And they also kind of got hit out of the hole to the Plinko section by Argentina. That's another strategy you can do. So Argentina will go up against the USA in the semifinals. Next up, we have Switzerland versus Brazil. Switzerland is the first marble to come out into the inverse funnel and into the regular red funnel. Now it's time for our first overtake point. And then Switzerland having a little, little bit of trouble in that marble splitter that might allow Brazil to come up and take it. And they're neck and neck. Brazil takes it through that section. Switzerland has not very much time left to go. Brazil going through the plank up. Here comes Switzerland, but it's still Brazil. Brazil will advance to the semifinals. And Switzerland will be eliminated. A whole second behind uh, Brazil for Switzerland. That's a pretty hard defeat for them. Next up, we have Spain versus Cameroon. Cameroon in the green, Spain in the yellow. Keep going here. Cameroon, first marble to fall back. And it is Spain, who has a pretty significant lead already through the first red funnel. And into the second red funnel. Spain is doing an amazing job in this tournament so far. They're already halfway through the funnel. They've already exited it. And here comes Cameroon as well. Cameroon. Way far behind though. Spain has or Cameroon has very little time left to even try to overtake Spain. But look at that. He's caught up to Spain. And he overtakes at the last second through the Plinko. What happened to Spain's lead? A downfall for Spain. Not sure if they got stalled on the track. But Cameroon will advance to the semifinals. What a mishap for Spain. Next up we have Ghana versus Japan. And it is Japan. Comes out to the lead first through the red funnels. Now it's really just about staying with the competitor ahead of you, which Ghana is doing a bad job at right now. So you can get to the next overtake point, which is right here. And it is Japan who exit first. Ghana about a uh, length and a half behind Japan. And here comes Japan through the Plinko. Having a little bit of trouble, but they will advance over Ghana. Ghana will be eliminated 1.7 seconds behind Japan. Ghana did not have a good race in today's tournament. So Japan will advance to the semifinals. Now it's time for our final group in the group stage. Sweden versus India. Which marble will come out on top in advance in the semifinals? Or, yeah, semifinals. It's India who comes out to the lead through the finals. And we're about to enter the first overtake point. Let's see if Sweden can overtake India through this first section. And still India. Comes out Sweden, but not by much. Sweden very close behind. They're neck and neck. Sweden still has a chance. And here they come through the final plinko. And India gets through it quick. India will advance to the semifinals. Sweden will be eliminated. A close match. Sweden just wasn't able to overtake in that final Plinko section. Now it's time for the semifinals. China versus Qatar will be our first matchup. 
China in the red, guitar in the black, shiny, almost a metallic color. The guitar able to get a slight lead because China had a little bit of hesitation out of that blue block right before the inverse funnel. The guitar already getting pretty far ahead of China. As we enter the first overtake point, I don't think China's going to be able to do anything about it. They're pretty far behind guitar at this point. Unless somehow Qatar messes it up in the Plinko, they've advanced to the final. And they will. China not able to even get close. 1.6 seconds behind Qatar. And in, uh, in the marble world, that's pretty far behind. So Qatar will advance to the final. Next up, we have USA versus Argentina. USA in the dark blue. Argentina in the white with the light blue. USA comes out first. USA has been doing pretty good in these recent tournaments. They've gotten a couple podiums in the last couple videos. We'll see what they can do here. Looks like they're pretty close, but it is Argentina who isn't able to get up to the USA in that first one. I think the enter hole of the uh, right funnel on the opposite side. Look at that USA getting first by seven thousandths of a second over Argentina. What a close win for the USA. And they will advance to the final versus Qatar and two other marbles. Next up, we have Brazil versus Cameroon. But as I was saying, the two large wooden funnels are actually the same piece. And so since they're uh, facing opposite directions, the hole that you exit in will actually be on the opposite side. So it's hard to gauge which marble is ahead. See Cameroon coming into the wood funnel and then uh, Brazil as well. You can see Cameroon will enter in the front side, but Brazil enters in the back because it's the same actual um, piece. And Cameroon is in the lead, but Brazil is not very far behind. They might be able to take it if they can get through the Plinko first, and they do there. And Brazil will be able to advance to the final, and Cameroon will be eliminated. It was a pretty close match. Cameroon was in the lead for some of that race. Brazil is able to take it at the last second. Now it's time for the final fi uh, semi-final in this tournament. Japan versus India. And Japan is the lighter color. India. More of the darker streaks. As we enter the inverse final, it is Japan who is in the lead. But here comes India. They're pretty close. They enter the marble splitter. A little bit of hesitation there. But I think they're pretty close at this point. is Japan. Comes out to lead by not by much. And here comes India though. India might be able to take it over the Plinko section. They're pretty close but it is in uh, Japan who will advance to the final round. 0.2 seconds ahead of India. So Japan will be going up against Brazil, the USA and Qatar in the final round. This will crown the top three podium finishers in this tournament. Which marble will be the champion of this friendly quadrilla marble run tournament? The fans are excited. The atmosphere in this stadium is intensifying. So get ready for the final round. We have the USA, big name in these tournaments. Brazil, another big name in these tournaments. And then Guitar in Japan are smaller names. Let's see what they can do. Is the USA following Qatar in the first two spots? As uh, Brazil and Japan coming in in fourth and or third and fourth. And let's see if the USA can overpass Qatar in this first one final. And Qatar comes out first, then the USA. But there's still hope. For the USA, if he gets to the Plinko section and is able to overtake Qatar, let's see if he does right here. This is for the gold medal, and it is Qatar who will win this final. USA coming in at second, and Japan in third place. Brazil barely losing out on the podium. Guitar getting the gold. USA with silver. Let's take a look at some of these replays. See what just happened. See the USA getting past Brazil right in that first little funnel section. And then it kind of separated into two groups. The front group and the back group. Guitar in the USA being in the front group. USA was never able to overtake Qatar, so Qatar 
will be the champion of this tournament. Congratulations to Qatar, but also congratulations to the USA and Japan for getting second and third. Congratulations to Qatar for getting the Marble Quadrilla Marble One Tournament Gold Championship. USA coming in close at second and Japan in third place. All these marbles did some amazing performances and they definitely Hello and welcome to Fubeka's Marble Runs. I'm Jeremiah and I'm glad to be here for another Funnels and Stairs Tournament. We had this track a couple we uh, videos ago and we've tweaked it this time to add some more elements and make the racing more intense. We've added a funnel as well as a skywalk section which we'll, you will see in a little bit. As well as we have the two large funnels that we had in the last time we had this tournament. That will definitely be an interesting element in this tournament. So here are the practice systems for this tournament. We have four groups. Each group has four marbles. And then two marbles from each group will advance to the next group until we are at the final round. And the winner of that will be the champion. First off, Pakistan, Philippines, Brazil, and France. As we get going here in the marbles, I'll go over that skywalk, which is a new feature here on Fubeka's Marble Runs. And into the first yellow funnel, they go. Who comes out first? It's Brazil being followed by France. Brazil's already in the red funnel. France is now facing some pressure from Pakistan who gets there first and now Pakistan is in second place Brazil's making their way up the stairs this time we've added a little separator in between the two stair sections to make sure we don't have any more marbles falling down the stairs like we did the last time we were at this track and who comes up in second it's the Philippines Brazil and Pakistan are in third and fourth uh, France uh, France not Brazil had just exited the funnel there and Brazil is already up into the second green funnel. And here comes the Philippines, though. But Brazil taking this race by storm. They're already about to exit the white, the first white funnel. And they're already up into the orange funnel. There's only one more funnel after that. And it's the white funnel, which is actually a little bit quicker than the orange funnels. Because of the uh, rate of spiral. And here comes Brazil. And Brazil will take first place. No problem. Brazil will advance to the semifinals. In this tournament, who come out in second is looking like France, unless somehow one of these other marbles can do a miracle. At this point, though, it's not looking like it's gonna happen. And France will get second place, and they will join Brazil in the semifinals, and they will advance. Pakistan and the Philippines will be eliminated from this tournament. Brazil really had it for that entire race. They came out early and stayed in the lead. For the whole race, a great uh, performance by Brazil. Next up, we have Peru, Spain, Mexico, and Japan for Group B. And we're off. Who comes out first? It's Mexico over the skywalk. They go into the first yellow funnel, being followed by Spain and Peru. But Japan comes out from the back, and now they're in first place through the second yellow funnel. And look at that. Peru gets stalled underneath the yellow funnel. And that makes them lose some ground. But now they're catching back up to Mexico, who is now in first place. Up the stairs they go. Who comes out second? It's Spain. Japan and Peru are still fighting in that red funnel. But it's Peru who comes out third. Up the uh, stairs they go. And Mexico is about four stairs ahead of Spain. Now here comes Spain. Trying to come up and catch up to Mexico. And they do. And here comes Peru now. They give a bump to Mexico. And now they both have similar momentum. And here comes Japan and a move through the inside. And they're able to take second place. Mexico is out of the advancement spot. Spain is way up ahead in the orange funnel. And here comes Mexico trying to catch up to the Japan. They still have a chance. If they can get to the white funnel before Japan does. Spain, though, is going to be getting first place. And they will advance to the semifinals. And Japan gets to the white funnel. Here comes Mexico. It's neck and neck. This is for the final advancement spot, but it's Japan. And Japan will advance to the semifinal. Mexico will be eliminated along with Peru. They will not move on to the semifinals. An unfortunate event for Mexico. He held the lead for some of this race. And then it gets eliminated in the first group of this tournament. So Spain and Japan 
going up against Brazil and France in the semifinals. Next up, it's time for Group C, India, Colombia, Indonesia, and Portugal. And they're off, and it is uh, Indonesia off to lead, being followed by Portugal and then Colombia and India. Indonesia and Portugal battling in the second yellow funnel. And Colombia comes up out of nowhere. Takes over first place, and now they're in the red funnel. And as well as for India, they come up as well. And here comes Indonesia, though. They do not want to be left behind. But look at that. Indonesia and or India and Colombia doing a good job. They're step in step on the stairs. Portugal and Indonesia have some catching up to do. And it is India who comes out first, being followed by Colombia. Portugal and Indonesia still a little bit behind. And look at that. They have a hit there. And Portugal and Colombia both come up and overtake India and Indonesia. And Portugal is now in the first white funnel. And here comes India. Colombia and Indonesia really need to catch up if they want to be able to advance. All they have to do is pass India, who's coming up here. And now they're going to overtake Portugal. India will be the first one to enter the second white funnel. Here comes Indonesia, though. And Indonesia is now going to advance unless somehow Portugal can get there. No. Indonesia in second place. India in first place. These are the two marbles that will advance. And look at that. Colombia stuck on the track. They will not advance. And neither will Portugal, who got third place. So India and Indonesia will advance to the semifinals. And they'll be going up against the two victors of Group D. Vietnam, Argentina, Canada, and the USA will bat be battling for two advancement spots. Who will be in those top two spots? At this point, it's the USA and Vietnam who are in the lead. But as we know, that can change very quickly. And look at that. A great move by the USA. Quickly going out of that, that yellow funnel. And here comes Argentina and Vietnam. And as is Canada as well. They've all passed the United States through that second yellow funnel. Now they're all in the red funnel. But here comes the United States with some power. And Vietnam is the first one to exit the funnel. Up the stairs they go. Being followed by Argentina and the USA. But here comes Canada. They aren't able to pass on the stairs. So it is Vietnam first. Being followed by Argentina. And then Canada. Which uh, USA and Canada are one step apart. Here comes Vietnam and Argentina and the USA as well. Who comes out first is Vietnam and Canada. Around this green funnel. They're about to enter the white funnel. It's Canada first. And Vietnam gets stalled under the green funnel. We've seen that before. And now he's neck and neck with Argentina through the white funnel. But Vietnam comes out first. Has a little bit of trouble. And two marbles are stuck on the merge. That's going to allow for some major time gain by Canada. But Canada is stuck underneath the funnel as well. And now USA comes and takes a lead. But here comes Vietnam and Canada. Vietnam will get first, and USA will take second from the last second. This will advance Canada and Argentina. What a round. USA barely making it over Canada. Unfortunately for Argentina, they're still stuck on the track. The Vietnam and the USA will be the final two marbles to advance to the semifinals in this tournament. First up for the next semifinal, Brazil, France, Spain, and Japan will be battling out for two spots in the final. Who will come out on top? It's looking like Japan will come out first, being followed by Brazil. But here comes Spain. The first one to exit the yellow funnel. All the three other marbles are still in the first yellow funnel. But here goes Spain into the red funnel. And here comes Japan close behind. They're about to enter the stair section. But here comes Brazil as well. They aren't able to give any momentum to Japan. And it is uh, Japan there. Look at that. A great overtake through the stair section for Japan. They're one step apart, Japan and Spain. And then Brazil and France, one step apart, almost a complete staircase below. So if they want to be able to advance, Japan and uh, Spain are going to have to do some major accidents. If they get stuck on a merge, maybe Brazil and France can catch up, but at this point, they're almost a funnel behind. More than that, Japan 
About to exit the white funnel as well as for Spain. But look at Japan gets stuck on the merge. And they're still stuck. Spain coming up and passing them, not dislodging them. A savage move by Spain. And here comes Brazil. And they're stuck on the merge as well. Spain will get first place, but who will get second? And they dislodge Brazil. Now France is stuck. France and Japan is stuck. Brazil is the only other marble who is still in motion, so they will advance to the, si the final round with Spain. A lot of DNFs in this tournament. France and Japan both not able to finish. They're both stuck on the merge. That merge element is a very hard element for some of these marbles to go through. What a tragedy for France and Spain, or France and Japan. Spain and Brazil will advance to the final round. And now it's time for the second semifinal. India, Vietnam, Indonesia, and the USA. Only two more marbles can advance to the final round. Will any marble get stuck on the merge in this tournament? And it is Indonesia who comes out first, being followed by the USA. And the USA, the first marble to get out of the hole of the second yellow funnel into the first red funnel they go. And Vietnam is the only other marble that is still in the yellow funnel. And India is the first marble to enter the stairs. Being followed by the USA. And then it's looking like Indonesia will be next. Vietnam is in last. But uh, India has the largest amount of stairs ahead of any other marble at this point. And they're already in the green funnel. But here comes the USA. Let's see what they can do about a bump from them. And they exit the funnel first. And here comes Indonesia and Vietnam. And they're having uh, a great time. They're pushing Indo India aside. And the USA is already in the white funnel. The other marbles still fighting the green funnel. But here comes Indonesia into the first white funnel. The USA almost about to exit the orange funnel. But they're stuck underneath it. And uh, that is... Another problem we've seen in this tournament, Indonesia and the USA in the white funnel, but here comes some other marbles, but it's not looking like they're going to have enough time. USA comes in at first, Indonesia in second, so they will advance to the final round. Vietnam and India will be eliminated in the semifinals of this tournament. So the USA and Vietnam, or uh, Indonesia, will be going up against Spain and Brazil in the final round which is about to start which marble will be crowned champion of this tournament we're about to find out and they are off it is spain and indonesia in first and second being followed by brazil and then the usa but the usa a quick move through the funnel and now they're in the second funnel but here comes spain as well and indonesia now all four marbles were in the uh, second yellow funnel, but then Indonesia is able to exit as well as for Brazil. The USA, a trend going for the USA. They have a great time getting through the first funnel, and then they get all the way down to last place in the second funnel. And they, what they have done here is they get back in the first place through the funnel again. They go through the funnel slow, and uh, they don't have much momentum to keep spinning through the funnel, and that's what allows them to exit the funnel first even if they're in last place but here comes brazil to give some momentum to the united states as well as indonesia coming in as well and they're the first one to exit the first green funnel being followed by spain and then brazil but here comes uh spain and indonesia in the first white funnel spain is in the orange funnel and here comes indonesia great move by indonesia right through the orange funnel and here comes Spain but they're stuck underneath the orange funnel and Indonesia will be your champion of this tournament Spain is still stuck this is for second place the USA still could pass it's looking like they might be able to do it and they will USA will come in at second Spain will sit in third place on the podium Brazil a respectable fourth finish but Indonesia gets the gold USA gets silver Spain in the bronze spot an amazing finish for all three of these marbles. USA winning the last tournament. And now they get to sit on the silver for this tournament. They are having a great run in these tournaments recently on Fabeca's marble runs. So Indonesia will be your champion of this Funnels and Stairs tournament. They've done some great racing in today's tournament. 
and uh, they were able to make it past all three rounds to become champion of this tournament. Congratulations to Indonesia for being your Marble Funnel and Stairs Tournament Champion. USA coming in at second and Spain and third place. All these marbles did a great job in this tournament. Welcome back, I'm Jeremiah and this is the Skyrail Marble Tournament here on Fubeka's Marble Runs. This is the second tournament we've had on the Skyrail track. Unfortunately, last time I was not able to join you for the commentary, but today I will be here to provide play-by-play -play commentary for this tournament. How this tournament will work is we have two marbles per team going on each side of the Sky Rail track, and it's pretty much just a sprint to the finish. And how the timing will work is the slowest marble on a team will be the time that is recorded for that run, and whoever is the fastest will advance to the next round. So as we take a look at the track here, some of the features of this track, you can see we have these little white blockers at the end of some of the rails to keep the marbles from flying off after the jumps, which is an interesting feature on this track. As we take a look at the bracket system for today's tournament, it'll be a dual style tournament. So first off, we have China versus India, which will start off our group stage. And they are off. And India has a slight lead, but they're more close together than the Chinese marbles were. But they have uh, gotten closer together, and India is taking the lead through the second part of this uh, track around the final turn. And it is India who will win by a long shot in time of 16.74. Uh, and China will only have a 17.13. So uh, it will be India who will advance. And I believe the times for this round were measured by the first marble to cross the line. I could be wrong. It could be the last marble that crossed the line. It is important for both of the marbles to be close together, though. If you have them farther apart, they'll have a slower time. So I assume, I guess it is the last marble to cross the line will be the time of that team. So India will advance to the quarterfinals. Next up, we have Germany versus France. And they're off. Germany kind of slowing down behind France. France is taking the lead at this point. And they also are doing a pretty good job at staying close together as we enter the final straight. And this is France. We'll take that heat. Germany just couldn't make it happen. So France will advance to the next round in this tournament. Germany will, unfortunately, be eliminated. If we take a look at the replay, you can see the jumps. Uh, can really kind of stratify two marbles in your team and cause you to kind of separate a little bit and that's not really what you want to do. See, France did a good job of kind of staying close together. Germany was actually really close together at the finish. But they weren't able to hold the speed that they had uh, to get to the end. So next up, Nigeria versus Japan. Which is our next duel. Nigeria and the green, Japan in the white. Japan is separated already. Nigeria already staying close together as they're already halfway through the course. Nigeria has a slight lead, and I think they're going to take it. Yes, they will. In Japan, only three tenths of a second behind. Uh, Nigeria has 16.40, Japan 16.72. We'll have to see if any of these teams can get a sub 16. Not sure if it can happen, but. We'll have to see how hard these marbles train. Maybe one day, one of these marbles will be able to break the world record. So we'll be in Nigeria, who will advance to the quarterfinals. Next up, we have Mexico versus Spain. Let's see how Mexico does in this tournament. They're already separated a little bit. But after that first jump, if you are separated, it seems you are able to um, get closer together and Ger uh, Mexico has taken the lead but here comes Spain now they're neck and neck and Germany takes it at the last second two tenths of a second behind Spain was from Mexico Mexico a good overtake through this last little uh, u-turn type section see there they're way faster 
through that little section and they were able to take the lead from Spain. And unfortunately that will eliminate Spain from this uh, tournament and that will advance Mexico against Nigeria in the quarterfinals. Next up we have Portugal versus Brazil. And they're off. It seems like the left track section separates the first two marbles and then they get reunited at the uh, first jump. But it is Brazil who's taking the lead. They only have one more uh, straight to go. And it is Brazil. We'll take that heat. 16.70 for Brazil. A decent time. Portugal getting the 16.98. So close to almost getting a 17 seconds. And uh, that will advance Brazil to the next round. Portugal will be eliminated. Brazil to the corner finals. Going up against either Pakistan or Indonesia. Who will it be? We're about to find out. Pakistan in the green, Indonesia in the white, and you see again Indonesia getting separated on the first straight, but then they get closer together again when they uh, get into that first jump, and they have actually taken over the lead. There's only one more jump to go, and here comes Pakistan, but Indonesia comes and takes it back. Great move by Pakistan, and they take it. All right, uh, great move by Indonesia. Both of these teams did a great job. You see here, Pakistan goes all the way up that little white piece. And that gives them a lot of speed. And then Indonesia speeds through this turn section. And that got them the win. Indonesia 16.40. And Pakistan 16.66. So Indonesia will advance to the quarterfinals versus Brazil. Next up we have USA versus Philippines. And they're off you see yet again. The Philippines marble. A little bit more spaced out. You see there when they go after that second jump, the first marble slows down and they get hit by the second marble. And the USA coming out to the lead in this heat and they're going to take it. And that will advance them to the semifinals. And we have a sub 16, 15.82 for the United States. And that is a new record in this tournament. The USA already putting on the heat only in the group stage. They still have two more rounds to go before the finals. And they're really showing that they have what it takes to be the champion of this tournament. So the USA will advance to the quarterfinals versus either Canada or Vietnam. We'll be dueling off in the group stage right now. And they're off Canada in the clear. Vietnam in the yellow. You see there Canada pretty spaced out and here comes Vietnam and they've overtaken uh, Canada at this point we only got two more jumps to go and here comes the last section and it will be Vietnam who will take this heat by a long shot and their marbles were pretty much touching across the line they had very good teamwork in this tournament see here even after the jump they were able to keep together Especially at the end, they were a little bit spaced apart there, about two spaces. And then they came back and united through that little turn section. And then finished very close together. But also, Canada finished pretty close together as well, but uh, they weren't able to take that heat. So next up, the quarterfinals will start with India and France going off first. And they're off. India doing a better job at staying close together, but here comes France, and they've overtaken India. India having some trouble getting back. And they only got one more uh, section to go. Here comes India at the last second, but nope, it's going to be France who will advance to the semifinals. India kind of fell back behind. And never really even got close to getting back up. You see France already had switched directions before India barely had even gotten off the the last jump there. France at the time of 16.44. That's nothing compared to the 15.85 we saw from the USA. Let's see if they do another good one here in a second. But first off, we have Nigeria versus Mexico for our next quarterfinals. Nigeria, light green. Mexico, dark green. This time it's Nigeria who kind of spaces out. 
And they're neck and neck at this point. Nigeria has the slight lead. And here comes Mexico, and they're trying to overtake Nigeria. And they're neck and neck still, but it is Nigeria. Can Mexico come at the last second? A hard hit from Mexico. But no, it is Nigeria who takes the lead by 500 of a second. 500. What a great match for Nigeria. That was a very close win. You see there that last little hit by Mexico. Little bit of uh, confusion between the two marbles. And that is what cost them the win. They could have caught up. But they had hit against the other marble. And uh, their teamwork did not show. And so France will go up against Nigeria in the semifinals. Next up we have Brazil versus Indonesia. For our third quarterfinal. And at this point, they're neck and neck, but in Indonesia about one space ahead. And now they're coming up. Brazil trying to come up at the last second. And they're neck and neck at this point. Who's going to take it? They're still neck and neck, and it's Indonesia. By 16.55. Brazil 16.7. Indonesia will be advancing to the semifinals, and this will eliminate Brazil. See there, Brazil had the slight lead with the first marble. The second marble is still neck and neck with the second marble from Indonesia. And Indonesia was able to uh, speed through that turn section and take over the lead. So Indonesia to the semifinals versus either the U.S. or Vietnam. And let's take a look at the USA here. Will they be able to have another sub-16 time? And they're off. Already they have a little bit of trouble catching back up, but there they go, overtaking Vietnam, even though they're a little bit spaced apart. Vietnam only has a couple more seconds to try to come up and pass the USA. But the USA is doing really good here. They speed through the last turn. And let's see what their time is, 16.42. Not quite a sub-15, but it was fast enough to eliminate Vietnam. Makes it to the semifinals. It's here after this last jump, they were all the way up to the top of this little white curve piece and they sped back down. They used gravity to their advantage. The steeper the incline at the end of that rail there, the faster speed you'll be going out the other way and the USA used that to advantage in this heat. So the USA will be going up against Indonesia in the semifinals. Next up, France versus Nigeria for our first semifinals. Who will advance to the final round? And they're off. France taking the spaced apart approach. And uh, Nigeria closer together, which seems to be the better strategy. And they're still in the lead. France only has a couple more seconds through the turn. France coming up at the last second. But no, it's not able to do it. One tenth of a second behind Nigeria. France will be eliminated, and Nigeria will advance to the final round. See here, that first France marble almost catching up to Nigeria, but the second one was just too far behind to validate his effort. So Nigeria will advance to the final round versus either Indonesia or the USA. Which one will be the victor of this semifinal? USA is what a lot of people have their eyes on right now, but they have a spaced out approach. But look at that, they use it to their advantage. They're in the lead, but now here comes Indonesia. But the first USA marble, quite far ahead what a unique strategy by the USA and they're neck and neck but the USA takes it at the last second and a 16.19 a 16 another great time but the USA Indonesia just to average 16.42 there's some crazy dynamics going on there they're using their uh, spaced apart and then when the first marble will get down they would already turn around and by the time the second marble got there the first marble would bump them into the other direction. We'll have to see what they do in the final round. But first off, we have the third place match. France versus Indonesia. Which marble will be able to sit on the podium with Nigeria and the USA? And it's France off to the slight lead. Indonesia still has to try to catch up. There's only one more jump to go. And then the turn section. Let's see if they can take it through the turn section. No, they won't. France will be sitting on the podium with third place. Great results for France. Indonesia with a 16.42 time. France has a 16.26 time. That's the United States uh, level time. Unfortunately, they weren't able to ever go up against the USA in the final round. They still get third place. 
and they get the bronze medal on the podium. But now it is time for the final round, Nigeria versus the USA. Who will come out on top? The favorite, the USA, is the one that has had some amazing times and some crazy strategies. What will they do in this final round? They were spaced apart a little bit, but decided to go back to the uh, close together strategy and they're neck and neck. But the Nigeria marbles are a little bit more spaced out. Here comes the USA. They're still neck and neck. Who will take it? And it's the USA who will be the champion of this round with another sub-16 time, 15.95. And Nigeria also getting an amazing time, 16.05. But it wasn't sub-16. USA is the only team who had a sub-16 time, and they had two in this tournament. Great performance by the USA, and they will get the gold medal in this tournament. Nigeria coming in a second with the bronze. It was a really heated final. They were so close, neck and neck for the entire race. Nigeria even in the lead for a good portion of the race, at least for the first marble. And here's though where the USA overtakes Nigeria right there for the first marble anyway. And the second marble comes up from behind. You see though, after every jump, the first and second marble are swapped. So each marble gets a turn leading. And then the USA comes out through the final turn section, overtakes Nigeria. So the USA will be the champion of this Skyrail tournament. Congratulations to the USA. Nigeria coming in close, very close at second and France finishing off your podium in bronze seat. Congratulations to the USA for being your gold medalist in the Sky Rail Tournament. Nigeria coming in close at second with the silver medal. And France with the bronze medal in third place. All these marbles. Hello and welcome to another Marble Run Tournament here on Rebecca's Marble Runs. I'm Jeremiah and I'm glad to be here for this Marble Billiards Tournament. We had a Marble Billiards Tournament a couple videos ago and we've brought it back to see which marbles uh, are still on top in the billiards world. We have some marbles who are coming back from the last tournament as well as some new marbles who are getting their first chance at uh, glory at this billiards tournament. As we get started here, the rules are the same as last time. If a marble goes into the hole on one of the six pockets, that will score a point for the other team, kind of as like the other team hitting your marble into the hole as a cue ball would hit a marble or a uh, ball into the pocket. As we get going here with the bracket system, we have quite a few different duels in today's tournament starting off with Portugal versus France as we get going here Portugal has a marble win that will score a, a point for France and France will advance to the next round in the previous tournament France was eliminated in the first group so they've already done better than their last performance here on these marble and billiards tournaments we'll see how they do in the rest of this tournament as for Portugal, they advanced only to the second round in the last tournament uh, of this style. So they are having a hard time in this tournament. Next up, we have Colombia versus India for this Marble Billiards Tournament. Colombia didn't make it past the first round in the last tournament. And India didn't either. So one of these are guaranteed a better score. Colombia has a marble in the center pocket. That will score a point for India. And India will advance to the next round. And take a look at the repeat here. Uh, one of the India marbles lagging kind of hard behind. But it was Colombia who unfortunately got a marble in one of the pockets. The goal is to stay on the board and to not fall into the pocket. So India will go up against France. In the quarterfinals, now it's time for our third match, Vietnam versus China. 
Vietnam made it all the way to the semifinals in the last video, but they may have had a marble in the pocket, which eliminates them. And China will move on to the next round. China didn't make it past this first round. Last time we saw marble billiards, so they are doing well so far. And this is a hard reality for Vietnam. So China will advance to the quarterfinals. Next up, Pakistan versus the USA. Pakistan is one of the new teams that did not compete in the last billiards tournament. And the USA did compete in the last tournament. They only made it to the quarterfinals. So let's see which team will come out on top. And so far, nothing yet, but Pakistan gets one in the top right corner. So the USA will be advancing to the quarterfinals just like they did in the last billiards tournament. And Pakistan, unfortunately, will be eliminated. Which, uh, this is their first time in this billiards tournament, which is unfortunate for them. You can see there their own marble hitting one of their teammates into the top right pocket. Just couldn't stop in time. So Pakistan will, or uh, the USA will go against China in the quarterfinals. Next up, we have Brazil versus the Philippines. The Philippines are another new country that have not done a billiards tournament so far. Brazil uh, did do the tournament last time. Ooh, right at the start. Philippines, right top center uh, corner. Or not top center corner. The top center hole. Which scores Brazil a point. They'll advance to the quarterfinals. Brazil only advanced to the quarterfinals in the last billiards tournament. Let's see if they do better in this tournament. We'll have to see. As we get started with the quarterfinals. But first up, we have the rest of this group stage to go. We have three more rounds. Canada versus Mexico is next. Mexico made it all the way to the semifinals in the last tournament. Canada didn't even advance past the first round. Let's see who does here. Ooh, right at the beginning there. Mexico getting one in the center pocket. And that will eliminate them. Canada gets a point. So they have all three marbles still on the, the uh, table. Canada will advance, instantly eliminating Mexico. Mexico doing worse than they did in the last tournament. And uh, Canada doing better. We'll see how they do against Brazil. Next up, we have Japan versus Peru. Japan did not advance in the last tournament. And Peru is another newcomer to the Marble Billiards Tournament. Japan in the blue. And they get one in right at the start. That will score Peru a point. And that will be all for this round. Peru will advance to the semi or the quarterfinals, and Japan will be eliminated just like they were in the last Marble Billiards tournament. They didn't even make it past the first round. Peru is on a clean slate, though. They've never done a Marble Billiards tournament before, not at least in recent history. We'll have to see how they do in the quarterfinals. Next up, our final duel in the group stage, Germany versus Indonesia. And Indonesia made it to the quarterfinals in the last tournament. Germany did not compete in the last tournament. Let's see if they bring the heat. And there's one for Indonesia. So Germany will get a point. And Germany will advance the next round. Indonesia will be eliminated. Uh, one of the big names in the Fubeka's Marble Runs tournament. They only made it to the quarterfinals, and this time they didn't make it past the group stage. Germany will advance to the next round versus Peru, who will come out in that duel. We'll have to wait until the other three quarterfinals are complete, which will be up next. The first quarterfinal, France versus India. See if India can keep up the momentum as well as France. Both of these marbles did not pass it, or make it past the first round in the last billiards tournament. Let's see who comes out top on this tournament. Nothing yet, but there's one for France. Therefore, India will advance to the next round, getting a point. France getting one in the top right pocket, I believe. It was a pretty hard hit there. They bounced, I think, all the way off the other side of the table before getting into that uh, top right pocket. Oh no, it was the center bottom pocket. Um, sorry for the confusion there, but it is India who will advance to the semifinals versus either China or the USA who will come out on top. China did not make it past the first round in the last tournament. The USA made it only to the quarterfinals, so both of these teams are doing 
uh, better than they have so far. But the USA, unfortunately, gets one in the top center pocket. And that will advance China. And that will be all for the USA. They didn't do any better than they did in the last billiards tournament. China continues to advance. Which is definitely better than not advancing past the group stage in the last billiards tournament. This really is an interesting marble event. The goal is to try to stay out of the pocket instead of actually getting in the pocket, which is kind of harder for these marbles to do. Next up, we have Brazil versus Canada. Brazil didn't even make it past the quarterfinals in the last billiards tournament. Canada didn't make it past the group stage. And Canada already has one in a pocket. So that will advance Brazil to the semi or the semi yeah, the semifinals. Brazil doing pretty good. This will be better than their previous billiards record, only making it to the quarterfinals. Also, an interesting note, last billiards tournament champion, Argentina, is not competing in this tournament. So we are guaranteed a new champion in the second billiards tournament. So Brazil will advance to the semifinals uh, versus either Peru or Germany. Two new names in the Marble Billiards Tournament. Who will come out on top? No marbles in so far, but it is Peru who gets ones in in the bottom center pocket. So that will advance Germany to the semifinals versus Brazil. And Peru, unfortunately, will be eliminated. See there, they a little bit out of control right after that uh, left turn after the first straight out of the starting gate, possibly causing them to get out of sync with the rest of the competitors. So that round off our top, or our final quarterfinal for this video. Next up, our first semifinal, India versus China. Both of these teams didn't even make it past the first round in the last contest, who will come out on top. And one marble in the bottom right corner, that was India. So China will advance to the next round into the final round. India will advance to the third place match. Both of these marbles definitely have some gain compared to their last tournament. And it is China who comes out on top. Next up, our second semifinal, Brazil versus Germany. Germany, the only new name in this tournament who has not competed in the previous billiards tournament. Will they be able to advance to the final? And they're off. Who will come out first? Oh, Germany gets one in this top center pocket. So that will advance Brazil to the final round. And Germany will be advanced to the third place match, which is coming up next. Brazil, home of Fubeca's Marble Runs. Hoping to do good in the final round. They almost went into that top left pocket. But it was Germany who ended up going in the top center pocket. So Brazil will be going up against China in the final round. Now it's time for the third place match. India versus Germany. And they're off. And there's one for Germany. And unfortunately, that will eliminate them. India will be sitting on the podium in third place with China and Brazil. A great finish for India. Not even making it past the first round in the previous billiards tournament. Now finishing in third place. They definitely have done some trading since then to up their game in the marble billiards world. Now for our final match in this marble billiards tournament, China versus Brazil. Who will be the champion? of the second Marble Billiards Tournament. And they're off. Brazil has a slight lead. Ooh, come, some hard contacts there, but it is China who gets one in the bottom center pocket. And that will crown Brazil the champion of this Marble Billiards Tournament. The second Marble Billiards Tournament on this channel in recent history. And the champion will be Brazil doing a lot better than their last time only getting it to the quarterfinals and China will come in at second they didn't make it past the group stage which is definitely an improvement from the last contest let's take a look 
at the replay here. There were some pretty hard contacts at the beginning of the entry to the uh, table by the first two marbles. So we take a look here. You can see here, right in the middle, and they have some pretty hard contacts. And I believe it was the second China marble who ended up in the bottom center pocket. So Brazil will be the champion of this Marvel Billiards Tournament. Congratulations to them, but also congratulations to China as well as for India. Congratulations to Brazil for being your Marble Billiards second champion. China coming in close at second and India in third place. All these marbles didn't make it past the group stage except for Brazil who got to the quarterfinals in the last Marble Billiards tournament. So they all definitely had good Going with the theme of raising marbles up we have two more elevators for you in this Marble Race. Hey everybody, I'm Jeremiah and welcome back to Quebec's Marble Runs. In this Marble Race, we have a, a quite a few uh, spiral elevators as well as a large wheel elevator. These will just be some different elements these marbles will have to get through in order to win this Marble Race as well as we have lots of funnels, which are the core of these races. And that's what these marbles are best at. As we take a look at the track, you see the large wheel elevator can only have two marbles at a time. It has four slots, but two of them are going down, which means that there will only be two marbles going up at a time. And that is the point where marbles can gain a lot of uh, uh, ground ahead of some of the other marbles in today's race. Here are the four groups for this tournament. You can see we have a couple newcomers this time, Honduras, South Africa, and Iceland. We'll have to see how they do. Oh, there was also Morocco. Uh, good wishes to them. Hopefully they'll do good in this tournament. But now it's time for group one in this group stage. For group one, we have Nigeria, Qatar, the USA, and England. And we're off. Who comes out first is Qatar up to the first spiral elevator. All the other marbles are still stuck in the blue funnel. Qatar, a major lead at this point. But here comes the other marbles. They're catching back up, and it's England and Nigeria now. Nigeria fighting for first place, and they take it through that orange funnel. USA and uh, England having some trouble in that second funnel. Nigeria now almost exiting the third funnel, and now Qatar has caught up. And they uh, underpassed there, giving some momentum to Nigeria. Now they're into the half pipe maze. This is a feature we haven't seen in a while, in a while here on Quebec's Marble Runs. It's a unique element. And Qatar is able to kind of hold the lead, but they're having trouble exiting this funnel and allowing Nigeria to catch up. And here comes England as well. The USA is still pretty far behind. And Nigeria barely comes out over Qatar through the, the uh, half pipe funnel. And now they're neck and neck in this orange funnel. After this is the uh, wheel elevator. And look at that England coming out past both of these two marbles. They could do the wheel elevator first. Here comes Nigeria next. The Qatar still now in third place. England might be able to win this one. Unless Nigeria and Qatar are coming up now. Now they're neck and neck. Nigeria and Qatar. Who comes out first? It's still England. And here comes Qatar by England. Trying to pressure for first place. And they take it. England trying to get second. But Nigeria takes it there. And England gets eliminated. A downfall for England. Qatar and Nigeria advancing to the next round. The USA not even in the running for the entire race. They weren't even on the screen. They were so far behind. They just couldn't get this race together in this tournament. As they finish these last couple of funnels, all the other marbles have already recovered from their race. And the USA is still going. And they finally finish the course. 
kind of embarrassed after that race. But Qatar and Nigeria will advance to the semifinals. Next up, we have Honduras, South Africa, Cameroon, and Iceland. Three newcomers in recent history on the Quebec's Marble Run scene. I wish them all the best. Who comes out first? It's Honduras up through the first elevator. And South Africa comes up next. Cameroon has been a couple tournaments recently. And then there's Iceland way back in the back. Honduras and uh, South Africa fighting right now. Both of these new teams really wanting to show themselves worthy of being in Quebec's Marble Runs tournaments. But Cameroon's coming up now. And they're trying to pressure for Honduras. Now they're spinning and they overtake Honduras through that funnel. Up the elevators they go. Honduras and South Africa are now fighting. Cameroon now entering the half pipe maze. And here comes South Africa. They come up in the same half pipe. That's where trouble hits. Let's see if Honduras can make that happen. No, they won't. They're all in separate funnels at this point. South Africa still has a slight edge, but they're in the same funnel there. He comes out first. It's South or uh, Cameroon. Then South Africa. Honduras still in the maze. And now they're neck and neck in this orange funnel. Honduras and Iceland still in that half pipe maze in Cameroon and South Africa. Right close to each other. And Honduras or South Africa is the first marble to exit that funnel. And then Cameroon coming up close behind. Nice move by South Africa there. Barely getting out of the funnel before Cameroon can come and make any damage on that funnel. And here comes Honduras to the funnel. South Africa in the uh, second or the last funnel. And Cameroon's trying to come up and steal first place. But they aren't able to. South Africa. Takes this heat. Cameroon might be able to take second unless Hon somehow Honduras is able to do it. And Honduras will advance as well. Cameroon and Iceland will be eliminated. Two new teams will advance to the semifinals in this tournament. Great performances by South Africa and Honduras taking out Cameroon. Which I'm pretty sure Cameroon won a tournament recently in the last couple of videos. Now they've been eliminated in the first round. So Honduras and South Africa will advance to the semifinals versus Qatar and Nigeria. All pretty new faces in these tournaments. Next up we have the next group, Argentina, Colombia, Peru, and Brazil. Brazil and Argentina, very uh, big names in the Quebec's Marble Runs tournaments, and then Peru and Colombia, smaller teams, and Peru is actually a pretty rare country to compete in these tournaments. So they're happy to be here, and it's Colombia who comes out to the lead first being followed closely by Brazil and Colombia and uh, or Peru and Argentina down there in the back. But Peru is coming up now trying to catch up to Argentina there and Brazil also passes Argentina and uh, Colombia is still in first place. Brazil and Peru fighting in that last funnel before the half pipes and it's, who is it? It's Brazil who comes out first. Brazil chasing Colombia trying to come up and pass but Peru doesn't want to be eliminated either Brazil just has to stay in second place and they'll be advanced but Peru has to gain some spots and they do there taking it all the way to first place Colombia falling down to second now having to face some pressure from Brazil but they take back first place there great move by Colombia now Peru and Brazil are left to fight out in the funnel Peru comes out first to the wheel elevator now for the final three funnels who will come out on top? Brazil does not want to be eliminated. And they're trying to come up to uh, Peru. But Peru has just taken first place from Colombia there. Now they're in the final funnel. Colombia trying to take it back. But they aren't able to. Peru will be first place. Colombia comes in second. And Brazil and Argentina will be eliminated. Two really big names in the Quebec's Marble Runs universe. They will be eliminated in the first round in this tournament the brazil and argentina fans pretty disappointed at this result but the peru and colombia fans are cheering because they have advanced to the semifinals argentina pretty far behind from the other three marbles they had a pretty bad uh, performance in today's race so colombia and peru 
will advance to the semifinals. Now it's time for Group D, Morocco, Japan, the Philippines, and India. This is the first time that Morocco has competed in Quebec's Netherlands in recent history, and they come out to the very quick lead, being followed closely by the Philippines, who's another new name. We've had some suggestions in the comments for the Philippines, and now they're competing, and they're in first place. We'll have to see how they do in the rest of this race, but here comes Japan, as well as for Morocco. They both want to advance to the semifinals as well. Japan and the Philippines are the first out of the second funnel. The Philippines are chasing Japan. Who comes out first? It is the Philippines. Japan and Morocco still stuck in that last funnel. And it's Morocco who comes out next. India and Japan, two bigger names, especially for India. One of the biggest names in Quebec's Marble Lens. And they are in last place at this point. They have some catching up to do if they want to be able to advance. Right now, it's the Philippines and Morocco who are in first and second place. Japan trying to come up and catch up to Morocco. But they take the wrong half pipe. Philippines have already entered the funnel right before the wheel elevator. And now they're only a second behind Morocco there. Japan is able to take first place through that funnel. Philippines has fallen down to third. They're out of the advancement spot. Morocco. Try to come up and overtake uh, uh, Japan there. And they are able to. There's only two more funnels to go for Morocco. And here comes uh, India. And India. They pass Philippines. Philippines have having a downfall there. And Morocco is about to be advanced. India trying to come up and overtake Japan. And they did. And now they're going to advance unless somehow Japan come up from behind. And they're spinning around. It's looking like India will take it. But Japan comes through the inside. And they will take this heat as well as for Morocco. The in, uh, India and the Philippines will be eliminated. Morocco, when the newcomers advance into the semifinals, great performance by them as well as for Japan. One of the big names. But India and the Philippines didn't have such luck. India, uh, their advancement spot got stole by Japan in that round. Now it's time for the first semifinal. Qatar, Nigeria, Honduras, and South Africa. All smaller countries. Let's to see who comes out on top. They're all pretty rookie teams. And it is uh, Qatar who comes out first. Then Honduras and Nigeria. Then South Africa into this first funnel. Who comes out first? It's Honduras. And then Nigeria. And then they're all neck and neck through these funnels. And it's Nigeria who really gains the lead through this elevator. And they're already to the half pipes. All the other marbles are still in the funnel. But it is Honduras who exits next. Qatar and South Africa still fighting in that last funnel. They need to really catch up to these first two marbles if they want to be able to advance. These first two marbles don't really even need to race against each other as long as they stay in the top two spots. But here comes Qatar pressuring Honduras. And it is Nigeria who's already through the funnel before the wheel elevator. Honduras needs to catch up as well. But really, Qatar and South Africa are in the points of, uh, of uh, intensity right now. Honduras has overtaken Nigeria. They've taken first place. Nigeria is still stuck in the funnel. Qatar might be able to catch up, but it's looking like Nigeria will exit that funnel as well, entering the wheel elevator. And Honduras already in the second to last funnel. At this point, South Africa and Qatar have already been eliminated. There's no way they can catch up to Nigeria. Honduras and Nigeria funneling in these last two funnels, but here comes Honduras. And then that's South Africa. Honduras takes first place. And uh, it's not looking like South Africa is going to be able to catch up to Nigeria. They're one funnel behind. So close, yet so far. Honduras and Nigeria will advance to the final round. And South Africa and Qatar will be eliminated. Both of these marbles pretty far behind for the entirety of the race. Now they're finally being able to finish. But Honduras and Nigeria fighting out. Fighting it out in the first uh, two spots in this race. Honduras comes out on top. And Nigeria and Honduras in the final round. Now it's time for semi-final B. Peru, Colombia, Morocco, and Japan. Again, here, it's Morocco. We'll see how they do against all the big wigs. 
They're all pretty stuck in the blue funnel at this point, and it's Columbia who comes out first. Who comes out next? Peru and then Morocco. Japan is still stuck in the blue funnel. And Colombia still is a funnel ahead. Peru and Morocco fighting in the first funnel. Who comes out first? It's Morocco this time. And now they're all neck and neck in the second funnel. And it's Peru and Morocco who come out first. They've passed Colombia. Colombia is out of the advancement zone. And then Morocco. Or Peru is able to get to the elevators first. And then Colombia and Morocco. Japan. Still struggling in the second uh, second funnel there. And Morocco and Peru are stuck on the half pipes. This allows Morocco to catch back up and dislodge them. And now Peru and Morocco are stuck. Colombia might be able to get a huge lead here because P Japan still has a ways to go before they dislodge Peru and Morocco. And now they're all dislodged there. What an uh, upset for some of these top marbles. Now Morocco and Colombia well, as uh, for Japan, the top two marbles really losing their lead because they got stuck. And who comes out first? It's Morocco who comes out in the lead after this tragedy. But Colombia quick to the hole there. And they take it first place. And here comes Japan. They've taken over second place from Morocco and Colombia. And now Colombia and Morocco are fighting for only one advancement spot. Unless somehow Colombia can take first place there. And they do from Japan. Morocco still has a chance. And who comes out of the hole first? But Peru is able to give Morocco too much speed. And that allows Japan to advance to the final round. Peru and Morocco will be eliminated in this tournament. Morocco was so close to being able to come and give their momentum to, to Japan and get to that hole first, but it was Peru who ultimately ruined their dream of winning this tournament. So Japan and Colombia will be going up against Honduras and Nigeria in the final round in this tournament. Honduras, Nigeria, Japan, Colombia. Only two of these marbles are newer marbles, and the other two marbles are more experienced. So all the eyes are on Honduras in Nigeria. And it is Nigeria who comes out first, but they're all neck and neck in this blue funnel. Who can come out and take the first step? It's still Nigeria to the elevator first, then Colombia, then Honduras. But Japan is still struggling in these funnels. Seems like Japan is having a hard time in the first half of these races getting up out of these funnels. And it is uh, Honduras and Colombia who are fighting in the second final. And Colombia comes out first. Honduras now has to face some pressure from Nigeria as well as for Japan. There's no more advancement zone. It's just first, second, third, and then fourth. And only three of these marbles get to sit on the podium. So really, all you have to do is stay out of last place. And Honduras just barely getting out of last place there. Now they're fighting with Japan in this funnel. And now Nigeria and Colombia are in the first two spots. Colombia is trying to catch up to Nigeria through the half pipe maze. And here comes Honduras as well. Japan has fallen back down to last place. And uh, Nigeria already up to the final before the wheel elevator. Colombia and Nigeria. Now Colombia being fought by Japan. And Japan is able to overtake them there. Honduras is falling down as well. Japan has taken second place. They're trying to come up and take first place from Nigeria. But they've already exited the wheel elevator. And all the other three marbles are neck and neck in this funnel. At this point, Nigeria has pretty much won the event. Unless somehow Honduras can catch up before Hon uh, Nigeria exits these last two funnels. Honduras looking good in this first funnel. And they've caught up to Nigeria. But they're able to exit right before Honduras is able to do anything drastic. And here comes Colombia. They've passed Honduras. Now they're trying to catch up to Nigeria. But no. Nigeria will be the champion of this tournament. Colombia circling. They're going to be second. It will be in third place. Japan or Honduras. This point's looking like Honduras will. Unless somehow Japan can make it out in the last second. And they're in the same final. But they won't be able to. Honduras will get the bronze. Japan will get fourth place. Nigeria the overall champion in this tournament. A congratulations to them. As well as a congratulations to to Colombia and Honduras, but uh, it is Nigeria 
who is the champion of this tournament. Congratulations to Nigeria for being our champion of this elevator tournament. Colombia coming in close at second and Honduras coming in at third place. Two new names in the overall podium. Today's track has more funnels, more stairs, is bigger, and it's better. Hey everybody, I'm Jeremiah. Welcome to Fubeka's Marble Runs. You guys seem to like our last video with the stairs and funnels, so we have brought it back. This time with more features and bigger and longer track. As we take a look at the track for today's races, you see the debut of the double size Hubalino funnel. Uh, and that will definitely be an interesting change of... Uh, terrain for these marbles because it has two entries that these marbles can take as you see we have four groups today each group will have four marbles two marbles will go on to the next group until we get to the final round as we get started with the first group here we have Peru the United Kingdom India and Mexico and we're off one of the new unique features there is the kind of zigzag slalom piece there right at the beginning of the course now into the first yellow funnel who will come out first? It's the United Kingdom and then India. Coming up into the second yellow funnel, the entry to the second yellow funnel is very hard, which uh, allows you to get through the funnel quicker. And it is Mexico who's making their their uh, way up the stair first. Peru coming in at second, India is in third place. And Mexico will be the first marble to enter the first green funnel. Peru coming in at second, Mexico is able to exit that funnel before Peru does anything drastic. And now Peru's been caught up by the uh, India and United Kingdom marble. And Mexico, the first marble entered the first large white funnel. And they're already into the first orange funnel. One of two sides you can choose on this end portion of the track. And the United Kingdom comes up and catches to Mexico. Mexico is still able to get to the white funnel first. And they will advance. Only one more marble can advance. Will it be India, United Kingdom, or now Peru? Peru hard hit from them, but it's India who comes out through the funnel. They're all in this last white funnel. Who will come out first? And it's India. India will advance to the next round, and the United Kingdom and Peru will be eliminated. Next up, we have Japan, Spain, the Philippines, and Vietnam. We've had some people request adding the Philippines to these tournaments, and uh, here is their chance at glory. And we get started here. First off, it's Spain being followed by Japan. And then the Philippines and Vietnam. But they're all neck and neck in the first yellow funnel. It kind of seems like this yellow funnel is a little bit tighter than uh, the orange funnels. And it is Spain and Vietnam who take the lead. Vietnam, first marble enters the stairs. All the other marbles have quite a bit of speed in that yellow funnel. Vietnam may be able to get out of the first section of stairs, but they fall down there. Allowing some of the other marbles to catch a stair or two up. Vietnam has to try to get out of this green funnel before Philippines comes up and gives them a hard hit from behind. Let's see if that happens. Philippines and Spain now coming up. Vietnam is not able to get out of the funnel. You can see there all the other marbles giving them their momentum. Who comes out first? It's Spain. A quick exit out of the second green funnel by Spain. They're already in the white funnel. And now they're entering the spurt, the uh, one of the orange funnels there. Vietnam coming in on the white funnel. At this point, Spain is pretty much guaranteed a, a uh, advancement. But Vietnam comes up there, gives them all their momentum. And now Vietnam's in the first white yellow funnel or uh, the white funnel. Spain trying to get to that hole before Philippines get out of that funnel. And it looks like it's going to happen. So Spain and Vietnam will advance to the semifinals and the Philippines and Japan will be eliminated. They still get to finish the track though. Get to try out these large funnels in this tournament. So Vietnam and Spain will be going up against Mexico and India in the semifinals. Next up we have Brazil, Nigeria, Portugal and Indonesia. 
and we're off. Who comes out first? It's Indonesia, being followed by Portugal and then Brazil. Nigeria falling back behind. This is one of their uh, rare occurrences here on these tournaments. I wish them well in this tournament. Who comes out first? It is Nigeria taking the lead from behind. But they are hit very hard by these other marbles, and it is Brazil who comes out to the lead through that second funnel. And now who's next? It's Portugal. And then Indonesia. Nigeria has fallen down all the way back to last place. They're only one step behind uh, Indonesia, though. They're not completely out of the running. Uh, as Brazil and Portugal are up there on the top. Brazil trying to dodge contact from Portugal. They're unable to do so. Portugal gives a lot of momentum to Brazil, allowing them to get into the second funnel. And then that leaves Brazil fighting with Nigeria and Indonesia in the first green funnel. And Portugal is the first one into the large white funnel. And then Indonesia and Brazil fighting in the second green funnel. Portugal overtakes Indonesia in the large white funnel. Great move by Portugal. Indonesia won't have it. They're trying to come up and catch up to Portugal there. And they are able to take back the lead. They're in the white funnel. The white funnel has a shorter spiral period than these orange funnels. Indonesia will be the champion of this round. Will Portugal be able to advance? Uh, Brazil trying to come up and catch up, but they aren't able to. Portugal and Indonesia will advance to the semifinals. Brazil and Nigeria will be eliminated. Nigeria, unfortunately, ending up in ninth or uh, fourth place. Had not a very good performance in today's race. Indonesia and Portugal will be going up against either Pakistan, Sweden, France, and the USA. Two of these marbles will go up against the other two marbles in the semifinal B as we get started here. Who comes out first? It's Sweden, being followed by Spain, uh, France, and then the USA and Pakistan. They're all neck and neck in the funnel. Who comes out first? It's Pakistan. Then the USA. USA gets hit from the inside by Pakistan. Pakistan has gotten to the stair section first. The double stairs, which I believe is the highest back-to-back -back stairs we have seen in Quebec's Marble Runs history. With, uh, France coming in at second. Sweden has came in third. The USA is falling down all the way to last place. They have a ways to go if they want to catch up and advance to the semifinals. And here comes France, almost undercutting uh, Pakistan there. Pakistan is able to get out of there quick. The USA, hard bump to France. They're hitting neck and neck with the other two marbles now. Who comes out the second place out of this first green funnel? And it will be France, then Pakistan, or uh, Sweden, and then the USA. Pakistan is already leaving the white large funnel. And they're into the first orange funnel. Here comes Sweden, though. They want to pressure for first place. A bump from them. They're circling, and here comes the USA. The USA can still take the lead. And they do there through the white funnel. They get through this funnel first. They will be the champion. It looks like they will. A great comeback by the USA. They'll be the champion of this heat. And it's looking like France will be the other marble to accompany them in the semifinals. So Sweden and Pakistan will be eliminated from this heat. So the USA and France will be going up against Indonesia and Portugal in the semifinals. Now it's time for semifinal A, Mexico, India, Vietnam, and Spain. Who comes out first? It's Spain being followed closely by Mexico. But it is uh, Vietnam who's able to take a quick move through the first yellow funnel. Get to the second yellow funnel quickly. Now they have to dodge Mexico. Mexico comes up and passes Vietnam without even doing a contact. Which uh, allows Vietnam to come up close behind. They're only one stair behind from Mexico. Spain and India still fighting back there down at the bottom of the stairs. Really, it's a two marble race. A great move by Mexico getting through the funnel first, but they do stall under the exit. That loses them some ground over Vietnam. Vietnam, though, having some trouble getting out of this green funnel as well. Mexico doing a good job at keeping the lead. He enters the first white funnel first. And India and Spain will really need to uh, catch up if they want to be able to have a chance of advancing to the final round. Mexico, though, is already in the uh, orange funnel. Vietnam coming up here, and Vietnam overpasses there. And they're in the white funnel first. Mexico 
can still be advanced. Vietnam will be the winner of this heat. At this point, it's looking like Mexico will be advancing as well. India and Spain pretty much don't have a chance. Spain is stuck on the track on one of these merged elements. And they won't even be able to finish this race. Which is unfortunate for them. India, though, is able to finish the race. India and Spain will be eliminated. And Vietnam and Mexico will advance to the final round. Now it's time for semi-final B, Indonesia, Portugal, the USA, and France. Which two of these marbles will accompany Vietnam and Mexico in the final round? Who comes out first? It's the, the uh, Indonesia. If you look closely there on that little zigzag section, there were a couple overtakes in the middle of the field, which is a hard thing to do because there's very little space. And it is Indonesia who, who uh, gets out of the uh, yellow funnel first. The next three marbles still having a hard time with the USA who gets out in second and then France and Portugal and Portugal overtakes through the stairs great move by Portugal and USA falls down the stairs we'll have to see if they have any injuries after that take a look at the replay there they weren't able to get up to the second stairs they fell down almost to the bottom of the first section of stairs Indonesia now already in the uh, first white funnel so the USA has already caught back up and they get hit right into the hole by Portugal. Portugal wants to pass the USA as well. They're pretty close together. Indonesia's already in the last white funnel. They have sealed their advancement. But who will come in second? Portugal and the USA both in the white funnel. Portugal has the slight lead, but will the USA be able to take it? Yes, they will. The USA will advance to the final round and Portugal will be eliminated. France also will be eliminated. But a great move by the USA, barely taking it over by Portugal. And they'll advance with Indonesia to the final round. Portugal, very disappointing at the results of this race. Now it's time for the final round. Vietnam, Mexico, Indonesia, and the USA. Four very big names in the Quebec's Marble Runs community. Who will be the champion of this round? The champion of this round will also be the champion of this entire tournament. So the stakes are high. Who comes out first? It's Vietnam. And Mexico again having some trouble stalling under the exit of a funnel. And it is the USA who has the same trouble there. They get pushed by Indonesia. Indonesia though isn't able to overtake there. We got USA, Indonesia, Mexico all within one stare of each other. And then Vietnam is one stare behind. This is going to be a heated battle. Vietnam falls down the entire first half of the stairs like USA did in the last round. USA still has to fend off Indonesia and Mexico though. And a hard hit from Indonesia there. USA is still able to keep the lead. They are being very resilient from these tough competitors in this race. With US, or Mexico overtakes the USA through the white funnel. There's only the orange funnel and then the final white funnel to go. USA is the first to enter, but they're stalled under the orange funnel again. And they're neck and neck with Mexico. Who will it be? This is for the championship, and it's the USA who will be the champion of this tournament. Mexico comes in close as second, and Indonesia will get the bronze. Vietnam comes in with a respectable fourth place. Last place in this heat. They still were in the final round. They got to be included. But the USA is the one that everybody wants to be today because they are the champion of this tournament what a finish the usa and mexico two rivals in Quebec's marble runs dueling it out right at the last second the usa came out on top being the champion of this tournament mexico coming in at second they had some good running in this tournament compared to some of their previous tournaments recently and so they're glad to be on the podium second to the usa and then Indonesia sitting on the third place spot. Congratulations to the USA for getting first place in this tournament. Mexico coming in close at second. Indonesia in third place. All these marbles 
big names in the Fubeka's Marble Runs tournaments. We are here at the Fubeka Stadium for yet another marble tournament. Hey everybody, I'm Jeremiah, and today we have flat out racing on this large Hubalino track. There are many features that the marbles will have to get through to beat their opponents in this track. We have a Plinko, we have spirals, we have stairs, we have funnels, and we have a slalom maze as well. Each of these different uh, sections of this track will test a different strategy that these marbles will have to take and we'll have to see which ones come out on top and which teams are the most well-rounded in this track. So how this event will work, we'll have two marbles going at a time. The winner of the race will go on to the next round, which is the semifinals. And then the final round, we'll have four marbles, the winners from each of the four semifinals. First off, we have Ghana versus Japan. And they're off through the Plinko section. First, who comes out first, it's Japan the spiral section and what the spiral is for is just gaining enough speed before the other marble can get to you because there's no possible way you could overtake through the spiral and we are now in the slalom japan barely uh fights off ghana through the slalom now for the first funnel japan is still into the lead into the second funnel ghana has been following japan this entire race so far will ghana be able to catch up and pass japan Japan is entering the stairs now. Ghana is still in the third funnel. Japan already entering the fourth funnel just as Ghana is getting to the stairs now. At this point, it's looking like Japan is going to take this heat unless somehow Ghana can make a miracle and catch up to Japan. Japan only has two more funnels to go and they will be champions. Japan has entered the last funnel. Will Ghana be able to catch up their two funnels behind? It's not looking like it. Japan going around for the final time. And Japan will be the champion of this heat. Ghana will come in at second. Japan's time 66.867. And Japan, or uh, Ghana, uh, with a time of 77. So that's a whole uh, 10 seconds behind Japan. So Japan will advance to the semifinals. Next up we have Australia versus Indonesia. Two countries in Oceania. Which one will come out on top? Australia in the translucent blue. Indonesia in the white with black stripes. Indonesia comes out through the Plinko. Down the spiral they go. But they're pretty close together. Who will come out through the slalom first? It's Australia. who it takes a quick turn right down into the first funnel here but Indonesia passes them right before the exit of the slalom and they're neck and neck in the first funnel but it is Indonesia who comes out first and a quick exit through the second funnel as well Australia has some catching up to do but they're doing well in the second funnel as well but Indonesia is already up into the stairs Australia has to do a little work to catch up to Indonesia we're halfway through this race already Indonesia has a, a decent lead not as quite of a far lead as Japan had on Ghana in the last heat. They're only one funnel ahead of Australia at this point. Australia is trying to slowly inch their way up, but they only have two more funnels to do so. And they're in the same funnel now. Will Australia be able to pass Indonesia? No, they won't, but they are in the final funnel. This is for the win. They're neck and neck. Who will come out of the hole first? And it will be Indonesia by a hair. Australia comes in at second. Only two seconds ahead, or two seconds behind Indonesia. What a heated heat. Indonesia coming out over Australia. And they'll be going up against Japan. Two island nations going up in the first semifinal. Next up, we have Peru versus USA. USA in the black, Peru in the red. USA comes out through the Plinko. Now for the slalom, who comes out first is Peru who takes the uh, first right turn. USA trying to come up and they take first place from Peru right there. They're neck and neck through the first funnel. Just circling around USA, taking the lead, but they're neck and neck through this funnel. Peru does not want to give up the lead. But the USA keeps holding at this point. Peru doesn't want to allow the USA to get too far ahead. 
They've seen what happened with some of these other teams in the previous seat. Peru has taken the lead now. They're one step apart. Will USA be able to catch up to Peru in the next funnel? And a hard hit from the USA there, slowing them down quite a bit. And they'll take the lead through that next funnel. Only three more funnels to go. USA has already exited the next funnel before the Peru even gets there. Peru only has two more funnels before the USA will be champion. Can Peru catch up? They're slowing down through the second funnel, but the USA is slowing down it well. And the USA will be the champion of this heat. Peru comes in at second. They will be eliminated. And the USA will advance to the semifinals. There's five second difference between the USA and Peru in that heat. The USA will go up against the semifinals. Spain and Libya by the next duel. One of them will go up against the USA in the semifinals. And they're off. Libya in the more shiny blue. Spain in the yellow. Spain has come out on top out of the Plinko. But it is Libya who's able to uh, take the first turn. But Spain's able to overtake through this slalom maze section. Seems like the second marble is usually the marble who enters the slalom first. But it's the first marble who is able to exit it first. It's very interesting uh, dynamics there. But Libya and Spain are both neck and neck in this second funnel. Spain is coming out on top. Spain entering the stairs now. Libya needs to do a little bit of work to catch up. They're having a hard time getting out of that third funnel. Now they have. They're entering the funnel just as Spain had left it. Spain has a whole stair and all, uh, half a funnel now ahead of Libya. Unless Spain makes some crucial mistake, I think they'll advance. Libya is only one funnel behind though, but they're pretty pretty close in terms of the radius of spin in the funnel. Spain in the last funnel, Libya still in the second, and Spain will be advancing to the semifinals versus the USA, and Libya will be eliminated. Let's see how many seconds behind Libya was from Spain. Eight seconds, so not as bad as Ghana versus Japan. Still not a very good performance by Libya. Next up we have Qatar versus Vietnam. Qatar in the red, Vietnam in the blue this time. Well, I guess it's more yellow. The very large blue strike. Qatar comes out of the Plinko first. Vietnam does not want them want to let them uh, get too large of a lead. Vietnam comes through the slalom first. They overtake Qatar. This time through the uh, slalom section. They're neck and neck through the funnel. Breaking the dynamics of the first couple of heats. They're neck and neck. One uh, length behind. Vietnam is overtaking Qatar there. Qatar is still in the second funnel. Vietnam has already exited the third funnel and now are entering the stairs. Vietnam now in the fourth funnel after the stairs. Qatar trying to catch up. But at this point, Vietnam has pretty much advanced unless somehow Qatar can get through these next couple of funnels. Because if you can slow down your speed and get through the hole as quickly as possible, they still could catch up to Vietnam. One of the secrets of a funnel is, especially in these little orange funnels, if you enter with enough speed, it'll actually make your... Uh... And Vietnam advances to the next round. But as I was saying, if you enter the funnel with enough speed, it'll actually elongate your um, path of spiraling. This will actually cause you to get into the hole quicker. But the car... 12 seconds behind Vietnam. So Vietnam will advance to the semifinals. Qatar will be eliminated. Next up, we have Argentina versus Brazil. Two rivals in the soccer world now coming down here against each other in this marble race. Who will come out on top? Brazil in the yellow and blue. Argentina in the white with the uh, blue and black stripes. Argentina comes out through the spiral first. But they do... Uh, come through the first turn in the slalom neck and neck, but Brazil is able to overtake Argentina through this green slalom section into the first funnel, trying to get down through closest to the hole as quickly as possible before Argentina gets there, and they're able to exit the funnel, avoiding a bump from Argentina, which would cause cause disaster for Brazil. One of the major 
see what Argentina did right there. Entering the funnel pretty fast, elongating their spiral, and they got through the funnel really quickly, and then they did the same thing in the funnel with Brazil, overtaking Brazil. Great strategy by Argentina there. Brazil has some catching up to do. Another strategy you can do in these funnels is if a marble is really slow, almost about to exit the funnel, if you can enter the funnel at just the right trajectory to bump your speed into that slow marble, it'll cause them to speed up and you to slow down, exiting the funnel first. But Argentina is still in the lead. Brazil still has a chance they can take advantage of these strategies I've been saying right here. And there's a bump from Brazil there. And they do the strategy I was just talking about. And they will advance to the semifinals. Argentina will be eliminated. Great strategies by both of these teams. Definitely rivals in this tournament. But Brazil was able to overcome Argentina. And they'll go up against Vietnam in the semifinals. Next up, we have Indo uh, India versus Greece. Fans are definitely excited because that was a heated battle between Argentina and Brazil. Greece and India now. Greece in the blue, India in the white with multicolored swirls in it. They're neck and neck. But Greece a little bit ahead through the spiral. We'll come out uh, first through this green section and it, it looked like it's Greece. Greece comes out to the first funnel first. India chasing Greece from behind. Greece barely keeping ahead of India. They exit the funnel first. India trying to use some of the advantages they saw from Argentina and Brazil in the last heat. And they do there. And they exit the funnel first. Greece now doing the same strategy. They slow down, but India gives their momentum to Greece. And India will be the first one up the stairs. Greece in the first stair right as India is in the last. India only has four more funnels to go and they'll be advanced. Greece though does not want that to happen. They're trying to do all they can to get to India. Not quite in the same funnel there. India barely exiting before Greece gets there. There's only three more funnels to go. And oh, a good strategy by Greece, but they miss India. But now they're neck and neck in the final funnel. It's a duel, but India has some slower momentum. Will Greece be able to push them aside? No. So India will be advancing to the semifinals. Greece will be eliminated. Three second difference between those two teams. And it is India who will advance. Greece trying to use those strategies, but they weren't able to use them to their advantage in that heat. Next up, we have Cameroon versus Mexico. Mexico in the green with black stripes. A little bit stalled there outside of the Plinko. Cameroon in the green with more red and yellow stripes. And they're neck and neck through the Plinko section, or the uh, slalom section. Mexico barely overtaking there. And they're neck and neck through the funnel. But they're pretty opposite on the opposite sides of the funnel. Who comes out first? It's Cameroon, then Mexico. A bump by Mexico, quick exit of that second funnel. That was only two, maybe even one second in that funnel. Great strategy by Mexico there. And now a bump from Cameroon. And they overtake Mexico there. They're entering these stairs first. Mexico trying to catch back up. They're only three stairs behind. Cameroon has to do all they can to slow down as much as possible before they, Mexico gets there. And they're able to do it. Mexico almost comes up and bumps Cameroon from behind. Cameroon, though, is able to exit that funnel. Will they be able to do it again here? Yes, they will. Mexico trying to do all they can to get to Cameroon, give them some more speed, so that'll give them more time to get uh, to the funnel as quickly as possible. But Cameroon is in the final funnel. Mexico only has a couple more seconds to do something, but it looked like Cameroon will be advancing to the next round. Mexico will be eliminated. Cameroon gets a time of 76 seconds. Let's see what the difference is for Mexico. And they were eight seconds behind. Uh, so close, they weren't able to do it. They were so close in multiple funnels to Cameroon. And Cameroon was able to exit the funnels before anything happened. Now for the first semifinal, Japan versus Indonesia. Japan in the white with colored stripes. Indonesia, the black and white striped marble through the first uh, spiral section. It's Indonesia in the lead. Japan coming in and they take first place through the slalom. Indonesia trying to come up from behind Japan. 
has a few rotations ahead of Indonesia in the funnel, but Indonesia coming up from behind, and they overtake Japan, giving some of their momentum. Japan has to come up now and try to do the same thing they do there. You see there, Japan had the more speed, bumping Indonesia from behind, slowing down, but Indonesia is able to give the momentum back and overtake the lead once again. Now they're in the stairs, but Japan has to try to come up and overtake Indonesia, but they're having a hard time getting out of the third funnel. Indonesia, probably a good 10 or so, maybe even the entire funnel, yes they will. They're in the second funnel. After the stairs, Japan has to do something quick before things get out of hand. Indonesia, now only one funnel behind uh, the Final funnel, which will allow them to advance. Japan, pretty far behind. Will they be able to catch up to Indonesia? It's not looking like it. Indonesia, a couple more revolutions. And yes, they'll advance to the next round, which is the final round. Japan will be eliminated in this semifinal. They were the first team to advance in this video. And now they have been eliminated. And Indonesia will advance to the final round versus three other marbles in the final heat. So Indonesia goes to the final. Next up, the second semifinal, the USA versus Spain. Both of these teams wants to go up against U uh, Indonesia in the final round. But only one will be able to. USA in the black, Spain in the yellow. USA comes out through the spiral. And the USA, quick turn through the middle of the slalom, but Spain trying to take a different path, and they're able to pass the United States. And they're neck and neck, and the United States is able to take the first funnel. Spain trying to come up from behind. They have a more elongated spin. The USA is able to fend them off there. Great strategy by the USA. Deflecting Spain's hit. And Spain is trying to do it again there, and they are able to take the first place uh, through the third funnel up the stairs this time. USA about a stairs behind. They need to do some major work. They want to be able to take this heat. It's looking like at this point, Spain may able may be able to. USA coming there. Will they be able to hit Spain? No, they won't. Problem with going and trying to hit your opponent to be faster. It means it may elongate your funnel if you don't hit them. And they hit them there. USA has passed Spain. But Spain is coming up to the final funnel. This is the neck and neck moment. And the USA is able to take the lead and they will advance to the final versus Indonesia and two other marbles. Spain will be eliminated. A great move in that final funnel. Spain trying to come up from behind and give them, uh, USA, their momentum. USA gave it right back. And they said, I need to go to the final now. And that's how they got into the final. Next up, we have the semifinal C, which is Vietnam versus Brazil. Brazil, red, or uh, white, or... Sorry for the color confusion. Yellow with blue stripes. Vietnam with yellow and blue uh, with also red stripes. Uh, Brazil is in the lead at this point. And they're neck and neck, but Brazil has the smaller radius spin. They're able to exit the funnel first. Will Vietnam, ooh, a great move by Vietnam there. Bump to Brazil and they're able to take the lead. Both really slow through the respective funnels. Vietnam entering the stairs now. Brazil has some work to do. But it's not over for Brazil. Brazil can still catch up if Vietnam is too slow through these funnels. And more importantly, if Brazil can get through the funnels quicker than Vietnam. But Vietnam is already to the third to last funnel. And Brazil is still trying to get out of the stairs. There's Vietnam to the second to last funnel. Brazil is running out of time. And Vietnam to the last funnel. Vietnam blazing through these funnels like they're nothing. And Vietnam will advance to the next round. They'll be winning this heat. Brazil still in the second to last funnel. A terrible performance by Brazil. They could have had it, but they did not execute these funnels correctly. Therefore, they were eliminated in the semifinal stage. Vietnam will go be going up against the USA and Indonesia in the final round. Only one more marble will be able to go up against them. Brazil, 20 seconds behind Vietnam. That 
is unfortunate for Brazil. Vietnam goes into the final round. Now for the final semifinal, India versus Cameroon. Which marble will be the other marble to go in the final round versus the three other marbles? Indonesia, or not Indonesia, India comes out to the lead. Cameroon coming in at second. Through the spiral, who will come out through the slalom? Contact by Cameroon, but India in the quicker path through the slalom. But uh, Cameroon, quick move through the slalom there. They're neck and neck through the funnel. And India overtakes Cameroon through the first funnel and a quick move through the second funnel. Cameroon is losing some ground. Now they're in the same funnel yet again. This is the final funnel before the stairs and Cameroon, quick move through the inside and they're in first place. Now India losing some ground. They're scared behind Cameroon. Cameroon needs to do all they can to get through the funnel before India gets there because India can do some pretty aggressive moves to overpass in the funnels. Cameroon is in the second to last funnel. India only has two more funnels to try to pass Cameroon. Can they get through the funnel before Cameroon exits? No, they won't. Cameroon is in the last funnel. Will India be able to advance? I don't think so. Cameroon is already too far ahead and they're exiting the final there and they will advance to the final round and they'll be the final marble to be in that quartet of marbles in the final round india will be eliminated in this semi-final 10 seconds behind a average uh behind score behind cameroon the cameroon will be going up against vietnam the usa indonesia in the final round this will be a four marble race and whichever marbles come out on top will crown your first second and third champion as well as for your fourth place finisher this will be a hectic match who will come out on top USA in the black Indonesia in the white Vietnam yellow and Cameroon in the green here we go for the final round in this race who comes out first it's Indonesia being followed by Cameroon the USA and then Vietnam and now we're going to have four marbles all at the same time in the slalom. This is going to be crazy. Who comes out first? It's Vietnam. But the USA, a quick move through the inside. And they're now in the second funnel. Indonesia still lagging behind in the slalom as the other two marbles are in the first funnel. Vietnam, though, overpasses USA through the second funnel. USA is coming up close behind. And they're trying to overpass uh, Vietnam there. And Vietnam is still able to keep the lead. But Cameroon bumped from the inside from them. USA is falling down the third. Cameroon is now two stairs behind Vietnam. We are halfway through this race. Right now it's Cameroon and Vietnam in the fourth funnel. Fourth to last funnel. And who come out first? It's Cameroon. Vietnam come up close behind. Will be able to do a bump to Cameroon. They're chasing them. They're chasing them. And they are not able to do it. Cameroon exits the funnel first, but here comes the United States and a bump from them. They take in second place. Cameroon's in the final funnel. Will any other marble challenge the first place or will Cameroon be the champion of this tournament? Here comes Vietnam, but Cameroon will be your champion of this tournament. Vietnam comes in at second and the USA comes in at third place. Indonesia, a respectable fourth finish, but Cameroon will be the champion of this tournament. A great performance by Cameroon. What a crazy match. Cameroon and Vietnam battling out in the second half of the race, as well as the USA falling back after being in the lead with Vietnam in the first half of the race. Cameroon coming out at the last second, and they will be champion of this tournament. Congratulations to Cameroon and all your Cameroon fans out there. Now it's time for the podium ceremony. Three marbles get to sit on the podiums. One marble still in the final round, but not able to sit on the podium this time. Three marbles get the glory from this race. Congratulations to Cameroon for being your champion of this Marble Hubalino Race Tournament. Vietnam coming in close at second, and the USA in third place. All these marbles had... <laughs> Hello, Marble Sports fans, and welcome back. I'm Jeremiah, and I'm glad to be here for yet another Marble Run Tournament. 
here on Fabeca's Marble Runs. We have another soccer tournament for you guys today. We've returned to a track that we had a couple videos ago to give some of these marble teams a chance at glory. We have the funnel in the middle of the field with the two marble goalies on each side protecting their respective goals. And that's what these marbles are going to try to have to get past to in order to score more goals than the opposing team. Last time we had this tournament, it was Argentina who came out with the win being followed closely by Canada and then Brazil in third place. Some of the teams who did not even make it past the first round, Portugal, the USA, Indonesia, China, as well as many others as we get going on the bracket system for this tournament. First off, we have France versus Argentina. Will Argentina be able to pull off a second win on this field? We'll have to wait and see. Argentina is in the light blue. France is in the dark blue, and we are off. Into the funnel we go. We'll come out first. Argentina with one goal. Get blocked by the goalie on the left. But there's another goal for Argentina. And now France gets on the uh, pull of the, the uh, goal there. They are only able to score one goal. Argentina gets two. So they'll advance to the next round. And France will be eliminated. Argentina already showing that they have some skill in this tournament. Will they be able to come out and take another win on the same funnel soccer track? see there France getting blocked by the uh, side of the goal they weren't quite aimed perfectly on that hit as well as they're being blocked directly by one of the marble goalies so Argentina will advance to the quarterfinals next up the USA versus Colombia USA was one of the teams that did not make it to the at least even the second round in this tournament before Colombia Having two marbles there go way off from that right goal. And then the third marble goes way off. And the USA gets two goals in the left. The USA gets two scores. Colombia gets zero. Colombia did not even compete in this tournament in the last time we saw this track. And now we know why. Three goals, or not goals, three misses all right on the right side. Going way off to the right of the right uh, goal there. You can see none of them were even close than the two USA marble coming out on the left side. So the USA will be going up against Argentina in the quarterfinals. Next up, we have China versus Brazil. Brazil coming in third place. Last time we were at this tournament, China not even making it past the first round. Will that happen again? China gets a goal. Uh, Brazil misses. And another block by Brazil. China gets another goal. And then there's one for Brazil. But China gets two goals. Brazil only gets one. So China will advance to the quarterfinals. Brazil will be eliminated. You can see there. First goal by China. And then Mexico, or, uh, Brazil misses right there on the right. And then they get blocked by a goalie there. China being able to pass the goalie. And then a miss for China. And Brazil getting one on the right. So China will advance to the quarterfinals. Next up, Uruguay versus Spain. Uruguay in the blue, Spain in the yellow. They're off. And both misses so far. Spain having a lot of time. Uh, wasted right before exiting the ramp under the funnel. But Uruguay gets three points. Spain only gets two. Uruguay smashed out by them. They'll advance to the next round. Even though they had a block right there. They were blocked by the goalie. And watch right there. Spain had already exited the funnel. But it took a couple seconds for them to actually exit the ramp under the funnel. And then Uruguay gets one on the left. You see there Uruguay hits their other teammate into the goal. Amazing performance by Uruguay in this tournament. We'll definitely have to keep an eye on them in the quarterfinals. Next up, we have Mexico versus Japan. Mexico in the green, Japan in the white. And they're off. Mexico gets blocked. Japan gets one in. Mexico gets blocked again. Japan gets another one. Mexico completely misses on that one. So does Japan. So Japan will get two points. Mexico gets zero. And Japan will advance to the next round. Mexico will be eliminated yet again.
You can see that Mexico Marble sitting right in front of the goal. Had their other teammate come up and hit them from behind, they may have been able to get two goals and tied it with Japan. But that Mexico Marble going way off to the left. So Japan will advance to the quarterfinals versus either the UK or Indonesia, who are next. And they're off to the merge section into the funnel. UK gets one right immediately. And Indonesia misses one. Indonesia misses another one. UK gets blocked, but then gets a goal, as so does Indonesia. But the United Kingdom has two, so they'll advance to the next round. Indonesia will be eliminated. One goal for the United Kingdom there. Indonesia misses the goal on the left, and the United Kingdom gets blocked again by the goalie. Those goalies are good at their job. You can see they're a little bit bigger than the normal marble size. And that's what they're for. Japan is going up against the UK in the quarterfinals. Next up, we have Portugal versus Vietnam. And they're off one of the Vietnam marbles way behind. Going up the other side of the track, Vietnam only has two marbles. Portugal gets a score as well as for Vietnam. And there's another one for Vietnam and v Portugal gets blocked. Vietnam gets two goals even though one of their marbles is stuck on the track. Look at this. That Vietnam marble going up the Portugal lane on the track right before the merge. What is happening on that Vietnam marble? I'm not sure, but Vietnam was still able to advance to the next round. Hopefully they'll be able to get their teamwork under control by the time the, summit, the quarterfinals start which is soon because India and Canada is next and this is the final duel in this first group stage. India on the right, Canada on the left and we are off. We'll come out first, it's Canada with a goal. And here comes two more, Canada misses as well as for India. Canada gets one past the goalie India doesn't get any scores. Canada gets two. Canada will advance the next round, and India will be eliminated. You can see there, right off the bat, Canada getting a goal, and then the rest of the marbles having some trouble getting out of the funnel. But it was Canada and India at the same time who got out next. They were both unsuccessful at getting a goal, and then next up was Canada, who almost got blocked by a goalie, but was able to just barely get into that goal. So Canada will go up against Vietnam in the quarterfinals. Now it's time for the first quarterfinal. Argentina versus the USA. Argentina, last tournament's champion versus the USA. Here we go. And what Argentina's marbles is stuck on the merge. USA already has an advantage. One goal for the USA. One goal for Argentina. And another goal for the USA. Eliminating Argentina. USA will advance to the semifinals. Argentina, unfortunately, will be eliminated because of one of their marbles being stuck on the merge. Seems to be a hard element for some of these marbles to get through. I'll try to jostle for the uh, top spots because both teams are entering at the same time. Kind of get mixed up and sometimes the marbles lose their speed as for the Argentina marble in this duel. So the USA is going to be the first marble advancing to the semifinals. Next up, we have China versus Uruguay. And we're off. And China gets the marble stuck in the merge as well. China's going to have to be uh, really working hard at it. They only have one goal. If Uruguay gets one more goal, China is instantly eliminated. And they do right there. China is elimin eliminated and the Uruguay is advanced to the semifinals. What is happening to some of these marble teams getting marble stuck on the merge? All the other coaches of the rest of the teams taking note on these accidents, having some last minute coaching sessions with their players, making sure that this won't happen for their teams because it can spell disaster. So Uruguay will be going up against the USA in the semifinals. Now we have Japan versus the UK.
Will there be a marble stuck in the merge? Not this time. Pretty fast entry into the funnel. No marble has exited yet. There's Japan with one goal. United Kingdom gets hit on the goal post. And there's one for Japan, but there's one for the United Kingdom as well. But Japan gets two goals. The United Kingdom only gets one. So Japan will advance to the next round. See there, there's one for the uh, Japan as well as for the United Kingdom missing. Japan gets one on the right side as well, leaving it to the last two marbles. Japan gets one there. Oh, Japan had missed their second one there and got their third one. So Japan will advance to the semifinals. Next up, Vietnam versus Canada, the final quarterfinal of this tournament. Canada versus Vietnam. And Canada gets a marble stuck on the merge as well. Will Vietnam be able to take advantage of Canada's disadvantage? Canada gets a goal. Vietnam misses, but Vietnam gets another one. So Vietnam will advance. Canada will be eliminated because of this marble incident yet again. Is there a conspiracy of marbles that are rigging this tournament because getting stuck on the merge? I'm not sure, but at this point, Vietnam is advancing and Canada will be eliminated. We'll see what happens as the tournament goes on. Next up, the first semifinal, the USA versus Uruguay. We'll come out first this time, looking like the USA and they get a goal. Here comes the next one. They get a goal as well as for Uruguay. Gets a goal as well. USA misses their third marble. It's all up to these two Uruguay marbles now. One goal. Both goals missed because they were blocked by the goalie. USA gets two points. Uruguay gets one. Therefore, the USA will advance to the final round in this marble soccer tournament. You, the uh, Uruguay will advance to the third place match. That second Uruguay marble having some trouble exiting the funnel. They were able to do it, but they were blocked by the goal. And now for the second semifinal, Japan versus Vietnam. Who will accompany the USA in the final round? And they are off yet again. Japan having the lead this time. They are mixed up in the funnel. One score for Japan. One miss for Vietnam. One score for Vietnam again. And then two more misses for Japan. Vietnam can still take this. And they get into the goal, which means they have two points. Japan only gets one. So Vietnam will be going up against the USA in the final round. Japan will be going up against Uruguay in the third place match. See that Japan marble getting blocked there. And then the second one completely missing the goal. Then Vietnam coming up on the right side of the goalie. So Vietnam will be going up against the USA in the final round. Now it's time for the third place match, Uruguay versus Japan. And they're off. One of the Japan marbles lagging behind. There's a goal for Uruguay and a miss by Japan. Uruguay gets another one there. Will Japan be able to come up there right on the line? Uruguay gets another goal. Japan has been eliminated already at this point. Look at that Japan marble though. So close to getting a goal. They weren't able to do it though. Uruguay gets three goals. A complete shutout for Uruguay. Putting them on the third place on the podium. See there that Japan marble getting stuck right on the goal post. Unfortunate for them. It still wouldn't have helped anyway. It would have been three to two. Now for the final round in this marble funnel soccer tournament. The USA versus Vietnam. USA didn't even make it past the first round last time we had this tournament. Now they're on the final round. Will they be able to come up and be the champion of this tournament and have a comeback? We'll have to wait and see as this final duel gets started. The USA will be on the right. Vietnam on the left. And we are off. The final round has started. And USA gets a marble stuck on the merge. Vietnam has a chance for glory here, but they get blocked and miss. If USA gets both of their goals, Vietnam misses. 
USA gets a goal, but that's all they need. The USA will be the champion of this soccer tournament. Vietnam will come in second. The USA being champions, even though they have a marble stuck on the merge. Incredible performance by those two the USA marbles, especially the one that got the goal. You can see there that USA marble stuck on the merge. Vietnam had it in their grasp. All they had to do is get two goals. And if USA had even missed one, they would have been champion, but they missed both of the first two goals and then they missed the last one, allowing USA to come up and get just one goal. And that's all they needed going up on that left side. The goal of victory for the USA. So the USA will be the champion of this tournament. An amazing performance by the USA team. Even though they had a marble stuck on the merge. As we listen to the American National Anthem. All these Americans are very proud of their team's performance in today's marble soccer tournament. Congratulations to the USA for being your Marble Soccer Tournament Champion. Vietnam coming in at second and Uruguay being in third place. All these teams performed very well in this tournament. USA having a comeback being eliminated in the first round in the last tournament. Hello Marble Sports fans and welcome back to Quebec's Marble Runs. I'm Jeremiah and I'm glad to be here for this Marble Pool Tournament. While this tournament will work is your goal is to hit the other team into the hole as much as possible. So essentially, whoever gets the most marbles in the hole will lose the round. So uh, we'll have to see how these marbles try to use... Uh, strategy to dodge each other's hits to try to hit each other into the hole that will be an interesting uh, aspect of this tournament as we take a look at the track here you can see the pool green down at the bottom and then the two tracks coming in on either side starting up here at the starting line where the marbles will start and they have three marbles per team in this tournament but yeah, and here are the full uh, bracket systems for this tournament first off we have the UK versus France France in the dark blue, United Kingdom in the light blue, and we're off. And France gets one in, so United Kingdom gets a point. And the United Kingdom will advance the next round one to zero. Essentially, the reasoning behind this is your marble hits the other marble into the, the hole, similar to how you would hit a pool ball into another pool ball. You would hit the cue ball into one of the balls that you want to get into the hole can see one of the United Kingdom bar marbles hitting the France marble into that middle center uh, closest hole. So the UK will advance to the quarterfinals. Next up we have Colombia versus the USA. With USA in the white, Colombia in the yellow. And they're off. And the Colombia gets one in. So the United States We'll advance to the next round, 1-0 yet again. Let's see if the reason why Columbia lost is because they were too early. Let's see Columbia got all their marbles onto the field first. The USA barely dodging that middle hole. But uh, it was Columbia who ended up getting one hole in the top right pocket. So the USA will advance to the quarterfinals versus the UK. Next up we have China versus Brazil. China on the left, Brazil on the right. Who will come out on top. And China gets one in, here comes another one, but they don't go in. So China gets one pocket, therefore Brazil gets one point and Brazil will advance to the next round. Getting one point, China gets zero. there China accidentally hitting their own marble because of a contact from Brazil which caused them to lose a ball into the middle center hole Brazil goes to the quarterfinals next up we have Spain versus Vietnam
Spain. The more reddish yellow Vietnam is the more yellow with black stripes. And one of the Vietnam marbles gets stuck in the, uh, not the Vietnam, Spain gets pushed into the pocket. So Vietnam will be advancing to the quarterfinals. Here, this first Spain marble getting hit into the uh, left or the right pocket by another one of their own team. Unfortunately, too chaotic of a match for them. So Vietnam will advance to the quarterfinals versus Brazil. Next up, we have Mexico versus Uruguay. Uruguay in the translucent blue. Mexico in the green. Can Mexico make it past the first couple of rounds? And Uruguay has marble in. So Mexico will get a point. Mexico advances to the quarterfinals. One step closer to going against their nemesis, uh, the United States, in these marble tournaments. Uruguay, unfortunately, being eliminated. Let's see how it happened. You see there the first contact between the first two marbles. Uruguay goes into the center top hole. So Mexico will advance to the quarterfinals. Next up we have Canada versus Indonesia. Indonesia in the white, Canada in the clear with red swirls. As we get going here. And Canada gets a marble in. And Indonesia gets one point because of that. Indonesia will advance the next round one to zero. Will there be any instances where we have more than one marble in a hole? I haven't seen that yet. We'll have to see if that happens in the rest of the competition. Canada merely, nearly missing that top right pocket. But it was Indonesia who will advance the next round with one point. So far, it's only been one point. Have advanced all these marbles to the quarterfinals so far. Indonesia advances to the quarterfinals. Next up, we have Portugal versus Japan. Portugal in the green, Japan in the white. They are off. And what happened there? Portugal, one of the Portugal marbles, flies off the track. Japan has a marble in the pocket. Portugal advances to the next round, but. Somehow, one of the Portugal marbles is gone. Let's see here in the replay just what happened. You can see there, Portugal marble landing right on the Japan marble, flying off of the whole pool green. Meanwhile, one of the Japan marbles had fallen into a pocket, scoring Japan a point, or Portugal a point. So Portugal will be advancing to the quarterfinals. Now for our final duel in this stage, Argentina versus India. And they are off. And India has marble in. And so that means Argentina will advance to the next round. Argentina gets a point. India, unfortunately, will be eliminated. there that first collision is really crucial in this uh, tournament whichever marble has the wrong move on that first collision may fall into that hole as we've seen a couple times in this tournament next up we have the first quarterfinal the UK versus the USA and they're off the UK a little bit behind or a little bit ahead of the USA the USA gets a marble in the United Kingdom scores a point on that, and they will advance the next round. The USA will be eliminated. Seems like if your team lags behind a little bit, you have more chance of being eliminated because the other team has more time to gain onto your side of the, uh, the green, pushing you into one of the holes because they have more momentum on the green. Next up, we have quarterfinals number two, Brazil versus Vietnam.
Brazil yellow with the blue, Vietnam yellow with the black. And we are off. And one marble right at the end, the Brazil marble falling into the top center pocket, scoring Vietnam a point. So Vietnam will advance to the next round and Brazil will be eliminated. See right there, that last Vietnam marble coming in at the last second. Actually, that was a Brazil marble. Came up and hit the other Brazil marble right at the last second, unfortunately. Next up, we have Mexico versus Indonesia. Mexico wanting to have a good performance in this tournament. Wanting to remake a name for themselves. And Indonesia has a marble in. And that advances Mexico to the next round. One step closer to glory for Mexico. We see the Indonesia marble actually get there first. Mexico marble hitting them right into just the right angle to send them into the top center pocket. So Mexico will advance to the semifinals versus either Portugal or Argentina. Which is next. Argentina in the blue, Portugal in the green. As we get started, they are off. And no scores yet, but it is Portugal who gets a marble in, scoring Argentina a point. Argentina will be going up against Mexico in the semifinals. can see one of the Argentina marbles lagging behind a little bit. Is that what caused them to win? See where the pocket was. There weren't any pockets uh, directly at the start. Portugal gets one right there in the center. So Argentina will advance to Mexico in the semifinals. Now it's time for the first semifinal, the UK versus Vietnam. And we are off. Pretty neck and neck entry at this point, but it is Argentina, or I mean the United Kingdom, who gets there first. Scoring Vietnam into a pocket. Scoring them a point, which means they will advance to the final round. And Vietnam will advance to the third place match. You can see right there. Vietnam being pushed against the wall and then into the center pocket by the United Kingdom. Like I said, the United Kingdom advances to the final. Now it's time for the second semifinal, Mexico versus Argentina. One of these teams will face off against the UK in the final round. And one of these teams will be sent to the third place match. And they're off. Mexico getting a ball in. Mexico, unfortunately, will be eliminated. Argentina will advance to the final round versus the UK. Mexico will be advanced to the third place match versus Vietnam. See this first Mexico marble way too early. And then Argentina comes along and uh, hits another Mexico marble into the top center pocket. That seems like a common pocket for these marbles to be hidden. Now it's time for the third place match, Vietnam versus Mexico. Vietnam on the left, Mexico still has a chance to stand on the podium. And Vietnam has a marble in. Mexico will be the third place in this tournament, scoring one point on Vietnam. So Mexico will get to sit on the podium along with the UK and Argentina. You can see there that Mexico marble on the right side hitting the Vietnam marble into the center bottom pocket. Now it's time for the final round, the UK versus Argentina. Which team will be crowned champion of this marble billiards tournament? Two blue colored teams, United Kingdom in the blue with yellow, Argentina blue with white. 
The United Kingdom is slightly shinier as well. And the United Kingdom gets winning the top right pocket, unfortunately for them, because Argentina will score a point and they will be the champion of this marble pool tournament. The United Kingdom will come in at second. Mexico will be in third place. An unfortunate event for the United Kingdom. They didn't even get hit into the pocket. They just went into the pocket by their own will. Was there mutiny in this team? Let's keep a close eye on the United Kingdom marbles because one of them going into the top right pocket without even being hit by another marble. I think it was the last one. You see there, I guess they were hit by the Argentina marble. Off course where they were supposed to go. Ricocheted off the bottom wall into that top right pocket. So Argentina will be your champion of this marble pool tournament here on Fubeca's Marble Run. This entire tournament, we did not see more than a 1-0 score on the uh, overall pockets scored per team. That's very interesting. I would have thought we would have seen at least one get two pockets in on the other team. Guess that's not how it worked in today's tournament though. Congratulations to Argentina for being your marble pool champion. United Kingdom coming in at second. Mexico gets to sit on the podium as well, getting third place. All these marbles getting one point in every round that they were in. Very interesting. We did Hello and welcome to this top 10 marble soccer tournament plays on Quebec's Marble Runs to get started on this first play. Quebec's Marble Runs has had a lot of different soccer tournaments throughout the years. So we'll be taking a look at some of the best plays here as we take a look at our first play. The Lynx Ruffus versus Steel Brothers match in the Marble Champions League soccer round. You can see that one Steel Brothers marble hitting the goal post and then coming back to the fidget spinner to be able to go and get that goal. Now for number nine. This time it is a marble uh, soccer friendly race. India versus the United Kingdom. You see India got three points. The United Kingdom didn't get, or they did get one point see the replay how these marbles did it. See each team in this tournament has five marbles going down through this little green track first. You see there up until just there none of the marbles had scored and look at that one India marble there bouncing off the wall to get into that goal, a very uh, technical move by India. That's why they're up on this list. Now for number eight, one of our most recent soccer tournaments, Spain versus France. This was a very intense match. See there, Spain getting blocked by the marble goalie, and then having another one pass, but France gets two goals. So they were advanced. The main highlight of this tournament and this round was those marble goalies. Spain hitting one directly head on. Their first marble right here. And then the second one coming up and hitting the other one out of the way to get into the goal. See, Spain got blocked by the goalie twice in this round. And that's what caused them the elimination. Now for number seven. This one was a little bit older, back to the fidget spinner format. And then you can see there the Indonesia marble coming up from behind. And two of the marbles in this round, stalled by that little figure goalie. Both trying to get in that goal, but they weren't able to. It was a tie in this match. Also, if you watch uh, near the end of this match, one of the Indonesian marbles being circled there gets in right away. But the second Indonesian marble gets hit by the Cameroon marble going into the uh, goal. Now for number six. Another round from the Marble Champions League. Tatubola versus the Blue Jackets. Three goals 
all within a couple seconds of each other for the Blue Jackets. Only one goal for Tatubola. A great round by the Blue Jackets. Very quick scoring. See, there's one. There's two. And then this set, uh, third one comes up right there. Tatubola, though, also having a bounce off the rim. Now for number five, as we enter our top five plays, it's Canada versus the USA. And you see there, one of the Canada marbles getting stalled before even getting to the field. And Canada already has, uh, they got one goal there. The USA only has one goal as well, but Canada was able to take two goals, which still allowed them to advance to the next round in this tournament, even though they had a marble stalled on the track. You can see Canada's resourcefulness in this match. You can see that first, the second USA marble getting blocked by that marble goalie. The third one hitting the rim. They only had one goal on the left side. And this last Canada marble comes up and takes the second goal. Now for number four. Peru versus Mexico in this match. Wow, what a crazy match. Marbles flying everywhere. Peru comes out on top with three. Mexico only had two. We'll have to see what the replay shows on that one. That was a crazy, chaotic match. Let's take a look at that last Mexico marble. See what happens there. See marbles going everywhere. Look at that. There's the last Canada marble or the Mexico marble hitting the side of the field, going into the goal. Great strategy by Mexico. Now for our third best uh, soccer tournament performance on Quebec's Marble Runs. Another soccer Plinko tournament in the Marble Champions League. You see Steel Brothers getting stalled on the Plinko, but they are pushed by the Vikings, which allowed them to take a goal. Allowing them to advance to the next round in this tournament. You can see there they were stalled. They would have lost, but the Vikings dislodged them getting him into the goal as well as the Vikings getting a goal. They did have to get past that goalie first. Those were the two marbles advancing to the next round in this tournament. Now for our second best soccer tournament performance. Another one here in the Quadrilla Marble Run Tournament this time. Let's see which countries it was. This time it was China, Argentina, Spain, and Indonesia. Four countries, so they only have one marble to get into the goal. Whoever gets in the goal first, if at all, would have advanced to the next round. Let's see which marble gets there first. It was China, who's off to the early lead, being followed by Argentina, who takes the lead through that first spiral. They all catching up right here. Entering the field, who gets a goal first? And no one gets a goal, but China spitting there. And they get a goal, so China was advanced. Argentina was the second marble down to the field. Actually, they were the first marble, but China gets to go first in the standings because they were the one who had the goal. So China and Argentina advance to the next round. A amazing round. China was the last marble to enter the field. They were spitting like crazy right in front of the goal, trying to fight the dizziness all they could just to get into that goal. You see they were spitting for a very long time before they finally inched across the goal. See that they're still going. And then they finally get in there, solidifying their advancement. Now for our best soccer play in Quebec's Marble Runs history, we go back to our roots. One of the older Fubeka's Marble Runs videos, India versus Brazil. Starting off with the Rossetti Marble track and no fidget spinner this time. Brazil gets one and then India and Brazil gets another one. Brazil was the advanced marble in this match. Let's take a look at the replay.
see this is one of the soccer trainers that do not have a fidget spinner in the middle, which allowed with for more skill on the marble side. You can see those two Brazil marbles over there almost getting into the goal. So this was the second match in this tournament. India versus uh, Brazil yet again. And there's two goals for India, or and uh, um, three goals for Brazil. And look at that India marble over on the right, sitting on the line of the goal. Was that counted as a goal? We'll have to see. There, all the uh, Brazil marbles getting to the other side of the field first, leaving the India marbles less time to collide with the Brazil marbles. See that India marble there, so close to the line, they rolled back out, trying to get back in. They weren't able to do it. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe, and comment down below if you want to see more of these compilation videos. Hey everyone, I'm Jeremiah, and I'm here to welcome you to another marble tournament here on Fubeka's Marble Runs. Today we have another marble soccer tournament. The goal is simple, get the most goals and advance to the next round. As we take a look at the track, uh, they'll have two teams going on each side, and then they'll merge going into the funnel. And then there's four lanes under the funnel, which can lead you to, hopefully, the goal. And in front of each goal, there is a goalie marble, which will not move so that you'll have to dodge that marble if you want to be able to get a goal. We'll have to see how these marbles are able to do in this soccer tournament. It's a little bit of a different style than some of our previous soccer tournaments. Here we go, first round, Pakistan versus Japan. Pakistan on the left in the green, Japan in the white with red and yellow swirls. We're going to get our first look at this new merge element you can see there and into the funnel. And Japan gets one out. No goal. Pakistan gets blocked by the goalie. Japan gets one in. And there are no other goals. Japan gets one. So Japan will advance to the next round. Pakistan will be eliminated. You can see those goalie marbles do a good job at uh, blocking the marbles from getting into the goal. They will not move, you can see right there. They are fixed in place. And you see they block two marbles, unless this one gets blocked as well. No, they just missed the goal. So Japan will be advancing to the quarterfinals. Now it's for France versus Spain. And we are off. See, this tournament really isn't about speed. It's about the goals. Ooh, two blocks there, but Spain gets one in. And, an uh, and then uh, France gets another one in. France gets another one. So France will be getting two goals. Spain only gets one. So Spain will be eliminated, and France will advance to the next round. These goalies are really something these marbles have to look out for. See, that one was hit by the goalie there. And then the next one comes up from behind. And Spain gets one as well. Or France. And then France comes up and gets the second one. That's what uh, allowed them to advance to the quarterfinals against Japan. Next up, we have Vietnam versus Portugal. And we're off. Ooh, one of the Vietnam marbles. Really far behind, and Portugal gets stuck on the merge. Portugal's only going to have two marbles. And there's a score for Vietnam. Two scores for Vietnam. A score for Portugal. And the other Portugal marble wasn't able to score. So Vietnam will advance and Portugal will be eliminated. If that third Portugal marble had made it out of the uh, merge, they may have been able to tie it up with Vietnam. A great run by Vietnam. Missing the goalies twice. 
can see that's what happened on that second Portugal marble. They hit the goalie, which is what that goalie's goal is to do. Block the other team. Next up, we have Canada versus the USA. And they're off. Another Canada marble falling back behind, and they get stuck just like Portugal did. The USA will have one goal, and Canada will get an, a goal. It's tied. Can Canada bring it out? Yes, they will. And Canada will advance to the next round, even though they have a marble stuck on the merge. An amazing comeback by Canada. The USA really having some trouble in this heat. You can see the USA marble almost got stuck there. But the Canada marble pushed him out of the merge, getting stuck himself. See, there's a blocked goal by the USA, and then there's one for the Canada. And USA misses on the left. And that final Canada marble comes out and gets the final score. So Canada will be going up against Vietnam in the quarterfinals. Next up, we have Switzerland versus Mexico. Mexico is able to get out of this first round. They'll do better than the USA. Ooh, a really far off miss by Switzerland as well as for Mexico twice. And then there's a block by Switzerland. And Mexico gets one goal. So Mexico will be advancing to the next round higher than the USA. And they won't be going against each other in this tournament. I'm still just surprised at how far off from the goal some of these marbles are uh, aiming those first two in particular that's very interesting I wonder what is causing that lack of aim so Mexico will go up in the quarterfinals next up we have Argentina versus Indonesia And they're off. Ooh, there's one for uh, Ar Indonesia. And um, they missed one as well. Argentina gets one. Indonesia gets blocked. There's another for Argentina. And then there's a uh, pull hitter there. Argentina will advance with two goals. Indonesia only gets one. The, Indon the uh, Argentina marbles all waiting quite a long time in the funnel until two of the, Argen uh, the Ar uh, Indonesia marbles made it out of the funnel. Interesting strategy by Argentina. So Argentina will be going up against Mexico in the quarterfinals. Next up we have Brazil versus China. Through the merge they go. Brazil gets a marble stuck in the merge. This is starting to become a common trend. Brazil gets a goal, but so does China. China gets two blocks. Can Brazil come out? And Brazil gets another goal. Brazil will advance, and China will be eliminated, even though Brazil has a marble stuck on that merge track. China throwing the chance of getting the elimination spot out of the window. Getting two blocked marbles. One by the actual goalie marble and the other one. Missing the goal a little bit. Hitting the side. Brazil coming up right in between those two marbles. And getting the goal. So Brazil will advance to the quarterfinals. And they'll be going up against either Germany or India. Which is our next duel. And they're off. All the marbles get through the merge this time. And there's a goal for Germany. And there's another goal for Germany. And a block for Germany. And then two goals by India. And another goal for India. A 3-2 smash out for India. First time we've had all three marbles in the team score a goal. An amazing performance by India. They'll definitely be a team to watch out for in the next round. You can see they all waited until all the Germany marbles came out of the funnel so they can have more accuracy and teamwork to get those two goals right there. 
So India will be going up against Brazil in the quarterfinals. Now it's time for Japan versus France, our first quarterfinal. And here is another one of those France marbles lagging behind, but they are able to have enough speed to get through the merge. And then there's one for uh, Japan. Will there be any other goals? There's a block by the goalie there to the Japan marble and a goal for France. And another goal for Japan. Japan will get two, France gets one. So Japan will advance. You can see the Japan marble hitting that goalie head on. Those goalie marbles are actually a little bit bigger than these player marbles. So they are hard to move. Next up, we have Vietnam versus Canada. Canada was one of the teams that advanced, even though they had a marble stuck in the merge section. And then there's a goal for Canada. Vietnam way off to the side. And then there's another one completely missing the goal. And another goal for Canada. And at this point, Canada has already advanced because Vietnam has no more marbles. So Canada has two. Vietnam only had one. Some of these marbles going way off the side of the uh, goal, not even getting close. That's not what you want to do in this tournament. Canada showed off what you really want to do in this tournament, get as many goals as possible. And uh, if they had gotten this last goal, that would have been better. But they had another one of those marbles go off to the side. Next up, we have Mexico versus Argentina, the third quarterfinal. Mexico doing a little bit better in this tournament. They've made it pretty far. And there's a goal for Argentina. Mexico gets blocked by the uh, goalie. And so does Argentina on that goal. And there's another block, but a goal for Ar Mexico there. But another goal for Argentina. Argentina will advance, and Mexico once again will be eliminated. So Argentina will advance to the semifinals. Now it's time for the final quarterfinal, Brazil versus India. And we're off. See who gets the goal first. And India gets blocked by the goalie. A goal for Brazil. Another goal for Brazil, and then there's a goal for India. But Brazil has pretty much already advanced because India had no more marbles. And Brazil gets three goals. An amazing performance by Brazil. India had gotten three goals in the previous round. So it's a surprising performance. They only got one goal and Brazil got three goals this time. See, all three of the Brazil marbles went on the same side of the goalie in the same goal. So Brazil going up against Argentina. Now it's time for our first semifinal, Japan versus Canada. Canada in the clear with red, Japan in the white. And Japan gets blocked by the goalie. All the other marbles are still in the funnel and a goal by Japan. Canada gets blocked, but there's a goal for Canada as well. And another goal and no goal for Japan. So Canada will advance to the final round and, can't, and uh, Japan will advance to the third place match. There is interesting contact here on the left side of the field. That Canada marble stalled right in front of the goal. And then another Canada marble comes up and hits the other one out of the way so they can get in the goal. So Canada will advance to the final round. Now it's time for our second semifinal, Argentina versus Brazil. Argentina in the blue, Brazil in the yellow. They are off. And a wayward score by Brazil, way off from the goal. And uh, there's a goal for Argentina and another goal. Argentina has already advanced. Even though Brazil gets one goal, Argentina gets three. 
the top teams are really starting to show as we get farther down in this tournament. Threes are becoming more common. So Argentina will advance to the final round versus Canada and Brazil will go in the third place match versus Japan. So Argentina will advance to the final round, but first we have the third place match, Japan versus Brazil. And we are off. Who will come out first? They're all really tight, but it is Brazil who gets a score. And another score for Brazil. No scores for Japan. They can still tie it, but they get blocked by the goalie. And a one goal for Japan, two goals for Brazil. Brazil will sit on the podium and get third place in this tournament. And now it is time for the final round in this marble soccer tournament. Canada versus Argentina are the two teams going off for the ultimate championship in this tournament. Who will come out on top? Argentina in the blue, Canada in the clear with red. And they're off. Argentina gets a goal right at the beginning. So does Canada. And Canada gets possibly another goal. And then there's another goal for Argentina and Canada. And Argentina gets a goal as well. Is that Canada marble? In the goal, no they're not. A millimeter too far out of the goal. Argentina will be the champions of this tournament. What an insane match. Canada making a minor mistake. One millimeter outside of the goal. Let's see how that happened in the replay. See there's an instant goal by Argentina. And then there's one followed closely by Canada. Canada gets blocked by the goalie, but was still able to almost get in the goal there. It was hard to tell if it was in or not. And then all the other marbles come up and get a goal on the right side. All on the same area. But it was Argentina who got three. A lethal mistake by Canada. Congratulations to Argentina for being your Marble Soccer Tournament champion. Canada coming in close at second and Brazil in third place. All these marbles had some pretty good performances. Brazil got a three, Canada got a two. In most Marble Run tournaments, the goal of the game is to get down the track as quickly as possible. But sometimes at the bottom, you must focus on stopping in the right area. Hey, everybody, I'm Jeremiah, and that is the goal of this tournament. As we take a look at the track, how this tournament will work is both of the teams will go on their respective sides yet again down to the bottom. And then uh, each little square down there will give you points depending on where each marble lands. And of course, whichever team has the most points at the end will advance to the next round. Here you can see the bracket systems for today's tournament. First off, we have Pakistan versus Canada. Time to get our first look at how these marbles do in this tournament style. And they're off. You can see all the marbles missing each other in that first uh, entry of the playing field. And Canada has a three there. Pakistan trying to come for that times two, but they wouldn't have gotten any points anyway because no other marble is in a point square. So Canada getting three points, they will advance to the next round. Pakistan will be eliminated. You can see there's uh, four or five, uh, six different types of squares on this playing field. You have the skull, which is just instant elimination, a uh, four, three, and a five squares, as well as negative two, and then the times two square which will double your points that the other marbles are on. So Canada will advance to the quarterfinals. Next up, Indonesia versus Spain. It's 
Indonesia in the white, Spain in the yellow. Ooh, one of the Indonesian marbles really lagging behind there. And when a Spain marble goes out of the playing field. We saw that with Brazil in the last video. Indonesia has one in the three. No other marble is able to get any points. So Indonesia will be advancing to the next round and Spain will be eliminated. They really needed that third player in their team in order to have an, a uh, chance of advancing. Let's see if that marble that was lagging back behind in the Indonesia team is the one that got the point. There were a lot of collisions there. But it wasn't the the marble that was lagging behind was not the one that got the three points. They're over in the bottom right corner. You can see that Spain marble trying to get in the way so Indonesia would push them into the five square. They weren't able to do it. So Indonesia will advance to the quarterfinals going up against Canada. Next up we have France versus Germany. We're off. France and Germany, two neighboring countries in Europe. Let's see who gets any. Oh, and uh, France gets in the elimination square. They will be instantly eliminated, even though they have the three points. Each one of their uh, marbles was in a different square. They had three points, then the negative two, which would have given them one point, which would have been enough to get past Germany, but they ended up getting in that elimination square. So, uh, they are not walking home advanced in today's tournament. So Germany will advance to the quarterfinals with zero points. And Portugal versus Vietnam is next. Vietnam in the yellow on the left, Portugal in the green, and we're off. Will any of these teams get the times two? Ooh, that Vietnam marble very close to the elimination zone as well as for the Portugal. But Vietnam gets three points and they'll advance to the next round. Will we see a team get more than three points in this tournament? We haven't so far. We'll have to see as the tournament goes on. I'm also very interested to see if there will be a times two sometime in this tournament. The times two is one of the hardest uh, squares to get to in this playing field because uh, it's right in the middle. And that's not where the marbles generally go after the entering the playing field. They either go to the left or the right side of the field. Next up, Mexico and Switzerland. Can Mexico revive themselves in this tournament? Mexico has not been having a very good time in the uh, last couple of tournaments after having a great time in a couple tournaments before that. They get three points and they will advance uh, over Switzerland who will be disqualified. A lot of collisions there by Switzerland to Mexico with that Switzerland marble almost getting the times too, but uh, they kept on going. They weren't able to stop themselves. The inertia was just too great. So Mexico will advance to the quarterfinals. Next up, Argentina versus the USA. Another chance for the USA and Mexico to head off against each other. If the USA advances out of this round. They're off. One of the USA marbles is gone. Where is the other USA marble? The USA gets a four. Argentina gets zero. And uh, the USA almost gets another four. But where is the other USA marble? There are only two. They will get a glimpse of what happened in the replay. You see, they started with three here. And one of them fell off the track before even getting to the first orange hairpin. Unbelievable. An amazing performance by the USA. Advancing with only two marbles. Argentina. Really losing an easy chance of advancement. And once again, the USA will head up against Mexico in the quarterfinals. Next up, Brazil versus China. Brazil in the yellow, China in the red. Two, two big teams in this tournament. In China, instant five. Brazil trying to get a five. Will they get a four? They almost get a negative two there. But it is China who will advance to the quarterfinals. 
An amazing move by China, getting five right in the first couple seconds of entering the field. Let's see how they did it. Oh, you can see there, one of the Chinese marbles going and hitting the other one. So they were bounced back a little bit, and then they used their forward spin to halt themselves right on top of the five square. Amazing strategy by China. China will advance to the corner finals. Now it's time for our final group in this first group stage, Japan versus India. And they are off. Japan on the left, India on the right. And India gets four. Will there be another scores? No, India will advance to the next round with four points. Japan not getting any points. These two teams are pretty hard to differentiate. The colors are very similar in this tournament. But I think that was uh, two Japan marbles up in the top left. And that one by the five right there. The Indian marbles. Also, one of them very close to the el elimination square. Have to be careful of that. So India will be going up against China in the quarterfinals. Next up, we have Canada versus Indonesia, our first quarterfinal. Canada in the clear with swirls in it. Indonesia in their classic white again. And they're off a lot of hard collisions there. And there's no points right now, but Indonesia gets a three. No, that's Canada. Canada gets three points. And Canada will advance to the next round. Indonesia will be eliminated. Sorry for the confusion there. But it was uh, Canada was able to get in that three spot. Let's take a look at that bottom right marble, completely changing directions, getting into that three square. It's almost like they turned around from that five. Not sure what the, uh, the uh, thinking was on that, but it turned out. So Canada will be advancing to the semifinals. Next up, Germany versus Vietnam. They are off yet again. Let's see who can get higher points. Germany's in the four. Almost getting up into that negative or that times two. That marble really trying to get up in there. You can see them pushing again and again, trying to get into that times two square. They weren't able to do it, but Germany still has four points. Vietnam has zero. So they advance to the semifinals. You can see most of these marbles are missing the contact between teams in the uh, first entry, each going a little bit sideways. Wondering if that is for the safety of these marbles to keep them from having any injuries colliding too hard right at the first entry of the field. Next up, we have Mexico versus the USA. Who will come out on top in this tournament? In the last tournament, it was the USA who made it out. Mexico was eliminated. Mexico wants to bring it back. And the USA almost getting in the elimination, but they do have negative two. And Mexico gets times two, but they don't have any other points. So the USA will be uh, advancing to the next round. They have three points, but negative two. So they only have one. Mexico, the first team in this tournament to get a times two, but they don't have any other marbles in any other point squares. So they didn't end up getting any points. Definitely disappointing for Mexico. You can see the USA almost was instantly eliminated right there on that elimination square in the top right corner. That marble is able to stay out. So the USA will advance to the semifinals yet again. And now for the final quarterfinals, China versus India. Two very large countries. The two top populated countries in the world. And they're off. And hard contact there. India getting a three. India getting a negative two. So that's only one for India. But China isn't able to get any points. So India will advance to the semifinals. And take that final spot. In the second to last round. China will be eliminated. I 
I think there was a very hard collision. Yes, there was right there. In the first two marbles on the entry in this round. And uh, those two marbles are the marbles that are in the top left corner. Almost like they were apologizing to each other for the uh, mishap at the beginning of the round. Let the other players come up and finish the rest of the race. So India will be going up against the USA in the semifinals. Now it's time for the first semifinal, Canada versus Germany. Germany in the blue with white swirls, Canada in the clear with reddish white swirls. And another hard collision at the entry. There aren't any points at this point, but Canada gets a five. Germany gets a times two. But yet again, they don't get any other points. So they are ending up getting eliminated because they uh, didn't have any other points, even though they got the times two. These marbles can't get a grasp on this times two format. Canada gets a five, a very high score in this tournament. See if that marble had stayed in the four, Germany would have been instantly advanced. They would have got eight points, but they weren't able to do it. So uh, it is Germany will advance to the third place match. Canada will advance to the final round. Now it's time for the semifinal. Uh, USA versus India. USA in the white with more blue in it. India is the more greenish tint. Another hard collision there. USA trying to get in that times two. There's no scores right now, but India gets a negative two. And India also gets a four. So India will have two points. The USA will have zero. India will advance to the final. And the USA will go to the third place match. You can see that USA marble spinning there in the middle, trying to get into that times two. They were just a little bit too dizzy though. India in that negative two. And then the next one right over in the four. So India will be going up against Canada in the final round. Now it's time for the third place match. Germany versus the USA. And they are off. And these higher grouping marbles. Oh, there's an elimination. The USA will be eliminated and Germany will take third place in this tournament. Even though they had a negative two, the USA having an unfortunate elimination square. As I was saying, these top marbles uh, further on in the tournament, caring less about the safety of these marbles colliding more often. And uh, they're focused more on advancing to win the overall tournament. Not sure if that's the smartest idea, but that seems to be what's happening at this point. Now for the final round of this tournament, Canada versus India. And they're off. Let's see what strategies they take. Ooh, a lot of collisions there. All the marbles kind of staying in the middle. Canada has a four. But India is in the elimination spot. And Canada will be your champion of this tournament. India coming in at second. What a round. India getting in that elimination spot in the final round of this tournament. A definite disappointment for India. You can see there all the marbles kind of stalled from hitting each other, kind of stunned right at the beginning of the uh, event. You can see Canada getting that four early. And then the other Canada marble kind of nudging India into the elimination square. A rough move by Canada, but it was able to get them the overall win. So Canada will be the final marble to advance to none other than the championship spot. Congratulations to Canada for being your champion of this tournament. India coming in at second and Germany in third place. Some very amazing plays in today's tournament 
as well as some very interesting strategies. We saw... Welcome back, Marvel Sports fans, to Fubeka's Marble Runs. I'm Jeremiah, and I'm glad to be here for this Line of Collision Marble Tournament. How this tournament will work is each marble will have a team going on their respective sides, and then they will collide on the catwalk, causing them to come off the catwalk, and then each marble will end up in one of the lanes on each side of the catwalk, and whichever lane you land in will give you respective points, and then whichever team has the most points will advance to the next round. And then uh, we'll keep going until there's only one marble left. And that marble will be crowned champion of this tournament. Here you can see the bracket system. We have a dual style system. First off, we have Germany versus Canada. And we're off. Germany's on the left. Canada on the right. First collision. And one of the Canada marbles gets in the red. Gets a zero. You can see one of the red lanes has a negative four. And it will be Germany who will be advancing to the next round. They get 12 points. Canada only gets 11, which uh, was a very close match. If Canada had gotten into that yellow lane right beside the red, it would have gotten a 9 with that second marble right there, and they would have easily advanced. So that's one of the things that these marbles need to do is avoid the middle red lanes as much as possible. And then an element of speed comes up there, because if you get to the catwalk before the other team, then you'll collide on their side of the course, and then you'll not be farther away from the middle red lanes. Next up, Spain versus India. India gets, or Spain gets two sixes, but India gets two sevens. India smashes out Spain, 16 to eight. Spain gets a negative four. See, there's another one of those red lanes. You really have to avoid those red lanes at all costs if you want to advance in this tournament. You can see there, all the marbles almost completely missed each other. That's a very interesting strategy. Next up, we have Portugal versus Brazil. Brazil in the yellow on the left. Portugal in the green. And we're off. Brazil having marble lagging behind. That happened in last race. Brazil has one of the marbles out of the entire course. And then another marble in the negative four. But Portugal has negative one. They have three and then minus four. Brazil somehow wins that heat. Unbelievable. Brazil having one in the red lane and one outside of the entire course. One marble was all it took for Brazil to get in this next round because Portugal did such a poor job. Two marbles in the red lanes and then one in the three. So Brazil will be advancing to the quarterfinals. What a heat. Portugal having a very hard time in that last heat. Mexico versus Argentina now. And we are off. Mexico in the green. Let's we'll see who gets it. Mexico gets two negative fours. And their overall score is negative six. Argentina gets 18. Mexico will be eliminated in the first round in this tournament. They aren't doing very good. They didn't do very good in the last tournament. And they have had a downfall here in this tournament. They will not be winning this heat or this uh, entire tournament. Uh, they had a uh, good streak of wins there for a couple videos. But they are starting to seem to have a downfall. Next up, China versus France. France in the blue, China in the red with black stripes. And they're off. And uh, France having more speed there. They collided on China's side of the board. But China was still able to uh, get 17 points. France only gets 13. Let's see how they do that in the replay. You can see France trying to get to the other side of the board. That side of the board has some higher numbers. The right side you can see there China actually pushing one of the uh, France marbles down into the two lane they at least dodged the red lanes though so China will be advancing to the quarterfinals next up the UK versus the USA
and we're off. USA on the right, UK on the left. The USA gets negative four, and the United Kingdom gets 13 points. The USA only gets nine. So the United States will be eliminated. The UK will advance to the next round. You can see that negative four space really is a uh, make or break for your competition here on this tournament. Will really cause your heat to go haywire, even though the USA got a nine and a four since they got that negative four. The other four didn't even count. UK will go, be going up against China. Now for Indonesia versus Pakistan. Indonesia in their classic white, Pakistan in the green. And they're off. And, and Indonesia getting zero. And Pakistan walking on the catwalk, eventually choosing the zero. Indonesia will come out on top 10 points. And Pakistan only gets seven. Pakistan lagging on the catwalk, can't quite decide where they wanted to go. And then fell at the wrong time going into the red lane, the zero lane. Let's see just how that happened. See, it stopped right at the entrance of the other side of the board and then was catwalking on the wall. Almost went on that side, but almost even got the negative four. That would have been detrimental for Pakistan. But they still were eliminated anyway. Indonesia making it to the quarterfinals. Now for Japan versus Vietnam, the final round in this first uh, round of 16. And they're off. Japan coming out to the slight lead. They all get good points. And it will be J Vietnam, though, who will advance to the next round. Japan only gets six. Vietnam gets 16. An ultimate smash out for Vietnam, if you will. Ten more points than Japan. But none of them got in the uh, red section. So really, it was just depending on which lane they chose. Okay, so Japan did get one, two, and three. And then Vietnam got three, nine, and five. So Vietnam will advance to the quarterfinals. Now it's time for G Germany versus India. India in the white, Germany in the bluish with white uh, stripes. And they're off. Germany gets a uh, zero, India. Getting some good points. They got 18 points. Germany only gets nine. So India will advance to the semifinals. See one of the Indian marbles lagging behind a little bit. They still were collided with the last uh, Germany marble. Germany getting a zero. So India will advance to the semifinals. And now for it's the it's the next quarterfinals of Brazil versus Argentina, two rivals in the World Cup at least. Let's see who comes out on top. Brazil in the yellow, Argentina in the blue. And they're off. Brazil gets two reds, one negative four, one zero. Argentina gets 13 points. Brazil only gets one. A downfall for Brazil. Brazil fans are not very happy about this result. As If you remember, though, in the last heat, Brazil barely got into the semifinals because they had one of the marbles actually fly off the entire course. And then they had a red. They only got three points, but because the other team got two negative fours, they were actually a negative score. So uh, Brazil had only one point, and that's all they needed to advance this to the quarterfinals. Now it's time for China versus the United Kingdom. And they're off. And both teams get negative four. But the United Kingdom gets three points and China only gets one. I mean, uh, two. So the United Kingdom will be advancing because they only have negative one. China has negative two. Two negative scores. Definitely an interesting heat. See, both teams got the negative four there, and then they didn't, they weren't able to get positive four to even just get a positive score. 
advancing with a negative score. That is a new one here on Fubeka's Marble Runs. UK advanced to the semifinals. Now it's time for the final quarterfinal, Indonesia versus Vietnam. And Vietnam gets two sixes and a four. Indonesia only gets two twos and a one. So Vietnam gets 16, Indonesia gets five. And Vietnam will be advancing to the semifinals by far. See, Vietnam having two marbles way over there in the last lane on that side. You can see one of the Vietnam marbles actually getting hit back up the entry lane. And Vietnam, I mean Indonesia, not having a very good heat. So Vietnam will be going up against the UK. Now it's time for India versus Argentina, the first semifinal of this tournament. And they're off. And Argentina gets two negative fours, and then the other marble gets go, uh, pushed up into the other side's entry lane. Argentina gets negative one. India gets five, so India will advance, but that was a crazy round for Argentina. If you watch right here, two marbles go in the negative four, and then the last marble goes up into the entry lane. See, look at that. And they come back around and get a seven, which they still got a negative one, because two negative fours is negative eight, plus seven would be negative one. So India will be going to the final round versus either the UK or Vietnam. Argentina will go into the third place match. And we're off Vietnam versus the UK. UK gets two four, negative fours. Vietnam gets two ones and a two. So Vietnam will get a four. United Kingdom gets negative five. And they will be eliminated. Vietnam will advance to the final round versus India. The United Kingdom will go against Argentina in the third place match. Vietnam versus India. Two of the big names here on Fubeka's Marble Runs. Who will come out on top? We've seen quite a few teams get two negative fours. Definitely unfortunate for those teams. Now for the third place match, Argentina versus the UK. Argentina in the white, United Kingdom in the blue. And they're off. Two fives and a four for Argentina. Two threes and a two for the United Kingdom. Argentina gets 14. United Kingdom only gets eight. So Argentina will be able to sit on the podium. And the United Kingdom will get fourth place in this tournament. Look at that. Four marbles colliding and going the direct opposite way. Now it's time for the final round of this tournament, India versus Vietnam. Who will become king of the line of collision? India in the white on the right, Vietnam in the yellow on the left. And they're off. This is the final moment. Vietnam gets a zero, a one, and a six. India gets two nines and a one. India will be champion of this tournament. With Vietnam coming in at second. An amazing move by India. 19 to seven. Vietnam only getting seven points because they got a zero in the final round. That's not the time to get zero points. India getting two nines. That's the highest possible score that you can get on this board. And if they had gotten that last marble in the nine, they would have had a lot more points. India will be the champion of this tournament. Congratulations to India for being your line of collision champion with Vietnam coming in at second and Argentina in third place. Definitely an action-packed event. 
with a lot of failures and smash outs, with India coming out victor. Hello Marvel Sports fans and welcome back to another race here on Fubeka's Marble Runs. I'm Jeremiah and I'm glad to be here for this event. How this event will work is two marbles one at a time on each side of the track will be going down to the uh, through this little orange slalom section and then to this marble booster which will shoot another marble of that team down to these spinning wheels. And then wherever these wheels stop, that will be the points that that marble is awarded. And whoever has the most points will advance to the next round. So will Mexico be able to once again take the win? They've been taking these tournaments by storm. We'll have to see as Mexico is the first duel in this tournament. Mexico versus Canada. As you can see, the marbles waiting at the booster and then the first leg of the race is at the front and they're off Mexico on the right and Canada on the left and they hit the wheels let's see who gets the higher score as they're slowing down and it will be Mexico who gets 90 points Canada gets a zero Mexico yet again makes it to the next round in these tournaments and Canada will be eliminated You can see there the marbles actually leaping into the air the first part of this straight trying to get to the wheel as quickly as possible so Mexico will be advancing to the quarterfinals next up it's the USA versus China And they are off. China is the red and USA is the white. And it's spinning around. And it will be the USA getting 30 points. China only gets not even one. So the USA will be advancing to the next round versus Mexico. Yet again in these tournaments, the USA and Mexico have been uh, going against each other in some round in these friendly races. Uh, which... Mexico has came on top most of the times that these two teams have uh, faced off. So we'll have to see how they do in this tournament. So USA will advance to the quarterfinals versus Mexico. Now it's time for the Portugal versus the UK. And they are off. And they hit the booster. The United Kingdom gets there a little quicker than Portugal. So the United Kingdom will find out their results sooner. And they will be getting 50 points. Portugal only gets 25. So the United Kingdom will be advancing to the quarterfinals. Portugal will be eliminated in this tournament. You can see that United Kingdom marble giving it all he had to get to that wheel as quickly as possible. So now it's time for Indonesia versus Argentina. Indonesia is the white, Argentina in the blue. And they're off, they're neck and neck. And they both hit the wheel. Indonesia is one of the fan favorites here on Fabeca's Marble Runs. And they get a 90, but the wheel goes back and they only get a 50, but it's still enough. Argentina only gets 25. So Indonesia will be advancing to the corner finals and Argentina will be eliminated. So Indonesia will be facing off against the UK in the quarterfinals. Now it's time for Vietnam versus England. Oh, oh, oh. 
and they're off Vietnam in the yellow England in the more whitish color they both hit the wheels let's see who gets the higher score this time and Vietnam gets a hundred England only gets 50 Vietnam the dominant win so if the arrow points in that little blue or the small yellow on the wheel then you get a hundred points that's the lucky space if you will on these wheels the so Vietnam first marble to get a hundred points in this tournament will advance to the quarterfinals and now it's time for India versus France India another fan favorite here on Fabeca's marble runs They've been doing pretty good in the last couple of tournaments. Let's see how they do in this tournament. And India gets another 100. France only gets 60. India, a dominant win by India as well. They will be advancing to the corner finals versus Vietnam. Two teams that have both got 100 on the previous round. That will be an interesting match to see. So India will be going up against Vietnam. Now it's time for Brazil versus Pakistan. Brazil in the yellow, Pakistan in the green. And they're off. And uh, Brazil, the homeland of Fubeca's Marble Runs. And only get a 50, Pakistan gets 75. So Pakistan will advance to the next round and Brazil sadly will be eliminated. So amazing how these marbles really fly in the air right after that orange booster element to get to that wheel. Must be a joyride for these marbles. So Pakistan will be advancing to the corner finals against either Russia or Spain. This is the last matchup of this first group. Russia in the red, Spain in the yellow. And Russia's off first. And it's going around, Russia gets 100. Spain only gets 30, so Russia will advance to the next round. Spain, not even uh, getting close to Russia. A whole 70 points off. So Russia will be going up against Pakistan in the quarterfinals. Now it's time for Mexico versus the USA. Who will come out on top in this heat? Will it be Mexico once again? Or will USA finally eliminate Mexico in this tournament? We'll have to see here in a couple seconds. And Mexico gets a zero. The USA gets 30 points. Mexico will be eliminated for the first time in a long time, the USA will be advancing to the next semifinal round. Mexico will not be victorious today. So the USA will be the first team to advance to the semifinals. Now they have to go uh, against either the UK or Indonesia. off Indonesia trying to come up and get a better time than uh, United Kingdom a better score looks like United Kingdom will stop the wheel first and they will get a 90 points Indonesia only gets 25 so the United Kingdom will advance to the semifinals versus the USA Indonesia will be eliminated Is there a strategy that these marbles take that uh, hitting the wheel at the right speed and velocity 
that will change the wheel's outcome. I'm not sure. But next up, we have Vietnam versus India. Two of the big teams here on Rebecca's Marble Runs. Let's we'll see how they do. Who comes out on top first? And it was India who got out to the front. But India gets a zero points. Vietnam gets 50. So India will be smashed out of this competition. And they will get eliminated. And Vietnam will advance to the semifinals. India possibly having too much speed spinning the wheel a little bit too much. Had they hit it just a little bit softer, they would have gotten that blue section and got 100 points and would have advanced. But Vietnam was able to get 50. The Vietnam will be advancing to the semifinals. Now it's time for our final quarterfinal, Pakistan versus Russia. And they're off both neck and neck on the uh, booster element. But Russia hits the wheel a lot softer, get only a 25. Pakistan gets a 90. So Pakistan will be advancing to the semifinals. Russia will be eliminated. Russia not hitting the wheel fast enough as Pakistan hit it a lot harder, even though they got there around the same time. Let's see just what happened. See, Pakistan was on the ground a little bit quicker than Russia. See how fast the wheel was going compared to Russia's wheel. So Pakistan will be going up against Vietnam in the semifinals. Now it's time for the USA versus the UK. And they are off. UK in the blue. USA in the white. Wheels are spinning yet, yet again. And it's getting pretty close, but the USA gets 75. United Kingdom only gets 50. So the USA will be advancing to the final round. The UK will be advancing to the third place match. The USA has been hungry for victory in these last couple of tournaments. So they finally get to be in the final round versus either Vietnam or Pakistan. We'll have to see. So Pakistan and Vietnam are going to go off here in the second semifinal. They are off. Who will come out on top? They're both around the same. But it is uh, Vietnam who gets 75. Pakistan only gets 50. So Vietnam will be advancing to the finals versus the USA. Pakistan will be going up against the UK. Will be Vietnam going up in the final versus the USA. And now it's time for the third place match. UK versus Pakistan. And they're off. This is for the podium. They both hit the wheels pretty hard. But the UK wheel slows down quicker. And they get 100. Pakistan only gets 30. So the United Kingdom will get third place in this tournament. And they'll be sitting on the podium. A uh, amazing performance by the United Kingdom. Stopping the wheel right on the 100. Pakistan not having as good a luck. And now it's time for the final round. The USA versus Vietnam. Tensions are high here in this final round. USA been wanting a win for quite a while now. And they are off. Who comes out on top? USA gets 90. Vietnam gets 100. Vietnam will be the champion of this tournament. The USA coming in a second. So close to victory. But they weren't able to do it. Vietnam will be your champion of this tournament. What an upset for the USA fans.
That was a very close finish in the final round, but it was Vietnam. We'll get our ultimate congratulations because they have won this tournament. Congratulations to Vietnam for getting first place. USA coming in at second and the United Kingdom in third place. Definitely an action-packed tournament here on this channel. Vietnam coming out on top. USA having a good performance as well, getting higher up than Mexico. The United Kingdom coming in at... Hello Marble Sports fans and welcome back to another event here on Fubeka's Marble Runs. I'm Jeremiah and I'm glad to be here for this Marble Curling Championship. This will be a one-on-one -on -one style tournament where each team will have to try to get their marbles closest to the center of the target at the end of the ice. Similar to real curling where they have to get their stones to the center of the target. The marbles will have to go through a small track to get to the ice starting with a small funnel to one lane and then to a dividing funnel where they'll, they'll get jumbled up through the slalom into the big tube where they'll enter the ice and try to get closest to the center of the target. How the scoring will work is if the marble lands in the bullseye, it'll get five points. And if they land in the red type circle, then they'll be getting three points. And then the outer white circle is two and then the super outer uh, blue circle will be getting one point and they won't be getting any points if they don't land in the circle So here is the bracket system for this tournament and it will be a dual tournament and the first duel will be China versus Canada so China on the left and Canada on the right and they're off Let's get a first look of how these marbles do in this tournament and China going for the bullseye there But they do wander off into the white zone and it will be Canada who will be advancing to the next round with four points. China only gets three. Good job for Canada. That's uh, definitely what you would expect. Canada is one of those northern countries. Very good at curling. Next up, we have Mexico versus Germany. Let's see. Looks like Mexico has two, now three. And Germany only has one. Mexico will definitely be taking this heat. It's six to one. Germany only having one marble in the blue ring. A dominant performance by Mexico. Next up, we have Uruguay versus Indonesia. You can see marbles from both teams go on each side of that slalom section. Ooh, a hard hit from Uruguay there. Hitting Indonesia out of the circle. There's only one marble in the bullseye. Indonesia in the outer ring. And Indonesia will be taking this one by a slim margin. Uruguay getting zero points. Next up, the USA versus Russia. Russia on the right and the USA on the left. They all get jumbled up there. Russia comes out first, but this event is not about speed. It's about score. The USA having three marbles there. See if that USA marble can get any closer to the red. No, they can't. They'll be taking this heat. Three to one. Russia barely in that blue section up in the top. Next up, Vietnam versus Argentina. One of those Argentina marbles having some trouble getting out of that funnel uh, right after the starting grid. And uh, three Vietnam marbles out there on the left. Only one getting in that blue section, though. That'll do it, though. They will take this heat. One to zero. Definitely interesting how some of these heats are very high scoring and some of them have one to zero will we see a zero zero match next up we have portugal versus india 
and Portugal passing the bullseye and actually exiting the target. India has one marble, and there's another one of those. 1-0, one India will advance to the next round. So India will be going up against Vietnam in the quarterfinals. Now it's time for Spain versus France. Two neighboring countries in Europe. Let's see how they do. And France has one in the white circle. Spain only has one in the blue. France will be taking the seat two to one. Next up for our final heat in this group, Brazil versus Pakistan. Brazil in the yellow and Pakistan in the green. They're all up in the circle at this point, but most of them fall out for Pakistan. Brazil has two in the blue, one in the white even. And Brazil will be taking this heat three to one. Pakistan has one up in the blue, up in the top of the, uh, the target. Now it is time for the quarterfinals. Brazil will be advancing to the quarterfinals with France. And now it's time for Canada versus Mexico. And three of the Mexico marbles stall at the starting gate. An interesting strategy by Mexico. Canada in the blue. Mexico coming up for the red. But they take a turn. Now they're only in the blue. Two Mexicos in the blue. One for Canada. So Mexico will be advancing to the semifinals with two points, Canada only having one. Definitely a disappointment for Canada. I would have expected better from uh, one of these northern teams who uh, have experience in curling. Next up, Indonesia versus the USA. Two white looking marbles. Indonesia is the pure white. And then the USA has the more blue and red. And the USA coming there getting a red possibly. Yes they do. A 5-0 to zero smash out for USA. Indonesia gets zero points. A great performance by the USA. They'll be going up against Mexico once again in this tournament. To see how they do in the semifinals. Now it's time for Vietnam versus India. And one India marble out there coming in for the red. Can they turn around? Yes, they can there. They're right on the edge. Vietnam coming in with the blue. India getting another uh, blue as well. India will be getting four points because of that red. So they'll be advancing to the semifinals. Vietnam will be eliminated. Next up is our final quarterfinal. France versus Brazil. Still in the yellow and France in the blue. France coming out first. Two France marbles in the red there, passing the bullseye. Brazil only has one in the blue. Both of the France marbles come out of the uh, entire target in Brazil, holding it out, and they will be advancing to the semifinals. A definite disappointment for France, having two marbles very close to the center. They weren't able to uh, slow down and stay in the target. So now for the semifinals, Mexico versus the U.S. The U.S. and Mexico, two rivals in these tournaments. Mexico having all four, almost all four. Now only two in the target. The USA has one in the white, but Mexico has three in the blue, and they will take this heat. USA will be eliminated, and Mexico has a chance for glory once again. So Mexico will be advancing to the finals against either India or Brazil. And 
they're off. One of the Brazil marbles lagging in that funnel back there. See how they do a hard hit from Brazil to their own team. And Brazil trying to get two marbles in the white. India messing around with the white as well. Brazil has one in the blue and they will advance to the finals against Mexico and India will be going in the third place match. If India had gotten in that white, they still wouldn't have been able to make it because Brazil has two marbles. So Brazil will be going in the final round against Mexico and now it is time for the third place match. Will the USA be able to get a podium? We'll have to see here. USA's got one in the white, coming for the red, coming for the bullseye. And passes it there. Are they looking like they might even exit the target. Yes, they will, but they have another one up on the top. And the US will beat India 1-0. And they'll be able to sit on the podium with Mexico and Brazil. And now it is time for the final round. Mexico versus Brazil. Here we go. And we're off. Mexico coming out first. And Brazil going for that red. Here comes another Mexico hitting. Uh, the Brazil marble hits the Mexico marble. Mexico coming up trying to hit the Brazil. Will it get a bullseye? It's close. And Mexico gets the red. Brazil not able to do it. And Mexico once again will be your champion of this tournament. Brazil coming in at second and the USA in third place. What a finish for Mexico. So Mexico will be your champion once again in this tournament. Congratulations to Mexico for being your champion of the Marble Curling Championship. Brazil coming in at second and the USA in third place. Mexico is doing a tremendous job at winning these friendly tournaments here on Fubeca's Marble Runs. And yet again, I have to say, Viva! Welcome back Marble Sports fans to Fubeca's Marble Runs. We have another friendly race for you guys today with 16 countries competing for the championship. In today's race we will have two slalom type sections down to two different types of maze section. All made by Hubelino and then the last part is more of a wooden type section that will uh, definitely be a different speed for these marbles down to a rubber funnel type section to the end of the course we'll have to see how these marbles do in today's race we have the standard four groups today group a b c and d group a will have uruguay brazil peru and colombia and we're off and it is colombia off to lead being followed by brazil and then uruguay as well as peru down there in last place colombia is still in the lead and uruguay has caught up now they are in first place and Peru as well Colombia and Brazil are falling down through these slaloms and now it's time to enter the maze section it is Uruguay who gets there first then Colombia and let's see who gets into the white section first looks like it's gonna be Colombia and Colum they all three go at the same time and they're all bouncing around and it is Uruguay who gets first Brazil in second Colombia and Peru get eliminated in this first round that last section with the rubber band funnel is definitely going to be a point of the race that you're going to want to watch for the rest of this video as uh, there were a lot of overtakes right in that specific section of this race now for group B Vietnam Sweden Canada and Indonesia and we're off and it is Canada in the lead but they get pushed aside by all three of the other marbles and it is uh, Vietnam and Sweden as well as Indonesia now who is in first place. Canada gets stuck. They are not going to be able to advance out of this round. They are stuck on the track. 
and there are no marbles behind them, so they're going to be staying stuck. No one's going to be able to dislodge them. Indonesia and Vietnam are still fighting. Indonesia comes out first. They're having some trouble on the rubber bands. They are able to get first place. Vietnam is in second. Sweden is lagging behind in third place. There's no chance for them to uh, be advance out of this round, but at least they can finish, which is not something that Canada can say in today's race. So Indonesia and Vietnam will be advancing. Sweden and Canada will be staying and uh, eliminated out of this round. Vietnam and Indonesia will be going against Uruguay and Brazil in semifinal A. And now it is time for Group C. Pakistan, India, U.S. and Italy. And they're off. And it's Pakistan and the U.S. who are in the lead at this point. But, uh, uh... USA is still in the lead and look at that Pakistan gets stuck, but then they get hit and they're still stuck Two Stranded marbles in two races in a row. What a uh, unfortunate event for these marbles The US and India are still fighting up in the front US comes out first, but they bump on the rubber band India takes first place USA still advances but Italy is still coming up far behind they will be eliminated as well as Pakistan who is stuck on the track just like Canada in the last round. You can see those rubber bands. If you enter the funnel wrong in that section, you will be bouncing quite a number of times before you finally get into that uh, small opening where the end of the course is. That's not what you want to do in these races. And now it's time for Group D. Mexico, Argentina, Spain, and Chile. And we're off. And it is Argentina off to the lead. But Mexico takes the overall lead at this point and it is Argentina now who comes up into the lead and there are a lot of changes at this point let's see who gets out first it is Spain Spain is trying to stay ahead of Chile at this point Chile has taken a uh, good lead but now Mexico is in the lead and now let's see who comes out and gets into the white section first it is Mexico then Argentina they're all bumping around Mexico as advanced as well as Spain Spain and Mexico will be advancing to the next round. Argentina and Chile for the marbles that are eliminated in this race. Now it is time for semifinal A. Uruguay, Brazil, Vietnam, and U Indonesia. And we're off. And it is Uruguay who is off to the lead. But quickly he is passed by Brazil and Vietnam. And uh, Brazil is off in the lead at this point. There is a lot of jostling for positions at the beginning of some of these races. We have to keep an eye out for that. And Brazil gets stuck on the track. Will they be dislodged by Indonesia? We'll have to wait and see. But Uruguay is, is still in the lead. Vietnam coming in at second. Brazil does get dislodged by Indonesia. Definitely an act of kindness from them. Uh, let's see if they are able to catch up. Maybe the rubber bands will be uh, Brazil's saving grace. Vietnam bouncing around as well as Uruguay. But Brazil is not able to come up and take second place from Uruguay and they will be uh, eliminated as well as for Indonesia. Vietnam and Uruguay will advance to the finals. Now it is time for semifinal B. India, US, Mexico, and Spain. And we are off. And who is off in the lead? It is the US and Spain being followed by Mexico and India farther behind. It's the top two and the bottom two the bottom two want to advance they really need to catch up like they are doing right now the top two still want to stay up in the lead and the US and Spain are the ones who are uh, both of them get stuck there but they are able to uh, come up and uh, get some more speed the Mexico has taken the overall lead and they are bouncing around in the rubber bands and US comes in at second that will eliminate India and Spain Mexico and US with the other two marbles who are advancing to the finals. And now it is time for the final race of today's video. Uruguay, Vietnam, US, and Mexico. Who will come out on top in this tournament? And we're off yet again. It is US and Vietnam who are get the early lead, but it is Mexico who is up there as well. Vietnam is lagging behind quite a bit. No, no, that's Uruguay who is back up in the back. 
and Vietnam and the U.S. are battling in the front. Mexico needs to catch up if they want to get a higher spot than third. U.S. is in the podium spot right now, as well as for Vietnam. Will U.S. be able to take the gold? Here we go. It's, let's see if they can. Bouncing around in the rubber bands, and they take the gold. Vietnam coming in at second. Will it be passed by Mexico? They're stuck. No, they won't. They will. Uh, Mexico will take third. Vietnam gets second. And Uruguay gets fourth place. Vietnam getting stuck right before the funnel. Uh, just allowing Mexico to push them into second place. That's definitely savage. These were definitely some amazing races today. That rubber band section at the end of the course can make or break your race. And that's really what these marbles that uh, came up in the final were the best at. Congratulations to the USA for getting first place in this tournament. A definite grind to get here passing through three rounds to become champion. Some marbles were not so fortunate like Canada and Pakistan getting stuck on the track not making it past the first round. Hopefully they do better in the next tournament here on Quebec's Marble Rounds. Congratulations to the USA for getting first place. Vietnam coming in at second and Mexico in third place. Mexico and Vietnam getting some good places, but today they all aspire to be the USA, who won the overall championship. Hello Marble Sports fans and welcome back to Quebec's Marble Runs. I'm Jeremiah and I'm excited to be here for this basketball marble tournament. You guys seem to like our last basketball tournament so we have brought it back this time with a more realistic looking net and a very long ramp as you can see here. The structure for this tournament is based on speed and getting baskets and uh, how it will work is the first marble to touch the basket in any way will get one point and then if you make a basket then you'll get two points so the total amount of points you can get is three if you were the first marble to get to the basket and you were able to successfully get into the basket this will be a one-on-one -on -one style tournament one marble will advance and one will be eliminated in each round so we only have two left and one will be crowned champion so we'll take a look at the track yet again a very very large ramp that will allow the marbles to get enough speed to be able to hopefully get into that basket which is the goal of this entire tournament. Let's take a look at the competitors that are competing in today's tournament. First off in the bottom left corner we have Brazil versus France. Then up in the top left corner we have India versus Indonesia. In the top right we have the USA versus Mexico. And finally we have Vietnam versus Japan in the bottom right corner. So first off, we have Brazil versus France. Let's get our first look at the strategies that these marbles will take in this tournament. So Brazil is in the yellow and France in the blue. Brazil will be out first. And uh, France, not even getting up in the uh, ramp, they'll get zero points. Brazil getting a basket and they were the first one down. Undoubtedly a terrible mistake by France getting eliminated right in the first uh, round in this tournament. They're definitely not happy. We can look at this cool slow-mo, though, of Brazil getting the basket. Right in the basket. They didn't even hit the rim. That is mastery of basketball. So Brazil will be advancing to the semifinals, and they'll be going up against one of the marbles in the top left corner, which will either be Indonesia or India. But now it is time for the next heat, which is Vietnam versus Japan. Two Asian countries. And uh, Asia isn't exactly known for basketball. Let's we'll to see how they do. And it is Vietnam off to the lead. But they miss the goal altogether. They get an air ball. And Japan scores a goal. They'll get two points. Vietnam gets one point for the fastest time. But uh, Japan will be advancing to the next round. You can see there, Vietnam not having enough speed to even get to the basket. And then Japan comes up from behind and scores a goal. Let's take a look at this slow-mo. See how far away Vietnam was. About a marble length from where they were supposed to be if they wanted to make a goal. And then here 
here comes Japan. See Japan there shooting just a little bit shallow. Bouncing on the edge of the rim, but they were able to counteract for their mistake and get the goal. So Japan will be advancing to the semifinals, and they'll be going up against one of the marbles in the top right corner, which will be either U.S. or Mexico. And now it is time for the top left corner, India versus Indonesia. Two of the fan favorites here on Fubeka's marble runs. This will certainly be a heated round. And they're off. Who comes out first? It's India. And India comes out first. They get a goal. And then Indonesia comes and scores a goal behind them. But since India was first, they will be advancing, getting three points. Indonesia only gets two. So they weren't the first marble to get down to the bottom of the course. Both very good scores, though. India having a slightly better score. Indonesia shooting just a little bit shallow, bouncing off the rim. So we can see here India coming up. And they had a pretty on-point score. As we see here, they uh, were right in the middle of the uh, rim there. So now them to have a good score. And here comes Indonesia. And they shot a little bit shallow. See their arch was a little bit too high bounced them on the rim, but they were able to make the basket anyway. So India will be advancing to the semifinals and going up against Brazil. And now it's time for the final heat in this group, which will be the USA versus Mexico. Two North American countries, as I've said before, they definitely know each other well to see who comes out on top in this heat. And it is the U.S. coming out to the lead. Mexico falling a little bit behind through the funnel. And the U.S. misses the goal altogether. Mexico was able to score a basket, which means that they will be advancing to the semifinal and the U.S. will be eliminated. The U.S. was able to get down to the ramp first they had a air ball it didn't even hit the goal as you can see there then Mexico comes up from behind and scores a goal also it looks like the US actually crashed into the grandstands hopefully no one was injured you can see there the USA just didn't have enough speed to get to the goal it didn't even whiff the net then here comes Mexico from behind they were able to make a goal. Let's see if they were a little bit shallow or a little bit far-fetched. Looks like they had a century goal. Yes, they did. A little bit on the far side, having the back side of the rim. But it's good enough. They were going to see the semifinals. And they will go up against Japan in the semifinals. But now it is time for semifinal A, which is Brazil versus India. Now for the first semifinal, Brazil versus India. Who will come out on top in this heat? And it's Brazil, who uh, falls back behind. India is in first place. India will get a goal. Brazil falls off the ramp. They will not even get a score. India, a guaranteed advancement after Brazil having a hard time on the ramp there. You can see they just weren't able to stay up on there. You can only get a goal if you even get up on the top of the ramp as India did right here. See how India did it. They had another one of those more shallow goals. It was a more direct uh, bouncing compared to some of those which actually bounced off the rim and then off the backboard before they got into the basket. But India will be advancing to the final round. They'll be going against either Mexico or Japan. We'll find out here in a second. And they're off. Who comes out first? It's Japan. Mexico coming up close behind, though. And Japan looks like they hit the goal. But Mexico 
is able to score a goal. Japan gets there first. Mexico gets two points for the goal. So they will be advancing to the final against India. And Japan will be going to the third place match. You can see Mexico really far behind Japan in terms of, in terms of time. But they did have a better aim for this goal. Seems like they had another very shallow uh, shot into the goal, almost missing it. But they were able to make the goal in the end and end up getting to the final round. So Mexico will be advancing to the final round versus India. Now it is time for the third place match, Brazil versus Japan. Off. This is for the uh, third place podium spot and Brazil is off to the lead and they get a goal which pretty much solidifies their third place as uh, they were the first ones down so they will be able to sit on the podium with India and Mexico and Japan will get fourth place. See both of the marbles getting a goal but uh, speed is also a factor in this tournament. And you can't neglect it if you want to be able to do well. It's Japan. Having another one of those shallow goals that seems to be a trend here in this tournament. And now it is time for the final round of this basketball tournament. India versus Mexico. This is for the championship. Tensions are high. And they are neck and neck down through the funnel. But it is Mexico first. India coming close behind Mexico. They were super close. And they both get a goal. But Mexico was there first. So Mexico will be the champion of this basketball tournament. Let's see here. They may even be in the same frame. Yes, they will. India trying all they can to catch back up. Hoping that Mexico will bounce off the rim. But they had nothing but net. Which, uh ultimately allowed them to take the championship. Congratulations to Mexico for getting first place in this basketball tournament. India coming in at second and Brazil in third place. All these marbles played hard to get here and all three get respectable finishes. Fan favorites India and Brazil both getting respectable third and second places but Mexico is the one they all aspired to be today and once again I must say Viva la Mexico! That is a resounding cheer that you'll hear. Hello, Marvel Sports fans, and welcome back to Fubeca's Marble Runs. I'm Jeremiah, and I'm glad to be here for this tournament. This tournament is based on the classic arcade game, King of the Hammer. The goal is to get the white marble as high up on the wall as possible without getting in the dead zone. As we take a look at today's track, you'll see that the marbles have a little ways to go before they get to the end of the course. Just to be able to calibrate and uh, calculate how they're going to be able to hit the marble at the right speed in order to get in that perfect 100 score. We'll have to see how they do in this tournament. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you'll be notified of the next Fubeca's Marble Runs video. It helps out the channel a lot. We'll be having eight different countries competing on one on one, one at a time, and whichever marble gets the highest score will advance to the next round. And now let's take a look at the teams competing in today's tournament. First off, on the left bottom bracket, we have India versus Indonesia, two of the fan favorites. That'll definitely be a heated battle. And we have Japan and Brazil up in the top left corner, and then Vietnam and Mexico in the top right corner. And finally, we have France and US, who will be facing off in the final round of the first uh, rounds in this tournament. And now for Japan versus Brazil, and it is Japan who will be going off first. 
and they're off. One of the features of this track is that there is a Y right under this funnel, and it'll have multiple ways to get to this uh, wall at the end of the course, and they take the stairway, which is a little bit slower, but they are able to get very high up on the wall. We'll have to see if they get 100 or if that was a elimination. And it was 100, so they will be getting 100 points. We'll have to see if Brazil can come back and do better than that. It's going to be hard to beat. And it's also a risky move considering that that's so close to the dead zone. Let's see how Brazil does right now. So we've seen one marble go down the left side of this Y, which is the stairs. Will Brazil go in the other side? And they do. And this is a more direct route going on this more speedy spiral type. But they lose a lot of speed. They uh, do not get very high up on the wall. We'll have to see what the score is on the replay. And they only get a 50, only half as much as Japan. So they will be eliminated, and Japan will move on to the semifinals. That's definitely interesting. I would have thought that the uh, speedy spiral would have uh, had more speed for the marbles to get higher up, and even possibly get up into the dead zone. We'll have to see how the other marbles do in that section of the course. Now it's time for France versus the U.S. France will be going off first. Really right here is the most pivotal point in the uh, course for these marbles having to decide which side of the Y they want to go down. And they go down the stairs. And they get pretty high up on the uh, wall as well. Will it be 100 or will it be a dead zone? We'll have to see in the replay. That is definitely the quicker way. I wouldn't have expected that uh, from looking at this course. And they got way too high up. They are in the dead zone. They will be eliminated. The USA will be advancing unless they get a dead zone too. Then we'll have to see what will happen then. Now it's time for the US. So does US want to go Take the riskier route, do the faster one, and have a higher chance of getting 100 points, or do the slower one. They do do the faster one, but they are able to control their speed. Looks like they get maybe a 90 or 80, which is better than an elimination from France. So they get a 90. They will definitely advance over France, who uh, got in the dead zone. Pretty much a easy, instant advancement for the U.S., The U.S. will advance to the semifinals. They will go against one of the marbles up in the top right bracket. And now it is time for the next round, which is Vietnam versus Mexico. The winner of this duel will be going against the U.S. in one of the semifinals. And Mexico will be going off first. And will Mexico take the fast route or the slow route? fast route is possible to get more points but it's also riskier because there is the dead zone they go fast and it looks like they have a hundred points we'll have to check the replay and make sure good uh showing by mexico and yes they do get the hundred right in the middle of the hundred segment very close to the dead zone yet again but they are uh doing well We'll have to see how Vietnam will be able to come back after this. And they're off. Vietnam really only has one choice, and that is to take the fast route if they want to be able to beat Mexico. And they take the slow route going through the spiral. Let's see how they do. And they barely get anything. Looks like a 60 there. They will be eliminated. Mexico will be advancing to the next round. The spiral route is definitely not the route you want to go to. You lose a lot of speed in that jump right before the wall. As you can see, they only got a 60, barely even. They uh, almost got a 50 there, right on the line. So Mexico will be advancing and going against the U.S. in one of the semifinals. 
And now it is time for the final duel of this first group, which is India versus Indonesia. And India will be going off first. Seems like a lot of these marbles going first are not having a problem with their nerves. They're doing well with the pressure. Maybe that's why there are a lot of them are picking the faster route because it's a way to get rid of the pressure as quickly as possible. India does get 100 there. So we take a look at the replay. All these hundreds so close to the dead zone. They almost got 90. They were able to get past that line and that's all that counts for the uh, points. And now it's time for Indonesia. Hope to see if they are able to come up and overtake India. Seems like a lot of times the second marble is having a harder time coming back after the first marble has gone. We'll have to see if Indonesia can break that uh, streak so far. They go down the fast. And it looks like they hit a little bit too hard. They may have gotten in the dead zone here. Let's check the replay. And yes, they did get the dead zone, so they will be eliminated. And India will be advancing to the next round. That's, uh, that's the risk part of the faster lane. You do have that risk of getting in the dead zone if you aren't able to control your speed. So India will be going up against Japan in the semifinals. And now it is time for the first semifinal, Mexico versus the U.S. Mexico will be starting us off. Two neighboring countries. They definitely know each other well. We'll have to see how they are able to cope with the pressure of this round. Which side will it be? And it is the slower side down the spiral. Mexico taking it safe. See how they do. They only get a 50 or 60. At least they didn't get a dead zone. We'll have to see how the U.S. will react to this score. So they only get a 50 right on the line. They weren't quite able to get that 60. We'll have to see how uh, the U.S. will be able to come back in this tournament. Let's see. Will the U.S. take the riskier route or will they take the more safe route? Which has the possibility of being eliminated. Both of them are uh, equally risky at this point. They take the slow route. And they have a terrible performance. Getting only a 30 or 40. We'll have to check the replay on that. Definitely disappointing for the USA fans. Us losing most of their momentum right on that jump before the wall. They only get a 40. And Mexico will advance to the next round. Definitely disappointing for the U.S. They will be going to the third place match. But uh, Mexico will be going up against the victor of this next duel, which is Japan versus India. And Japan will be starting us off yet again. Japan has been watching these other tournaments and they've been taking notes. We'll see which side they're able to go down. And it is the slow side taking it safe once again. And they have a pretty decent performance for that side of the track. They get like a 60. See on the replay. They will be able to uh, keep their speed after that jump. We'll have to see if India takes the faster route or the slower route here in a couple moments. So India is the last marble in the semifinals. This is the make or break to get into the final round of this tournament. Which side will they take, risky or safe? And they go the faster route. And they have too much speed there. White ball goes up to the sky. I think they have been eliminated. We'll have to check the replay on that. Definitely. Oh, they didn't. They did get 100. They didn't quite get up to the elimination zone. That is definitely way too close for comfort. India will be advancing to this final. And Japan will be going to the third place match. Definitely a risky move for India. But it did pay off. Right on the line on the 100. Now it's time for the third place match, Japan versus the U.S. And the U.S. will be going first. This is for the third place. 
which is uh, the final podium spot. We'll have to see if the U.S. is able to make it there or if it's Japan. The U.S. having some trouble with risk management in the last round. Let's see what they do after this. They take the faster route. And they were able to control their speed. They get a decent 90, possibly 100. We'll have to check here. And they do get a 100. So uh, they will be uh, putting some pressure on Japan for the third place. And now for Japan. Japan having a decent showing in this tournament. Winning the first round and then... Not winning the second round. We'll have to see if they win the third place match having a two out of three win-loss ratio. They take the fast route. And they get a 90 very close to the U.S. We'll have to check the replay to make sure. But it's looking like the U.S. will be taking third place in this tournament. Yes, they will. In, uh, Japan only gets a 90, which means U.S. has 10 more points. Therefore, gets to be the only marble sitting on the podium who was not in the final round which is India and Mexico. Now it's time for the final round. Mexico going first. The decisions in this funnel are very intense as we go around the funnel once more. Which route will be the slower route? Mexico is going to take it safe. And they only get a 50. Definitely a beatable score for India. Only if they take the riskier route risking the elimination of the dead zone. We'll have to see how India can react to this, but Mexico has a 50. We'll have to see how this plays out. Now for the final running of this tournament, it is India. Will they take the fast route or the slow route? At this point, I would take the fast route and take the risk. This is for the championship. And they take the fast route. Let's see what happens. They are very close. 100 or dead zone. It's win or lose. We'll have to check the replay. And that will decide the championship. Here they come. They hit the white ball. And they are eliminated. Mexico will be the champion of this tournament. India not controlling their speed. They were eliminated. Got too high up on the wall definitely a disappointment for India but Mexico is cheering because they will be crowned the king of the hammer congratulations to Mexico for getting first place in the king of the hammer tournament India comes in at second and the US will be in third place some amazing arcade game playing in today's video Mexico coming out on top and for all you Mexico fans out there, Viva la Mexico! Welcome back, Marvel Sports fans. We are back. I'm Jeremiah, and I'm glad to be here for this World Cup predictions video. In this video, we will be predicting which countries will make it to the semifinals for the World Cup. As we take a look at all the countries and uh, republics, which have countries that haven't yet been seeded to this far in the competition to see as uh, the football league goes on which marbles will fill in these spots we see lots of different countries here we'll to see which ones move on to the semifinals and then from those spots they will have two more spots to the final two spots in the world cup here you can see where each marble will place if they get first or second in their group. And now it is time for Group A. Qatar, Ecuador, Senegal, and the Netherlands. And we're off. And it is Senegal off to the lead, being followed by uh, the Netherlands, who take first place through this first funnel. And now it is Ecuador in the lead, already getting to the first slalom section before any of the other marbles have even left the funnels. Ecuador has a huge lead at this point, and it is Senegal coming in at second. Netherlands falling down all the way to third and Qatar is down in fourth Qatar had a good showing in the uh, friendly soccer tournament we had a couple videos ago and Ecuador is already making it up these stairs and Senegal is just now getting into the funnel after the first green slalom 
Netherlands now making it up the stairs. Senegal trying to come up and catch up to them. And Ecuador is trying to get out of that blue funnel. See, and they do right there coming into, into this next larger slalom section. And now it is Senegal in this next blue funnel. And at the end of this slalom section, Ecuador will be the champion of this race. And they will. They will advance to the semifinals. And it's looking like the Netherlands will advance as well. Unless somehow Senegal is able to come up and pass them. And here go the Netherlands. One more pass. And they advance as well. Senegal and Qatar will be eliminated. And will not make it to the semifinal round of the World Cup. See, Qatar still moseying around. They uh, definitely are very far behind in this race. And now they're finally finished. So Ecuador and the Netherlands will advance to the semifinals. See, Ecuador will go on the square A1, and they will go against B2, which is the second marble who will finish in the group B. And then the Netherlands will go to A2, and they'll go against the first marble who finished in Group B. And now it is time for Group B. England, Iran, the U.S., and the UEFA marble, which can be Wales, Scotland, or Ukraine. But they have not advanced that far, so we'll have to see uh, which marble this will be in the future. And we're off through the Plinko, and it is the UEFA who was in the lead, but now they're falling down into third place. And it's the U.S. who is in the lead, being followed by England and Iran, who is in last place. The UEFA is coming up, though. But England is the one who is the second marble to get into the slalom after the U.S. The U.S. is having an early lead in this race. They're going to be the first one to get into the tan funnel. And now the UEFA and England, as well as Iran, are all fighting. Call, all get into the funnel at the same time. And it is Iran who comes out first. The UEFA comes in at second. And U.S. is in third. England is lagging behind. They haven't even gotten into the stairs yet. Now they have. As well as the U.S. who comes out into the blue funnel first. Then is the UEFA. And there's a hard hit from Iran. And now they're all four in the blue funnel. Who comes out first? It's Iran. Iran will get into the green slalom first. Then it is England. Looks like these two marbles will be advancing. Unless somehow the U.S. or the UEFA are able to come out and they aren't looking like they're going to be able to. Iran and England are the top two marbles in this race. The UEFA and the US will not make it to the semifinal round. So Iran will be advancing to the semifinal round. They'll be going against the marble who got second in the first round, which was Netherlands. And England will be going against the first marble that made it in Group A, which was Ecuador. And now it is time for Group C. Argentina, Saudi Arabia, Mexico, and Poland. And the race is about to start. And we're off through the Plinko. Who comes out first? It is Argentina being followed by Saudi Arabia. And Argentina is the first one into the second funnel. And then Mexico comes in as well. Saudi Arabia is in third. And Argentina now comes up and is in second place. Trying to get into that hole, but they aren't able to. And it is Poland who is off to the early lead. Saudi Arabia coming up close behind. Trying to come up and take the lead right there. They are able to. Poland is stuck on the track. And they are passed by Mexico. Who then comes and passes Saudi Arabia into that tan funnel. Let's see who comes out first. It is Mexico. But they missed the stair quite a couple number of times. They lost a lot of time not being able to enter that stair uh, very efficiently. And so now they are neck and neck with Saudi Arabia. Poland is coming up in third. Argentina is still pretty far behind. They are at the bottom of the stairs. And now Mexico and Saudi Arabia are fighting in the blue funnel. And it is Saudi Arabia who comes out first. Will Poland be able to come and pass Mexico? No, they won't. Mexico will come out first. Let's see who comes out 
in this slalom. Saudi, Saudi Arabia is looking like they're going to get first place. And they do. Mexico comes up and gets second. Poland tries to come up and steal it, but they aren't able to. Argentina will come up in last. So Saudi Arabia and Mexico will advance to the semifinals in the World Cup. Argentina slowly making their way down to the end of the course. And now they're finished. Uh, definitely not a very good performance for Argentina in today's race. So Saudi Arabia will advance to the next round going in the C1 position. And they'll be going off against the D2 position, which is the second marble to finish in the Group D. And Mexico will be going against the marble who finishes first in Group D. And they are in this C2 square. And now it is time for Group D. France, Denmark, Tunisia, and another marble that has not yet gotten this far in the competition. That marble can be Peru, the Arab Emirates, or Australia. And Tunisia has a good early lead getting into the final funnel already, being followed closely by Denmark. And then the last two marbles are still up in the last funnel. Tunisia is already almost through the green slalom before any of the other marbles even leave this last orange funnel. They are already in the tan funnel. France having a hard time getting out of this last funnel as Tunisia is battling with this unseated country so far. And they are able to come up and take first place from Denmark as they're going up the stairs. They have already exited the stairs and into this next uh, orange funnel. And they are facing some pressure from this marble who can be Peru, the Arab Emirates, or Australia. Tunisia trying to come up and catch back up to Denmark, who is slowly getting out of the blue funnel. Who will come out first? It is the unseated marble. All these other marbles are still in the blue funnel. France coming up, and they take second place through the blue funnel. A great move by France. And it's looking like one of the countries that represent this marble will be first place. And France is looking like they're going to come in and take second. Yes, they will. A great comeback by France. They will advance to the semifinals, and Tunisia and Denmark will be eliminated. So whatever country comes out on top, Peru, the Arab Emirates, or Australia, will be advanced to D1, going against Mexico. And France will be going against Saudi Arabia. So France will be in the D2 square, and then the other country will be in the D1 square. And now it's time for Group E, Spain, another country that has not yet been decided, Germany, and Japan. The unnamed country can either be Costa Rica or New Zealand. We'll have to see as the uh, games goes on. And now the race is about to start. And we are off. And it is Germany who comes off to the lead. But it is Japan who comes out to an early lead, going all the way to the third funnel. Before the other marbles even get barely to the second funnel. And is the unnamed country coming in at second. Germany comes in at third. Oh, and they almost get stuck, wedged in the hole. Germany and Spain. And is Japan, who is still in the lead. Germany comes out on top over Spain in that last funnel. And now they come up and take second place. And a whole bunch of changes there. Who comes out on top? It is Japan. Germany is next. And the other two marbles are still in the funnel. The unnamed country comes up and takes second or third place. Spain is still in fourth. Germany has now taken first place. First one to enter the blue funnel. Hard hit from Japan, losing some speed. But then Germany comes and takes it back. Germany is the first one into the large green slalom. The other three marbles are tied up in the blue funnel. Germany having a tremendous lead at this point. They will definitely be advancing. The unnamed country comes in at second, being followed closely by Japan and Spain, who do come and overtake them. Japan comes up Spain, and it is Japan! Japan will be advancing as well. Spain and the unnamed country, which is either Costa Rica or New Zealand, will be eliminated, and they will not make it to the semifinals for the World Cup. So it is Germany who will advance to this next square, which will be the E1 square. 
And then it will be Japan who will advance to the E2 square. And these two marbles will be going against two marbles that finish in the F group, which is coming up next. And now it is time for Group F. Belgium, Canada, Morocco, and Croatia. And the race is about to start yet again. And we're off. And who comes out first? It is Morocco. But now, now it is Belgium in the lead being followed by Croatia who takes first place. They're the first one to get to the final orange funnel. But Croatia coming up in second. They're fighting in that final funnel as well as for Morocco. And it is Belgium off in the lead. Morocco coming in at second. Canada is in third. And Croatia has fallen all the way down to last place. Morocco and Belgium fighting in this tan funnel. Who will come out on top. It is Belgium who's the first one to enter these stairs. Canada entering the tan funnel right as Morocco is exiting. They are doing as best as they can but they still are pretty far behind as Belgium is still in the lead into the blue funnel first Morocco coming in at third now because Canada has now taken second place and first place from a bump from Morocco what a crazy turn of events Canada has now taken first place and they are in the lead by a lot Belgium coming in at second and Croatia comes up and takes second place Canada will be advancing they get first place Will Croatia be able to come up and take first or second place and have an ultimate comeback? No, they won't. All the three marbles finish all at the same time, and it is Belgium who will be advancing along with Canada. Croatia and Morocco will be eliminated. So Canada will be advancing, and they'll be going against Japan, who got second in the Group E. And then Belgium will be going against Germany, who got first place in Group E. Two flags that are similar colored, but they're just in different order and orientation. That's very interesting, Germany and Belgium. Now it's time for Group G. Brazil, Serbia, Switzerland, and Cameroon. Let's see which marbles come out on top in this group. And we're off to who comes out to the lead first. It is Cameroon, but Brazil comes and takes the early lead. A few other marbles are still in the funnel, but two of them exit now, and it is Switzerland and Cameroon. But Brazil is still in the lead. Cameroon coming up close behind, trying to come up and take first place. What is that there? Switzerland, a bump to Brazil, and they take first place. But Brazil takes it right back in the slalom. And Serbia is coming up in third place. Brazil gets into the tan funnel first. And now it is Switzerland who comes up and takes first place through that tan funnel up the stairs. They're already two-thirds up the stairs before Brazil even enters the beginning of it. And then it is Serbia and Cameroon lagging behind. Brazil trying to come up and take first place from Switzerland, who has already entered the blue funnel. A hard hit from Brazil. Let's see who comes out on top. Cameroon trying to come up and join the fight as well. See if they can. No, they can't because Brazil already leaves the funnel. Cameroon is bumping Switzerland around and they are able to take second place. Brazil, though, is going to be the champion of this race. They will definitely advance. Cameroon coming in. They will probably get second unless somehow Switzerland is able to come up and take it. But they won't be able to. Cameroon will be advancing with Brazil. And that will eliminate Switzerland and Serbia. At least Serbia isn't super far behind in this race compared to some of the competitors in previous races. So Brazil will be advancing to the semifinals. And they will be going in the G1 square. And they will be going against the H2 square. Which is the second marble who will finish in the H group. And then Cameroon come up into the G square and they will be going against the first marble who finishes in the H group which is about to start. And for group H we have Portugal, Ghana, Uruguay, and the Korean Republic. 
So this is the final group fighting for the final two spots in the semifinals for the World Cup. Who will come out on top? We'll have to see right now. And as Portugal comes out to the early lead in the finals, let's see who can exit the final first. It is Ghana. And then Portugal. And then uh, the Korean Republic. And the Korean Republic is the first marble to exit the second final and the third final. And they are in the early lead. Ghana is coming up close behind and they take first place but then it is Korea Republic who takes it right back they are fighting in this slalom and they are stuck both of the marbles are stuck they'll have to wait for Uruguay to come up and dislodge them and it is Korea Republic who comes out first but Ghana takes the lead through the funnel and then it is Portugal Portugal was all the way back up in last place at the beginning of the race now they're up in second and the Korean Republic has fallen down the last. Ghana is already up in the blue funnel being pressured by Uruguay. And now Portugal. And now all four of the marbles are in the blue funnel. Let's see who can come out on top. It's looking like Portugal coming around. But it is Uruguay who comes out first. Then Portugal. Then Korean Republic and Ghana. Portugal a little bit farther ahead than Uruguay. And Uruguay is being pressured by the Re Korean Republic who takes first place. Uruguay takes second. Portugal has been eliminated as well as for Ghana. An amazing performance by the Korean Republic getting first place. Hello Marble Sports fans and welcome back to this Marble Soccer Tournament here on Fubeka's Marble Runs. I'm Jeremiah and I'm glad to be here for this exciting day of soccer. Or is it football? If you're anywhere else in the world besides America, comment down below. Football or soccer? We have 16 countries competing today for the overall championship in this tournament We're on a one-on-one -on -one format. So we'll have to see how these marbles can do in today's race. They'll start up at the top and make their way down to the field where they will have a fidget spinner in the middle and then they'll have to try to make as many goals as possible and then whoever has the most will advance to the next round in the bracket system. As we take a look at the track you'll notice that each goal also has a goalie which will make it a little bit harder for some of these marbles to make some goals in this tournament. And here are the countries that are competing in today's tournament. We have England versus Mexico and then we will have Pakistan versus Spain and then Brazil versus Germany. And then after that we have Cameroon versus Indonesia and then on the other side of the bracket we have Argentina versus India, the USA versus China, Portugal versus Vietnam, and Qatar versus France. So we'll have to see how these duels go and Mexico versus England is the first duel in this tournament. So we're about to get started for the first game of soccer here in this tournament. And they're off. We'll see how they do. And England gets a goal. Mexico gets a goal. England gets another goal. And they get blocked by a goalie. Mexico almost gets hit by the fidget spinner. But it is England who gets two goals. Two to one. And England will advance to the next round. Mexico will be eliminated in this first duel. Mexico so close to that fidget spinner. Almost having a chance of scoring a goal right there. See England getting a goal right off the bat. And as well as Mexico getting behind the goalie. England would have had three goals if it wasn't for this goalie right here blocking him. Then the other England marble came up from the left and scored a goal there. So England will advance to the next round and Mexico will stay eliminated. And now it is time for the second duel Argentina versus India. And we're off yet again. And let's see who gets a goal first. It's India. India gets a goal. And Argentina. India gets two goals. Will there be any more goals? India flirting with that goal over on the left. But they won't be able to get it. And they don't need it anyway. Because India will advance the next round. Two to one. Argentina will be eliminated. Take a look at this replay. There's a lot of jostling here. India gets one on the left, and then India and Argentina get one side by side on the right goal. There weren't any more goals after that. Argentina will be eliminated, and India will advance to the next round. And now it is time for Indonesia versus Cameroon.
and we're off yet again. Let's see who gets it. Indonesia gets one. Cameroon gets another one. And then there's another one for Indonesia. Just past the goalie. Two marbles right next to that goalie there. They aren't able to get in the goal. And it is a... Indonesia gets two and Cameroon gets one. Two to one. Those two marbles on the left. Very close to getting two more goals. But they weren't able to do it. Cameroon. One of the Cameroon marbles lagging behind a little bit. That's an interesting strategy for them. See Indonesia getting one right off the bat as well as for Cameroon. Indonesia coming up from behind on that goalie and was able to get that one as well. Almost got another one from the bump from Cameroon. They weren't able to do it. So Indonesia will advance to the next round eliminated Cameroon. And now it is time for Qatar versus France. And the round is about to start. And we're off. And let's see who gets a goal. Qatar gets three goals. Gets four goals. Qatar has a knockout. France only has one goal. There's another goal. But Qatar will have four goals. An amazing performance by Qatar in this round. Getting four goals. Four to two. A complete knockout. Let's see how, just how they did that. It was so quick. Hard to see. You can see two marbles getting in a goal there, another goal on the left, and then the final goal on the right for the uh, France even got two goals. And that last France marble coming up and getting that final goal, the other two France marbles had already stopped. So Qatar will be advancing to the next round and France will be eliminated. Now it is time for Spain versus Pakistan. see who gets goals in this round here they go and it is two goals for Spain one goal for Pakistan let's we'll see if Pakistan can get any more Spain coming around there but there are no more goals Spain will be advancing to the next round Pakistan will be eliminated so many marbles so close to the goal but uh, they weren't able to get in there Spain having two goals definitely a uh, decent performance for Spain Pakistan only having one goal. Let's see how they did it. You can see there Pakistan having some trouble with the entry to the field. Kind of all the marbles going everywhere. And Spain had a more orderly enter entry into the, uh, the field there. Which ultimately led them to have more goals. So Spain will advance to the next round. And they will go against England in the next round. Now for U.S. versus China. Let's see who can come out on top in this game. And they are off. Let's see who gets first goal. USA gets two, three goals. There's two goals for China. Will there be any more goals? No. U.S. will advance to the next round and China will be eliminated. A close match between the U.S. and China. Let's see how they did it. Let's see U.S. getting in two and then three all on the right side. And then China finally gets in their first one and then their second one down in the left. So the USA will be going against uh, India in the second round. And now it's time for Germany versus Brazil. And they're off. And it is Brazil who gets one goal. They get two goals. There's another goal for Brazil. Germany gets zero goals. Oh, here comes one there. And they do get one goal. One goal for Germany, but three goals for Brazil. Brazil will advance to the next round. That Germany marble there is so close to getting a goal. They weren't able to do it. How you enter the field and where you hit the fidget spinner is really important in this sport. See how Brazil did it and how Germany was not able to do it in this round. You can see Brazil getting a goal right off the bat and then they had two more marbles roll in right on that left side with uh, Germany getting one right at the end. But uh, 
that last marble took a long time to get into that le that right goal which uh they got the one and only uh goal in that round for germany but brazil will be going against argentina in the second round now it is time for portugal versus vietnam and they're off let's see how they do no goals so far there's two goals for vietnam portugal not having any goals here he comes and vietnam gets another goal vietnam actually blocks portugal from getting a goal while getting another goal with another marble great strategy by vietnam in this game portugal not even getting one goal that's definitely hard for them you see they all trying to kind of just went everywhere you can see vietnam going back for this fidget spinner which allowed them to get goals and uh and they just kept on rolling which is sometimes what you gotta do in this sport see portugal trying to get a goal there but the vietnam marble black blocked them from getting it while another vietnam marble came up from the other side and got a goal so vietnam will advance to the next round going against qatar And now we are on to Spain versus England. This is the first quarterfinal. And we're off. And let's see who gets some points. Goalies doing a good job. Spain gets one point. England getting another point. And Spain gets another point. England has one. Spain gets two. Spain will be advancing to the semifinals. England will be eliminated. Let's see how they did it in this replay. Goalies blocked three goal attempts in this round. They definitely had an efficient blocking ratio in this round. Uh, Spain getting two points there. Let's see, they had one point there. And here comes the second one as well as for one for England. None of their other marbles were able to get a goal. So Spain will be advancing to the semifinal. And now it is time for India versus the USA. And we're off yet again. See who gets a goal first. And it is US gets a goal. India gets a goal. There's two more goals for each competitor. India gets all four goals, and USA only gets two. India will be advancing to the next round, eliminating the USA. A full knockout for India, getting four, uh, all four of their marbles in the goals. Definitely a great performance by India in this game. We'll have to see if India can make it and get into a round with Qatar because they're the only two teams uh, this far who have gotten full knockouts in this tournament. You can see there, the Indian marble actually pushing the USA marble in to get out of the way so they can make it for two more goals. The final Indian marble getting in there. So India will be advancing to the semifinals. Now it's time for Indonesia versus Brazil. Two solid colored marbles, white on the left and yellow on the right. See who gets a goal first. Indonesia gets a goal. They get hit by the fidget spinner yet again, but no goals here. Here comes another Indonesia marble there, blocked by the goalie. It's 1-0. Indonesia will be advancing to the semifinals and Brazil will be eliminated. Very low scoring game in this round. Indonesia only getting one goal. See what caused these marbles to not get more goals. They all kind of went out to the sides. Indonesia using the wall to ricochet back into the goal. Another attempt by the fidget spinner there, but they weren't able to do it. Brazil just kind of hung out in the middle of the field for most of the round. That's not the way you want to do it if you want to make goals in this tournament. Indonesia will be advancing to the semifinals going against Spain. And now
now it is time for Vietnam versus Qatar. Let's see how Qatar does in this round. See if they can get another four goal round. And let's see who gets any goals. Qatar gets a goal. Vietnam gets a goal. Let's see if there's any more goals. Qatar coming up and they get another goal. And there will be no more goals. Qatar will advance to the semifinals and Vietnam will be eliminated. Not another knockout for Qatar, but at least they still advanced. See how they do it. Some hard hits by Vietnam to their own members of the team. And uh, Qatar hadn't even made any goals yet. There's one. There's one for Vietnam. And then that one up in the top of your screen. Coming up close to the goal, but they weren't able to do it. And... Uh, for a while at least, then they finally got there and passed the goalie, getting another goal. Which ultimately advanced them to the semifinals. And they will go against India. And uh, they will be the two knockout teams. Two teams that have gotten four goals in a round. So we will start with Indonesia versus Spain. The first semifinal. And we're off. And off the bat, Spain gets a goal. Indonesia gets a goal. Indonesia coming up. They get another goal. And there's another goal for Spain. Indonesia, there's another goal. Spain coming up against the goal. No more goals. Indonesia gets three and Spain gets two. Indonesia will advance to the final round. And Spain will advance to the third place match. Spain and Indonesia both having a good game, getting quite a number of goals, and uh, they weren't all at once either. They kept getting goals over and over as the game went on. You can see here each one only had one goal at the start, and then Indonesia got one. So Spain says we need to get another one as well, and Indonesia says well we need another one too. Spain was not able to uh, get another one after that. Indonesia will advance to the final round. Spain will go to the third place match. And now it is time for India versus Qatar. Both knockout teams and got all four goals in one of their games. And they're off. Let's see if we can get any more knockouts in this round. India gets a goal. There's a goal for Qatar. 1-1. India coming up on that goal there. Qatar gets another one on the right. And that's it. Qatar will be advancing to the next round the final and India will be advanced to the third place match. No knockouts this time by both of the knockout teams. Actually a pretty low scoring game. Maybe it's just that they're both such good teams that they kind of counteracted each other. You can see at this point in the game India and Qatar both had uh, only one point coming up on the right getting another point India trying to get another point up on the left they weren't able to do it so Qatar will advance to the final round and India will advance to the third place match Qatar will be going up against Indonesia in the final round and now it is time for the third place match Spain versus India now for the third place match and we're off and Spain gets a goal, Indone India gets a goal. India gets two goals, Spain gets two goals, India gets another goal. Spain gets stuck by a, a, a goalie, and India will get the third place. Spain will get fourth in this tournament. Congratulations to all you India fans getting third place with last podium spot in this tournament. Definitely a good accomplishment. For India. Let's see, India getting a goal there right past the goalie, as well as for Spain. And that uh, there's another India marble up on the top of the screen, which was the final goal. And now it is time for the final round: Indonesia versus Qatar. Final round is about to begin. Who will come out on top and be the champion of this tournament? Let's see who gets a goal first. It's Indonesia gets a goal. Qatar gets two goals. Indonesia gets two goals. Goalie on the right, blocking a lot of marbles. But Indonesia gets a goal on the left. And Indonesia 
will be the champion of this tournament. Katara will get second place. Indonesia is the overall champion. You can see the uh, goalie on the right doing a tremendous job blocking three marbles at the end of this round, as we'll see here in a bit. Indonesia having a good performance. One marble at the end of the round was what made all the difference. You can see that goalie blocking that guitar marble twice before, as well as uh, blocking that Indonesia marble and another guitar marble and, uh, the Indonesia marble on the left coming out from behind the goalie and getting the final third goal which brought them to victory now it is time for the podium ceremony Congratulations to Indonesia for being your overall soccer tournament champion. And Qatar for second place and India gets third place. Definitely India and Qatar having two knockouts. India was the ultimate comeback. Getting first place in the overall tournament. Our ultimate congratulations go to Indonesia. All. This video is sponsored by ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN offers safe web browsing and allows you to view geo-restricted content with the click of a button. Use the link in the description below to get the first three months free on a 12-month subscription. Welcome back, Marble Sports fans, to another friendly race here on Fubeka's Marble Runs. I'm Jeremiah, and I'll be your commentator for today's race. We have a varied track today, which will include the first section, which is a Plinko, down to a couple of the orange funnels of the Quadrilla Marble Run track, down to some more Kubalino funnels down at the end of the course. We have 16 marbles representing 16 countries in today's race, all competing for that uh, coveted prize first place spot uh, who will win the overall tournament as we take a look at the track of today's race. It looks like a maze of wood for some of these marbles going down after the first couple of orange funnels. Those marbles just to sprint down to the next portion of the course where there is a stair stepper type contraption. We have four groups today, group A, B, C, and D. And group A will be Canada, Spain, Peru, and Mexico fighting out in this group. We'll have to see who comes out on top on the first race of this tournament. You can see that stair stepper uh, area of the track, an interesting way for these marbles to climb and get uh, more elevation. To see how these marbles do in that uh, element of this race, and they're off, and it is Peru off to the lead. All the other marbles are still in the funnels, and it is Canada who comes out in the second funnel as well. Spain is now in the funnel as well, but uh, Peru and Canada are the ones who are making it down the uh, course first, and Peru is the first one to get to the stairs, and he is going up as uh, well as Mexico, who has passed Peru. Peru has fallen, I mean, Mex Canada. Canada has fallen down behind Mexico, and Spain is there as well. Peru has a little bit of a lead, as well as all these other three marbles. Coming up close behind Peru is a funnel ahead. We'll have to see if these marbles can pass for the uh, uh, second and only elimination or uh, advancement spot besides first place and it is Canada who's pressuring Peru for first place and he takes first place from Peru there Peru still trying to come up and he loses the second place as well Peru will be losing out the advancement spot Canada and Mexico will be advancing to the semifinals Peru having a terrible race in today's race he was in the lead for so long but eventually he was the one who uh, was eliminated with Spain at the final Funnel that's really hard for uh, Peru in today's race. Now for race two, and it is Japan, Indonesia, India, and Portugal. And Portugal is out of the funnel first in this first funnel, and they are about to come out into the second funnel as well. And then Japan and Indonesia are coming up as well. India is falling down behind. They are all now going through this wooden maze. Portugal is out in the front already in the stairs, just like Peru in last race. Will they be able to uh, keep the lead? Uh, and look at that, Japan falling down all the way to last place. He was on the same stair as Indonesia. Not a very smart strategy because this is only one marble per stair uh, system. 
and it is Indonesia who passes Portugal. Portugal is losing out. Will Portugal be able to advance uh, or will they be eliminated like Peru in last race? It's looking like they're going to be able to uh, advance, and yes, they will. Indonesia and Portugal will be advancing from this round. Japan and India will be eliminated. So Indonesia and Portugal will be facing off the other two marbles in semi-final A to see if they advance from there as well. But now it's time to go to semi-final or er, group C. Mexico and Canada are the ones that are going to have to uh, fight Indonesia and Portugal in semi-final A. And we're off with Group C, Brazil, Russia, Nigeria, and the United Kingdom. And it is the Brazil who is off to the lead, uh, being followed by Russia in the right funnel. The United Kingdom is in the left funnel, and uh, Nigeria picks the right funnel as they go all through the wooden maze now. See who comes out on top. And it is Russia off to a good start. Brazil following close behind. One stair ahead, uh, behind uh, Russia. And Nigeria gets stuck on the track. They will definitely be eliminated as there are no marbles behind them to dislodge them. And now all the rest of the three marbles are in the first funnel. Now into the second funnel. Russia and the United Kingdom are fighting for the advancement spots. Brazil is trying to come up and take it as well. If Brazil can pass one of the other two marbles, they will be able to advance. But it's not looking like it's going to happen. Maybe right here. And yes, it does. Brazil is able to advance with Russia into the semifinals. The United Kingdom barely getting pushed out of the advancement zone. The United Kingdom and Nigeria, who got stuck on the track, will be eliminated in Group C. So Russia and Brazil will have to face off the two marbles who advance in this, in this next race in semifinal uh, B. Now for Group D, Colombia, Argentina, the U.S., and the Vietnam. They're going down the first funnel. Who will come out on top? And it is the U.S. who uh, goes into the left funnel and Argentina in the right. But Vietnam is able to pass the U.S. in that left funnel. Colombia and Argentina still fighting in that last funnel. Colombia just leaving now. And it is Argentina or uh, Vietnam who is in the lead being followed by the U.S. as they are going down into the stairs. And look at that. Colombia has fallen off the track uh, by the uh, stair section. That is unbelievable. Colombia just hanging out over there. It, uh, they forgot they were racing. They just wanted to uh, get out of there as soon as possible. Maybe the stress was too high. U.S. in the lead being followed by Vietnam. Uh, and uh, Argentina trying to do all they can to advance. Vietnam takes first place. USA is in second. Vietnam, or Argentina is not able to take the uh, uh, advancement spot. Argentina and Colombia will be eliminated. Vietnam and US will be the final two marbles to advance to the semifinals. And uh, Colombia just sitting over there being more of a spectator than a racer in this race. That's definitely an interesting turn of events in today's video. And now for the semifinal. Semifinal A is about to start. Canada, Mexico, Indonesia, and uh, Portugal. And they're off through the Plinko. And it is uh, Indonesia in the lead as they go through the funnel. But two marbles go to the right funnel. And it is Mexico who is still lagging behind. Portugal is the one who is still in the first funnel. Indonesia is in first place going through this wooden maze already. Being followed by Mexico and Canada. Indonesia already to the stair section before any of the other marbles are even finished with the wooden maze. And it is Mexico who is just entering the stairs just as Indonesia is exiting. Uh, Indonesia pretty much has guaranteed uh, advancement unless somehow Mexico comes up and steals uh, first place. It's not like it's going to happen at this point. Portugal and uh, Canada are the ones who are trying to just come up and take the second advancement spot. They're all fighting in this last funnel. Indonesia gets first. Mexico trying to come up and take first place. But Canada and Portugal now coming up. And Portugal will be the one who advances to the finals. Portugal coming out on top of Canada and Mexico. Definitely a hard uh, hit on Mexico. They were in second place, but they were finally passed in that last funnel by Portugal. That's definitely the one of the highlights of this track. The last funnel where some of these marbles uh, choose to do their overtaking. Now for semifinal B, Russia, Brazil, Vietnam, and the U.S. And it is Russia out to lead, being followed by Brazil in the other funnel. They have already finished these two funnels down into the wooden maze. Brazil, or Vietnam, and the U.S. are still lagging behind in those two second funnels. Russia is already in the stairs, and uh, Brazil is coming up close. 
We'll have to see which marbles come out on top. And it is the U.S. who has gained back some spots. And they will be in second place up the stairs. And uh, Brazil will be the ones who get pushed down to the last stair on this staircase. Having about a second behind Vietnam, who is a second behind the U.S. Who is just trying to catch up to Russia, or at least just stay in second place so they can advance to the final round. Uh, but Vietnam and Brazil are making that hard. Russia gets first place. They will be advancing. Vietnam trying to come up and steal the advancement from the U.S. Will they do it? Yes, they will. U.S. and Brazil will be eliminated, allowing Vietnam and Russia to advance to the final round. USA almost having uh, an advancement here, but they weren't able to do it. They were uh, eliminated in that last funnel, as we've seen many times before. And now for the final race, Portugal, Indonesia, and as well as uh, Vietnam and Russia. Who will come out on top and be the champion of this friendly race? We'll have to wait and see, but it is uh, Portugal who is out in the lead, but they are passed by Indonesia who goes down in the right funnel. And Portugal gets stuck uh, before this orange funnel, that's definitely a hard hit for them, and they are dislodged by Vietnam, who is now in the lead going down the wooden maze, and all the other marbles are still lagging behind in the orange funnels. Now they're racing in this funnel, and it is Portugal who is out in the lead through these uh, wooden maze, and Vietnam is still way up in the stairs. Portugal coming in at second, Russia in third, Indonesia is in fourth, Vietnam looking like they're going to win this championship, but you have to remember the last two funnels are the ones that usually have the most overtaking, as we see Portugal and Russia coming out here, and Portugal takes first place there, just as I was saying, Portugal is now in the lead, being followed by Vietnam, and Russia is falling down to last place, they're all right here in the final funnel, who will come out on top, and it is Indonesia! who will have a comeback in this race. They will be the champion of this tournament. With Vietnam coming in at second and Portugal in third, Russia will be finishing in fourth, losing out on the podium. And a congratulations to Indonesia, who won the overall championship. Definitely some great skill and a comeback in this last race. This is definitely a very interesting track in today's race. All the major overtakes happening in the last couple funnels. It's an interesting strategy move for a lot of these marbles. Uh, it pays off, though, for some of them getting into the final round and maybe even winning the overall championship like Indonesia. Congratulations to Indonesia for winning the overall championship. And now it is time for the podium ceremony. Russia still sitting there pouting at the end of the track. They didn't even get to come up onto the podium. Uh, well, I'll have to congratulate the podium winners right now. Congratulations to Indonesia for getting first place, Vietnam coming in at second, Portugal coming in at third place. Portugal having multiple overtakes in the final couple of funnels. They definitely had a good uh, races in today's race as well as for Vietnam making it all the way to the finals. Uh, but Indonesia is the one that they all aspire to be today. If you like this video... Hello Marble Sports fans, welcome back to another tournament here on Fubeka's Marble Run. Today we have basketball. As we take a look at the track here today, is the track begins with a slalom maze type section where the marbles will just try to have to pass each other and then down to a long straight where the marbles will have to try to get into the baskets on the end of the course. And if they can get into the baskets, then they will be able to get points which will help them advance. And if no marbles get in the baskets, the tiebreaker is whoever got to the bottom first. You can see that the middle basket closest to the jump only gives you two points, as for the back two baskets, they will give you three points. So those are the baskets that these marbles are going to want to try to aim for in today's tournament. Here you see the bracket system. We have four groups A, B, C, and D, and two marbles will advance from each group down to the semifinals and then to the final round. And now for Group A, Vietnam, Peru, Pakistan, and the United Kingdom, and we're off through the first slalom section, and it is Vietnam in the lead, but they are overtaken by Pakistan as they go through this uh, final couple of chicane sections. We will get out first. It is Pakistan, and they get three points to see if anyone else can. No, they can't. And United Kingdom will be having the second fastest time after Pakistan, so these two marbles will be advancing, and Vietnam and Peru will be eliminated. 
as we take a look at the replays here, Pakistan going on the right side of the course and was able to get a ringer into that uh, back right basket. And the United Kingdom trying to get into the back left basket, but they didn't miss. Vietnam almost getting into that basket. They bounced out though. Unfortunate for them, they would have advanced had they stayed in the basket. And then uh, Peru coming in at last. Pakistan and UK will be advancing to the semi-final A, and now it's time for Group B. Group B, Russia, Chile, Portugal, and Brazil as we're off going through these uh, chicane maze. And it is Russia in the lead, but being some, facing some pressure from Chile as they go down this chicane. And it is Russia off to the lead. Neither marble gets into the basket there. And, and uh, it is Brazil who gets the basket in the last spot. They are going to be advancing as well as Russia, who was first down. Had Brazil not gotten that basket, they would have been eliminated. But luckily, they were able to get that middle basket, giving them that two points, which ultimately led them to advancement. You can see Russia and Chile both trying to go for that left side basket. They came up short, uh, didn't have enough speed going down this ramp. You can also see Portugal here. They also aim for that back left basket, but they missed as well. And then Brazil coming down straight, hitting right into the basket, which uh, led them to be advanced. Good for them. And it is Brazil and Russia who will be going against UK in Pakistan in the semi-final A. And now it is time for Group C. Italy, Indonesia, India, and Colombia. And we're off. Colombia having a terrible start. Uh, and it is Italy and Indonesia up in the front as we go through these slaloms once again. And it is Italy in the lead. And Italy does get in the back uh, basket, getting them three points. The only marble that's left is India. And they get three points as well in that back right basket. And that will eliminate Indonesia and Colombia. Another example of the last marble being able to advance because of the basket. That's really what the goal of basketball is. As we take a look at the replay here, you can see Italy coming out strong into that back right basket, bumping Indonesia off, uh, keeping Indonesia from getting any points. And then here comes Colombia trying the back left, but they miss as well. And then you can see India still way up in the slaloms, trying to catch up back down. They only have a chance to get the basket if they wanted to be uh, advanced at this point, and they were able to do it, picking that middle exit of the uh, slalom there and they were able to get that back three points it will be Italy and India who would be advancing to semi-final B and now it's time for group D group D Argentina the US Mexico and Spain and then it's time to go through the slaloms once again and it is USA and Mexico who uh, gets the early lead as they go down these slums, they're almost about to get to the baskets once again. And Argentina flies off the course. They are going to be eliminated with Mexico and the U.S. being able to have the fastest times. No baskets in this round. Argentina, though, flying off the course. Definitely unfortunate for them. I don't think that's how they wanted this group to go. Let's take a look here to see how Argentina flew off the track. They seem to be going at a diagonal angle down that slope there, and they just flew over the wall. Uh, Mexico coming close behind, getting in the, getting second compared to Argentina, but Argentina did fly off, so they were eliminated. And then USA, who were the two marbles that were uh, advanced to the next round, and then there's Spain coming in at fourth place. That's the last group in this first group. Mexico and USA will be joining Italy and India in semifinal B. And now it's time for semifinal A. Brazil, Russia, United Kingdom, and Pakistan as we go down the slaloms. Russia is in the lead, being followed by United Kingdom and Pakistan. They're all going a different path, so it's kind of hard to gauge who is in the lead. But it is United Kingdom who comes out first. No baskets, and it's Pakistan next. He gets three points, with Brazil coming in at third and Russia coming in at fourth. They, those two marbles will be eliminated. Pakistan and United Kingdom will be advancing to the finals. You can see United Kingdom there. Missing the back left basket. That's what all these marbles are trying to aim for. 
it is easier to aim for that middle basket, but you do get less points. And none of these marbles want to take a chance. As you see Pakistan there getting a successful basket, the only one in this group. It will be Pakistan and the UK who will be advancing to the final round. And now it's time for semifinal B. Now for semifinal B, Mexico, India, Italy, and USA, and they're off. India takes the quick lead as they go through the slaloms. The lead is quickly taken over by Italy, and now uh, the U.S. as they go through the slaloms yet still. And it is Italy who comes out first, and the U.S. flies off the track as well, similar to Argentina a couple gr groups ago. And they will be eliminated as well as for Mexico. India will be the only marble getting a basket. Italy coming in with the uh, fastest time after that. USA will be eliminated. Hard uh, reality for them. So we take a look. Let's see how the US flew off the track like Argentina a couple groups ago. They were trying to, uh, it seems, try to go on top of the wall. Maybe use it to get into the basket from a different angle. I don't know, but it uh, was not successful and they fell off the course. India and Italy will be advancing to the final round of this basketball tournament here on Fubeka's Marble Runs and it is about to start. And we're off for the final round, Italy having some trouble right at the beginning. And uh, India gets stalled momentarily, but Italy is able to free them. The United Kingdom and Pakistan are fighting up in the front. Pakistan is the first to come out. No baskets for him. And Italy come up next. They get three points. United Kingdom gets stuck on a basket. And India will be missing the baskets altogether. And Italy will be your champion of this tournament with Pakistan coming in at second. India in third place. And a sad reality for United Kingdom getting stuck on the basket. They were so close to getting a podium finish, but they weren't able to do it. Let's see just quite how United Kingdom got stuck on the basket there. Pakistan almost getting a basket there, but they ended up missing it, uh, which ultimately cost them the win in this tournament. Let's see other marbles come down here, United Kingdom and Italy. Italy came out first, coming out of the right side, going diagonal. Risky move, they could have flew off the course, but they did end up getting the three bonus points. United Kingdom bouncing off the basket and then going up on top of the rim and getting wedged in there, uh, getting stuck. Uh, they, uh, that is definitely not what they were planning. And then finally coming India, they didn't get a basket either, but they did get third place because of the UK's incident. And it is Italy who will be your champion of this basketball tournament here on Fubeka's Marble Runs. Definitely congratulations to them. The UK is still stuck. They need to uh, send someone out to get them off the rim. They're just hopelessly hanging there. Italy will be the, on the top of the podium with Pakistan coming in at second and India in third place. Definitely a congratulations to Italy who will be your basketball champions. It was definitely a great tournament today here on...